But Kepler's is this trans think... girl who she destroyed Steven Destiny. Yeah. She yeah, took away his primary source Destiny. of income, which is I mean, I remember him talking about it. That's like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, like three hundred K. Yeah, and Twitch Twitch lost. being Twitch didn't pay him out that month when he got burned or anything. So she directly ca like caused a lot of opportunity loss, right, Ram? I did even indirectly she caused I mean like I literally did nothing. Um it's all I need to show for this is like this tweet. Like she can say she did nothing now, but and may maybe she Our did point? do nothing for all I know. But it's like she claimed. She literally says she took away his primary source of income, and she brags about it. So this is a major hypocrite. Fully willing to dox, fully willing to attack people, <coughs> being even transphobic. I have um I have never doxed anyone before. I have never doxed anyone before. She says I have your face and name. Yeah, I know what schools you went to. I know every member of your family. Excited to see how they all react when your information gets sent to them. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, he stealths people. Wait, I don't know if he if he did it. Wait. <laughs> Yo. Look at that. Look at that. It's <laughs> under a minute. What's up? How's it going? I don't know what all these red cup memes in chat are. I'm going to be honest. I'm not totally filled in on whatever this is, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm glad you guys are enjoying yourself down there, okay? Glad you, I'm glad you guys in chat are enjoying your lives, enjoying yourselves. I see some people enjoying the music more than usual, to be honest, for weeks, for months even. However long I've been streaming, it's been... Two months, maybe a month. I don't know. When did I start streaming? Does anyone know? I don't know because I deleted all the VODs from YouTube. So I guess uh, no one will ever know. But uh, there used to be a lot more whining. This is emo. Where it's hot topic. Uh, it's not 2006 anymore, Tom. It's not 2007. It's not 2011, Tom. It's not 2013, Tom. Okay, but uh, no. Now people are appreciating it. They're getting used to it. I'm cultivating the audience. And that's what people need to learn, okay? When someone doesn't like something that you do, if the audience complains, don't listen to them because they don't get it because the audience is stupid. And I'm, I sound a little funny here, okay? I'm going to sound a little ironic. But I actually, uh, there is some truth to it, okay? There's some truth to it. And the reason why, the reason why it's true is because people never like change in any scenario, right? People are never prepared for change. So you have to really handhold them and just shove them into that change until they realize that it's good. Um, and that's, I mean, that's what I do with content, right? At first, when I started doing the stream clip videos, there was some complaining, and now people like are fine with it. They like it. Um, people are saying, why is your website down? My website is not down. However, turkeytom.gg, the link to my Discord, is not really going to work properly right now. And the reason why is because we closed down the Discord. You know, just getting in some drama recently. Just want to keep the Federinos out of there. I've been seeing some sketchy types coming in there, saying some bad stuff. So we're closing it off. We're going to clean out the community, uh, and then uh, and then we'll be back. But uh, the Discord's not like closed forever or anything, so it'll be it'll be open within like a week or so. But you guys read the uh, stream title right. <clears throat> We're gonna be reacting to Keffels today. Keffels saw the video that I did with uh, with Birdie on the channel on the Tom Dark channel, and uh, she didn't like it that much. But she also had like almost nothing to say. Um. A lot of it was just kind of her reacting, being like, what? What? But but she wouldn't follow it up with much. And the few claims she did make were either wrong or flat-out lies or just, like, total, like, <laughs> she would just, like, retread stuff we said and try to act like we said something else. So we'll be going over all that. Andrew Ostrom says, ADTR rips, Tom. People are wrong. So true. Uh, for all the people in chat who uh, say, "Oh, she, you're, 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 why don't you misgender her?" I saw everyone on Kiwi Farms that were like, "Why are you saying the right gender?" Well, first of all, I respect pronouns. Okay, I think it's important too because, uh, like, there's no reason to go after someone for for their their intrinsic attributes, right? There's no reason to do that for something that they can't help, and uh, you know, like, what do, what do you guys expect me to do? Like, you think when I go to McDonald's if I see a trans person there? Like, even if I did have some kind of, like, um, you know, prerogative against trans people, even if I didn't believe in transgenderism, you think I would go up to them and be like, ha, yo, what's up, dude? You're, you're a dude and not a girl if I saw some, like, trans girl working. No, I'd, be, I'd just be polite. I just like to be polite, guys, okay? There's nothing wrong with being polite. So that's the first reason. I like to be polite. I like to be polite. I like to respect pronouns. And the second reason is if I was going out of my way to misgender her, okay, let's say I was of the opposite opinion and I went out of that, like, it would be so f terrible for me like do you know how how long it, i would be on youtube it wouldn't be very long to be honest with you it wouldn't be very long so guys i'm a nice guy the tomboys are nice guy are nice guys i should say you're gonna be nice guys and i will make you nice okay i will force you to be nice this chat 
It's gonna be uh it's gonna be nineteen ninety four in here, okay? Not nineteen eighty four? Nineteen ninety four, bitch. It's nineteen ninety four in this <laughs> We're censoring everything. <sighs> We're censoring uh I censored one a few slurs in particular. Okay, censored a few slurs. I censored Keffel's dead name, and I'm just getting this out of the way to say, guys, I'm not okay with the dead naming, it's not cool. I was specific with the chat mods. I said, you guys need to, uh, you guys need to censor the chat. You guys need to stop the transphobia, and the mods are gonna be the mods are gonna be doing that, thankfully. So listen, you guys can do that all you want on Kiwi Farms or whatever, but on my YouTube channel, okay, in chat, where we respect YouTube's rules, where we respect the wishes of Keffels to not be misgendered, we're not gonna censor, okay? We're not gonna, or I should say, we are gonna censor. And we're not going to misgender. Okay? Trans rights, guys. Trans rights. That's what we're talking about. Trans rights. <coughs> Anyhow. Yeah, so I have this really long... Uh, how long is this reaction? It's an hour and 22 minutes long. It's a reaction to the video that me and Birdie did. And me and Birdie are going to be in call. We're going to be reacting to her reaction to us talking about her. Which is just classic YouTube stuff at this point, right? All YouTube content is like someone reacting to someone reacting to something else so yeah that's what it's going to be basically confused cabal for 25 mx says your honor my client is keffels i am so screwed yeah I'd imagine if that lawsuit went through it would be bad fanboy <laughs> says w tom for supporting trainee people listen that's a little touchy i'm gonna let that one slide but you know just because I think, you know, maybe you were just trying to be a little edgy, but we're not tolerating the transphobia, guys. We're not tolerating transphobia. We're not tolerating xenophobia, homophobia, okay? We're going to be above board, and there's a good reason for that, because it's the right thing to do. Now, without further ado, without further ado, chat, I'm going to call my esteemed associate, Birdie, okay? Birdie, we are live. Oh, no. Birdie. That's not good. We're live. I assume you got out all of your uh, Kiwi Farms slurs before uh, yeah. before I was uh. before I, before I unmuted. As Keffels knows, you are a huge Kiwi Farms user. You're a huge transfer. I'm uh, not only am I a Kiwi Farms user. Uh, not only do you make money off the website, I do too. We're both we're both paid. We've become millionaires off of Kiwi Farms. And you, uh, you've, you've heard you've heard discourse around the Matrix, correct? I have heard the discourse around the Matrix. Yeah. Consider us the agents. We're the agents of the Matrix. <laughs> Is it Agent, Null, Agent, Agent Smith? Null is the Matrix. Null is the Matrix? Yeah. We're, we're, we're the Smiths. We multiply. We're, we no, Null is Neo. Null is Neo. What, breaking his own... Yeah, yeah, okay, this is falling apart rapidly. Null is Neo. Imagine Null, <laughs> imagine Null in the Neo outfit. Is this clickbait? No, it's not clickbait. We're actually going to be responding to Capitals. No, we, we, are, we are. We are. We are responding. Um, I spent a whole afternoon... Yes, we right. we did we did some preparation. My audio's a little quiet. Um uh, Is that better? That might be better. I can't turn it up anymore. I think it's turned up all the way, so I don't I maybe I could turn up the gain a little bit. Um properties. I think it's all I mean, yeah, there's not much I could probably do really. Someone says null is the architect, that's a good way of putting it. Null's the architect. You're 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 the uh, you're the neo, you're breaking through, you're waking people up. What Wass Skelly says you asked for this when you started associating with KF. Either you go all the way or don't go at all of your content, though. I don't exactly know what that means, but I mean, when you when you and your videos reference Kiwi Farms as a resource, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess. kind of accept that you'll become a supporter just by mentioning them without being mean. But I'd say based on the stream I did the other day, where I talked to the guy who runs the site, it's evident I'm not supportive of everything they do. <laughs> Despite the fact that when we talked about. Uh, on stream, we talked about like what Kiwi Farms does and what delineates it from other websites. And Keffels was like, "No, Kiwi Farms does dox people and they allow it," as if we like contradicted that. But I guess I'm getting too ahead of myself. We probably shouldn't respond to the video before we watch it. British lad talking to Tom. Who is that blind teacher who did the poop review videos? That was Bob Rahan. <laughs> Bob Rahan. Yeah, that's actually going to be a. Uh, the video is going to be out real soon. I actually. Let me see if it's uploaded yet. Uh, for Tom's chat, by the way, Keffels' fans have uh, affectionately called me Limey, which I, I think is very entertaining. What does Do that mean? About that? Do you not know what Limey is? Um, no. It's an old slur for English people, but like no one cares oh. anymore, because why on earth would an English person care? 
Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. What the hell? They're uh, Brit British phobic. Well, they're they're Brit phobic. They're attacking my identity. Brit phobic. They're Brit phobic guys. All right, guys. So um, I have the reaction pulled up, and the <laughs> way we're gonna do this is when we need a receipt. I'm going to pull it up as well. And uh, Keffel is one of the things she said in her response to me was that uh, she wanted to show a lot of things. And she only showed two things, one of which was like wildly out of context. And it was a clip of Destiny. And it was like the point she made was retarded as well. What was the other thing she showed? The other thing she showed is... Oh, she um, quoted she, her own she testimony. Quotes, no, there's, there's an article in the Canadian Broadcasting. So basically the BBC for Canada. Yeah. Ha ha ha. And um, they, 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 their headline is from a quote from Keffels. And she's like, boom, see, I'm not a liar. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, guys, I'm Brit phobic and also American. Americanian? I, I can't even. Is that on purpose or not? Americanian? Dude, I'm Americanian. Can't believe the people are still anglophobic. Seriously. All right. We're going to put this. I'm going to put the chat just in the top right corner so that we can see the full video. You guys are going to go there. Okay. You're relegated to that little corner. I'm not the, transphobic, but I am Brit. I, I am the, Brit phobic. <laughs> you smile. <laughs> I have the Kevl's reaction up. We're going to be watching it. Okay, this is okay. an hour and 22 minutes. I'm going to also share my screen with you. The last two minutes are basically just dead air and then the occasional comment, but yeah. yeah. There was honestly, there was a lot of dead air considering that our video was about an hour and her reaction is an hour and 20 minutes. There's not I like, don't a wanna, ton of commentary. I don't want to attribute too many uh, motives to Kevl's because I'll never really know, but uh, I think she was kind of taken aback because we're not we're not outright giving big claims. Most people do. We're not <clears throat> saying child grooming. Yeah. We're not claiming she's like evil. We just have criticisms of her actions, which I think she was ready for. There's a bit where we say don't be transphobic, and it kind of throws her off. Yeah, but when we do talk about uh, the fact that those allegations exist, but like say we don't want to talk about them, she's like, no, nah, I know what they're all about. It's like, oh, yeah, so exactly. you're upset that we, we didn't talk about the thing you don't want people to talk about. We couldn't about. win. Quite frankly, we couldn't win. No, but we're kind of front-loading this too much. We should probably get into the reaction itself. We should get into it. And, um, prepare for a lot of uh, prepare for a lot of insults. A lot of insults to towards us, towards us, because we're good guys. Yeah, no, we're nice guys. The tomboys and tom girls are not insulted, thank God. We are not. We are not insulting, guys. Uh, Femboy says, "What channel is the poop reviewer video going to be on?" Tom Dark. Um, Ilja Zero says, "Tom W, more viewers live than the Keemstar show. Is that real?" Oh no, Keem. I actually don't believe that. Hold on, Keemstar show. My poor so we have 950 live. Ooh. Ooh. He is 670 live. What the hell? Well, in fairness, <sighs> Easter Podcast Friends got busted. He needs to stop talking about Ethan Klein. He needs to stop streaming with her because she's not good at streaming. Brantley's not good at streaming. Let's just be real, guys. Yeah, but Brant Brantley, Brantley brings diversity, Tom. Um, Maybe the Keemstar show doesn't need diversity. Maybe they just need like eight Keemstars. <laughs> maybe they just need like eight eight people that look like him. If there was any show that would need diversity, it's one where like, Keemstar is allowed to be in charge. You know what I've noticed, guys? Before we get into the Kepler's thing, I'm, I'm stalling too much. I need to get to the actual thing. Um, if I look up <laughs> Keemstar 2010 and see an old <laughs> picture of him, first image. this is what he looked like, okay? This is his outfit. And if That's I look true. up Fred Durst 2003, I feel like oh, they're the no. same guy. I feel like this is the same no. person. Dude. Is it not? This looks like the same <laughs> dude. Like, they have the same swag. You know what I mean? Especially, like, even in this video, in the N-word video. He, he's the same guy. <laughs> yeah, in that in that famous clip. Yeah. Kai keeps it cheesy. Thank you for the one. Uh, Dr. Sleepyhead for the two says, I'm Britphobic. Real. Based. Based! Jaden, but why for 281 Stop says, Kepples needs to transition into a decent person. Very funny. Um, All right, guys. We're going to watch. Go. We're going to watch I'm this. Ready. An hour and 22 minutes. We're going to be here for a while. We're going to be here for the long haul. Bernie. Bird, birdie. Bur can, I call you well can I call you Birdie? Like the bird? Literally whatever you want. I think Birdie is a better name. Birdie. 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 Yeah. Um, do you need a picture before we get into this? Do you need a... Oh, no. I'm, hit, I'm good hit, to go. Hit I'm your ready. weed bong. Hit your meth pipe. <laughs> no, no, no. You did no, that I'm, before I'm, stream? I'm, I did that I, did my, I aligned my chakra. I'm ready. All right. I'm going to ignore donos, guys until the end so you're gonna get them read at the end but i will read them anyhow let's watch this reaction thank you for the two dollars greg the turkey tom um if you're a fan of destiny or okay. you're active on twitter or you use or you kiwi use farms, kiwi farms or you, you just pay attention why, why does everyone make fun of my voice i have a great 
a beautiful voice. Tom, you can't pause in the first 10 seconds. Come on. Dude, you made me pause. You insulted my voice. I have to defend myself against your allegation that my voice is bad by insinuating that I'm obnoxious. I didn't say anything. I just, I mimicked along. All right online drama, then you probably at least have heard the name Keffles. She's a pretty I'm controversial figure in the community in general, Never heard a lot this of people name. have a lot to say about her. So I had someone on my stream attempt to explain the lore behind the entire Keffles story, and at least attempt to summarize it. Here it is. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm starting off, do you know how Keffles first got popular? Um, What's streaming? a Keffles? Yes. Never smile, heard of this. Slightly. Okay. So, I mean, it wasn't a big following. It was it was mainly getting Destiny banned. That was the big thing. So this was in... People have kind of forgotten about that. Kepples is a live streamer on Twitch. She's been around yes. on the internet. I don't know if any mods have changed the title of the stream, but if you want to change it, just reacting to Turkey Tom or whatever, go for it. Internet for way longer than her. She's been famous, though, obviously, right? Streaming, like, two and a half years, I want to say now. Maybe a little longer. What was she doing before she was streaming? Because she was around on... She was, like, a, ca uh, a camera or something, right? Okay, well... <laughs> I don't have a hundred percent proof of that, and I wouldn't want to show it. But I think it's we've got enough videos and clips where, yeah, there's probably a highlight you heard there was coming. But it's also a different name. I was I mean, the never brand. a camera. That never. Uh, so this is the first happens. thing she disputes. So, she says I was never a camera, and I think the I think semantics. Okay, she's using semantics, but I also think that she's playing dumb here, being like I was never a camera when she knows what we're referring to. Obviously, right? She knows exactly what we're referring to, and what we're referring yeah. to is that she was a. Uh, for hire, I believe, like star back in the day under something called Canadian uh, okay, Tea Tom, Girls. Tom, 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 Tom. It wasn't for hire. She did two different things. It was an OnlyFans where she'd be a dominatrix. That's what uh, I mean. For hire, she was paid to do it. I suppose. But the other thing that's the major thing that I'm referencing here that Kevils kind of knows I'm trying to reference is that um, she used to be on Tea Girl Canada where she uploaded her own videos post operation and pwn. So I don't know. I, it, obviously she knows what we're referring to but yeah technically so not, so camera. is she so camera does that would that refer to like a live streamer and that's what that's what she's taking guess, issue with right? like, like cam girls right that's, yeah isn't that what they do? and she's like, like i wasn't a cam porn. girl i was a cam camera. videoer cam, I don't who even knows know. it's semantics but yeah it's already trying to get us on like it's already trying to get us on like a technicality but it's a total like nothing like it's a total nothing i don't know why she brought it up stuffed someone said was she streams stream sniping tom no she watched it uh she watched it after the fact separate from everything else. You watch it two it's weeks after. Two different categories. There's everything else, and then there's the Kevils stuff. Right. Kevils is the political persona, like the one that's advocating trans rights, wants to create a supposedly cleaner internet, and is standing up for the little guy. You know, other things like the, the Catboy Ranch, the, the sex stuff. I mean, in the, the day, I don't want to judge too much. The but Catboy the, Ranch is different. totally um, unverified, right? We don't know that. Oh, yes and no. My my point more so being I wouldn't wanna I wouldn't want to associate the two together. Oh boy, let's you know, go. Clara is is her new name. I think Clara has two different categories. But no, Kefels had a very small, tight knit community at first. Like it wasn't massive, but it was pretty supportive. I mean everyone kind of knew each other, like that, that kind of community. <clears throat> okay, so Kefels the first way I heard of Kefels was because of Destiny. Yeah. And um Kefels went after Destiny. Why did they go after Destiny? Was it because of the um was it Leah Thomas? Is that the trans swimmer? Yeah, so at the time, uh, no. I mean, as unbiased as possible. And so here she says no. Do you know if she elaborates on this clip? Because I don't think she does. She's just like, no. no. Right, so for context, people watching, because I've seen this video three times now, because I hate myself. She never <laughs> you do. Really gives, she never really gives context. She just sort of goes, no, this is fan fiction. I think what she's referencing when she tells I'm, says I'm wrong, because what I'm trying to say is her first big thing was claiming to get Destiny banned. Yeah. And she goes, no, that's wrong. So my best guess is that she wants to argue that before this, she was hate rated by Destiny because she tweeted about this a while ago. Um, and Destiny had to respond to it in his like long three hour, three and a half hour video. Right, because she, she but, uh, her, her claim is that the reason she got involved with Destiny at all is because he hate rated her, which I believe that's easy problem, to disprove. Yeah. Well, n n yes. Um, so Keffels was lied to by a moderator of hers named... What's it? Sulio? And Sulio claims that because Destiny retweeted someone like two <clears> hours after the stream, he had helped organize it. And the way Kevils stopped the hate raid was by employing a bot that banned anyone that followed Destiny. Yeah. Now that sounds pretty bad, but Destiny was the second biggest political streamer. Mm -hmm. That's like banning everyone that watched Vosh. Right. Like, that's like banning everyone that watched XQC, like right. the biggest streamers. It's... It's not really proof. And I don't know because Keffels doesn't elaborate. So I don't know if that's what she's referring to. If there's earlier lore, she has to give it because 
from my understanding, her first big thing was directly getting involved in Destiny's affairs. Right. And the thing, the reason why I think the problem is like if we if we bring this up now, she's gonna be like, I wasn't even talking about that. But I think it's important exactly. to probably talk about just because like if she if she does want us to talk about it, then. I think I think when I was giving a short summary on stream about Keffel's story, I think starting on the banning Destiny is the first point in that timeline. If mm -hmm. Keffel's has something to disprove that, she better give it. Right. And folks on Twitter, a moderator of Keffel's, Sulio, a Twitch user who has urged other streamers to cut ties with me in the past, would eventually blame my community for this. How ironic! This is something we've the amount of like stupid shit I never wanted to know in terms of stuff I've been reading about every night over the last few weeks. The funny thing is that the source of all of this conflict, the source of everything starting between me and Kefels, started because Sulio was the one in chat, who was the one who actually You identified... figured out why we were hate rated earlier? What happened? It was Sulio was the first one that pointed it out. <laughs> what the fuck are the chances? I mean, this this seems to me like that's the only thing Keffels can be referring to, right? Right. It, it would seem that that's it. And uh, basically, in this, Keffel, uh, sorry, Destiny points out the fact that his tweet was two hours after she was live, and also and he didn't even tweet about it. He retweeted someone else, right? Who I think made like a snide joke. There's it, absolutely no reason to think there was so any dumb. hate raid that came from Destiny. And I think even even if she can say, okay, I was lied to, has she has she walked this back and recanted it? Because I believe to this I day, couldn't, I couldn't find anything. So just to give you an idea of how how unlikely it is she apologize yeah kiwi farms which is desperate to prove Kevl's wrong at every an angle mm -hmm. i couldn't find a single post where Kevl's responded to this my best guess is that either Kevl's is sticking to the story or she's like oh i already know i already know but this is the first point chronologically but it, would, I, it wouldn't way, stand her to point that point out that she was wrong anyway because no I, I i genuinely don't know when she says i'm wrong here she'll then say it's fan fiction but the yeah. problem is is that everyone agrees this destiny ban was the first major point right and it was it was the first major point. She even disputes that, and we'll we'll get into that when she says it in we'll about a minute. That. We'll get into that. Don't worry. The time but Nick Thompson was in the big topic for even like boomers and people in the mainstream because it's a, a transgender woman in swimming, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. And Destiny was asked on stream, "What's your opinion?" And I won't go into too much detail, but basically what Destiny said is, I don't think Leah should be allowed to compete. In this is already turning into some crazy fan fiction. I, I wish she would elaborate here because she says this, but doesn't really say Crazy why. Fan fiction. This did happen. Even Destiny's long video where he's like going into every detail. My my story like, matches what, up what with What we his. said is so like it's not even a controversial thing to say that the reason she picked a big a big fight with him was over the trans thing. Um, it was, and later on, later on when when Tom and I claim that Destiny is pro trans, which she is, she gets really upset and she's like, no, 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 he disagreed with me on this argument. So she she even understands what I just said earlier is correct. I don't know why. She's like, this is crazy fan fiction. Right. In female in the sport, at least not now. Do you not want to go into detail because um, it's TOS or is it just like that's TOS, all that matters? TOS, but also I don't fully remember now. I mean, this was almost a year ago though. This is nine or ten months ago. <clears throat> okay, so nine um, or ten months ago. And that's that's really when... To think about that's when all this started. So let's say what let's call it a year, right? So a year ago, I, I want to say a year, but I mean it's it was like at the beginning of March. March yeah. Ago. So a year ago, Destiny is on stream. He's 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 a political streamer. He's asked about Leah Thomas, and I was think it's important um, to mention the reason people got so upset. I know that I'm a real woman because this video that's supposedly about me doesn't even pass the Bechdel test. So if you guys pass the Bechdel test, <laughs> if you guys who don't know the Beck the Bechdel test, oh, did you did you see if it does? Did you? Uh... Yeah, of course it does because this is this is the introduction. The main story does have a point where yeah. there's two women talking. So for those of you guys who don't know, the Bechdel <laughs> test is basically a test, and is there a, is there a specific numeric thing assigned to it? What I know is that it's basically a test it's... to see if you're being misogynistic based on if two when women you reference... two women have to talk about something other than a man. Right, and and that does happen within this. Yeah, I assume. Uh, we can reference it. I mean, the problem is that Kefels keeps fighting over Destiny and Flamenco and Null. I mean, the reason why we mention Destiny is because he's like a huge part of her story. Destiny helped, I, I, by accident, helped kick off Kefels' story. Also, this is dumb anyway because it's just a dumb joke. But yeah, I think it does. It's, it's a dumb joke, test. but it's also like it is something that I think she means sincerely. Um, as if like I think I think when I think when Kefels and Bob posting were talking about children, that definitely passed the Bechdel test. There you go. Literally but, could uh, not talk no. about me without it centering 
around like could not talk about me without it centering around destiny this is the thing you can't you can't talk about her without talking about destiny once again like he's such a huge part of the lore like without him she would not be where she is right now it's 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 undoubted it's it's like it's impossible to say to, to like it's impossible to um reinforce that enough i mean you know without destiny there would be no vosh without destiny there would be no hassan without destiny there would be no xander hall without destiny there would be no keffels it's 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 a fact um, there's just no way around it. He's such a huge part of the story. Um, she's, you know, or, or I should say he's the reason why she, um, you know, started all of this. And she's going to deny that, but it, it'll become very obvious as we shove receipts in a second here. Her and I'm echoing shit. Sorry. No worries. In this, but when they, before they even knew Kevils was, is because Destiny is probably one of the bigger or one of the more open trans, like more supportive trans streamers. I think he's pretty he's pretty okay what? with trans rights. He's stood up for them. He's questioned a lot of conservatives and a lot of critics of the movement. Right. I don't think you what, could... what, what, wait, what, 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 what? Okay, wait, okay. wait, wait. Yeah, I think it is echoing a little bit on your end. Um, it's like... Maybe just back away from your mic a little if you have headphones on or something. That might be it. I'm not exactly yeah, sure. Yeah, hold on. Do you want to respond or? Yeah, yeah. I just want to yeah, see, yeah, if just want to see if you're good. Oh no. Am I, can... I? Am I? Am I not echoing? I can still hear me a little. No, I think it's gone now. I think it's gone now. I think uh, we're good. Yeah. Talk a little bit and see what chat says. Yeah. Um. Okay. Wait a second. This is gonna go nowhere. She's trying to break up her Google. Basically, um, the point she contests here is that Destiny is not a trans ally, and he doesn't stand up for trans rights. Right. And the evidence um, she uses for that is that uh, he made a forty-one percent joke. He um, didn't even make a 41% joke. He said it's hard to resist the temptation to make one about Keffels. Right. And uh, do you have that clip on hand clip so we can on. see that? What the... Oh, the... No, Keffels is going to bring it up later in the video, which is why I haven't got it on hand. What I did gotcha. send was a vid just one example of many of Destiny debating conservatives mm -hmm. and pushing them into a okay, corner about pro-trans stance. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Question. Let's say um, that we are 20 years into the future, we have brain transplant surgery. Let's say that I take your Rob's sure. brain and I put it into a cis woman's body. Let's say that you wake up and you're like, this feels really wrong. I feel like I like I feel like a man and now I'm in a woman's body. Would you say that like that's a disorder, that you have a disorder there? I would say I have a disorder, an illness, or something that's wrong physiologically or mentally with my body, yes. What and then what is the disorder? The disorder is that my brain is in the wrong body. Okay, so what is a solution for that? Put my brain in a body that more aligns with what my brain is. Okay, you just stated exactly that, okay, I love you. You are the most trans-positive conservative I've ever argued with. So that is exactly- And this is just one, <laughs> um- That's just one example. This is just one example, obviously, yeah. But it is like such it a clear like such instance. Clear. Um, uh, there is a little echo. Kevils, Kevils will show the clip later, but basically her Maybe you can turn on push point... to talk, maybe. It's just, it's just a little bit of echo, I'm sorry. Oh, Hey, give me a second. Okay, I apologize. I'm actually gonna. Okay, uh, don't do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically, I mean, there's just a long history of Destiny defending trans people. If you literally look up Destiny trans debate on YouTube, I mean, you can see video after video. I mean, Destiny gets dogpiled and heated. One v nine debate panel on trans sports. Destiny debates a far right student on trans issues and diversity. Destiny debates trans issues at the University of Tennessee. Gender and trans debate leaves Destiny speechless. Destiny actually convinces her to concede a trans debate, and this is like like he's he's always been like pro trans in every in every way. Like there's no way you can argue that he's not. And Keffel's only evidence is to say, well, he he said that it's tempting to make this one joke, and I would argue that he wanted to make that joke not because he's transphobic. He wanted to make that joke because she was throwing everything she possibly could at him, and he was just like, okay, well, if she's trying to destroy my livelihood, like why wouldn't I make this kind of joke? You know what I mean? But he never actually makes it, which is an important distinction as well. Um, so, Keffels yeah. shows the clip, but Destiny gets a donation saying um, it'll be great in 30 years' time when Keffels kills herself. And keep in mind, this is right after Destiny's lost his platform on Twitch and Keffels is gloating. And he goes, yeah, the temptation to make a 41% joke is, you know, it's hard. I right. have to stay above it's the like, line. But he's, that's, he's, it's so he's, understandable. He's tempted to make a joke about someone who is trying to destroy his life and is like even bragging about it. So it's like, on one hand, it's like you can say, you know, optically what he did is not great. But if you just look at his history, right, it's like he would have to be the most genius master manipulator ever to debate for like four years in favor of like trans people. 
for this in in or like like enable to like lead up to this one moment where he can go after Capels, right? Because she'll claim that he's transphobic. But there, there's like a year long like years of history of him defending trans people, being pro trans. So there's really no like there's no merit to this argument other than like, oh well there's is just the one temptation, clip. Is the temptation to make one transphobic insult at someone that's trying to ruin your livelihood going to invalidate years of campaigning on the side of trans people? I wouldn't think so. Right. But maybe I'm wrong. And uh I mean, Kevles is Kevles is extremely edgy as well, and we have a lot of evidence of that. And that's super obvious. Um, which we'll, we'll we'll bring up in a sec when she shows the clip, just to contrast it. But yeah. Wait. What? I was like looking for. Um... I'm gonna speed her up a little bit. She's so fucking slow. I was trying to find like that clip where Destiny was on stream and someone donated to him and said, about me, it's pretty comforting that in 30 years this person is going to kill themselves. Um, and he said, Jesus Christ, it's tempting to make 41 jokes, you know, 41% jokes, uh, but I want to stay above board. I don't even know why I'm trying to stay above board. Like, how is that supportive? You know, like, how is it like, you you, you hate me. Um, you can just call me a piece of shit. You can say literally anything other than saying it's tempting to make incredibly tasteless transphobic jokes i mean once again as we'll bring up in a sec Kevles is in no position to talk about tasteless jokes but at the same time it's like you know when you're someone like destiny who literally got like hundreds of thousands of dollars in income ripped away from him like you're going to be at a point where you're going to be a little more edgy than usual maybe you're going to be willing to let certain things slide more than others like yeah he fucking hates you like why why would he shy away from something like that the fact that he even showed as much restraint as he did is, like, I would say surprising to me. But um, If you want to skip ahead to seven minutes in the video, she shows the clip. Um, I just don't want to miss anything important, um, but fine, it is on... Fine, just saying. On, yeah. I could really favorably argue that he's not, that he is a transphobe. He's not a transphobe. He's, I would, he's somewhat anti-leftist. That's fair. I guess, yeah. I mean, I, the truth is, you probably know more about Destiny specifically than I do. So I'm, so I'm a big Destiny fan, yeah. yeah. You probably know that. Or maybe you do know no, that. Of course. You know, yeah, but yeah. I'm a Destiny big fan. Big Big DG gear. Big N dot gear. And, um, yeah, this is already brain hot. And sort of the, the thing that Destiny does every this few years is, is he sort of purges his audience of um, people he thinks are um, only there to see him give like takes for one side. So he used to be yes. sort of a gamer bro, and then he had to purge his audience because he felt that they were full of. Um, he thought that they were full of like uh, transphobes and like right wingers who were not thinking critically. And his way to purge that was to have a debate with Jontron, which is like the most, the first infamous thing Destiny did. It's like his third most popular video on YouTube, isn't it? To this day, I think, yeah. And um, at the time that it happened, he got a lot of for that. But looking back, he was, he was honestly kind of right with what he was saying. Um, something that I wasn't even ready for at the time to acknowledge. Um, that Jontron was, I don't know if he was a Nazi, but he was spouting a lot of. Okay, you know what? Hold on a second. Because I, I don't want to just like say things, I want to show things. I've said way too many things, but it's time to actually show something. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm I'm getting a little turned on by this camera angle. Yeah. Okay, but like, something, okay. something about it. Sort of so, so tell me. Me. It's just you. Uh, here's the, and here's the clip. <laughs> so like, tell me. Here's here's the clip she's gonna show of Destiny. Yeah. After referencing Keppel's, after referencing Keppel's genitals to make multiple remarks fantasizing about how how wealthy she must have been, Destiny laughs at a chatter that says it's comforting to think this person will kill themselves in thirty years. Destiny says it's tempting to embrace forty one jokes. Ten comments like in thirty years, this person will kill himself. Oh, Jesus Christ. Obama. He's having to embrace the 41 jokes, but I'm trying to stay. I don't even know why at this point I'm trying to stay above board. You're the reason. Like. And yeah, I mean, that doesn't look amazing, but uh, Birdie, do you have the, the flamenco clip just to reference? Um, the Stardust clip, do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's absolutely no, uh, yeah, I guess the Stardust clip. Like, she has no room to talk on this. And this is something that, like, Hassan Piker will do as well. He'll be like, why would you make a joke about that? Would you make a joke about the N-word? And then he'll, like, joke about, like, 9-11 and say that, like, America deserved it. And I know there's, like, some greater point that he says should be made there. And maybe she'll say that, oh, well, you know, it was justified because this person was doing this, this person was doing this. But it's like, at the end of the day, like, you're just making insensitive jokes. And in this case, like, you made light of, like, um, And I'm not someone who to get mad at someone else for saying, like, KYS, but it's just blatantly hypocritical. Um... And uh, here we have a clip. The Stardust clip is just an example of her who being edgy and just as rude. Right. Who you interact with, who you call friends, because you're a f snake. Okay, but I need, I need screenshots of him actually posting all docs. Right. I'll get all of those. F he didn't post the fucking docs. He engaged in group harassment. If he encouraged, if he encouraged, he encouraged like other people by engaging in group. Do you know what group harassment is? You have more than two f***ing brain cells. Jesus, Stardust. I know. I understand what group harassment is. I've had people on Cozy direct their entire followings to come ra hate raid me. So I understand what that is. But um, I, I still need to see like, like 
more than somebody just participating and being, you know, antagonistic towards somebody, right? Like in a f-ing thread, in the same thread on a site made for group harassment that multiple people have killed themselves over. Are you f-ing st- how stupid we'll are get you? To this like how do you made a spreadsheet of of content creators who are all smaller than you that you wanted to Is it in here, Brody? What is it? It must be in this clip, yeah. Sorry? Where she says, uh, <laughs> where she makes an edgy joke, yeah? Oh, yeah. I mean, that was just the bit where she gets loud. If you wanted the edgy bit, I don't have that completely on hand, but it's uh, oh. it's all segmented up. Yeah, of course. Okay. Do you mind sending me that one? Because that's the one I wanted to reference. Yeah, give me a sec. Okay. Chrome can suck my dick. Can we move on and I'll find it later? Because I, I need a little more time. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can move on. Um, but we will uh, we will have to bring this back because I think it's important. But I've got my whole list of timestamps and clips here, so I'm yeah. going to sort of yeah. dig through. I mean, just for reference, Capels is very edgy. I know she talked to Nick Diorio, and uh, she was complaining like, "Why does no one like me? I'm edgy," um, just like the rest of them. And it's kind of funny to hear something like that when like you went to war with the entire internet. But I'll I'll, I'll keep playing this. I do not understand how people can come to the conclusions that they come to when he says this. Far right talking points, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, John's John's major mistake was that he did like what your, you know, what your right wing grandpa would do. And know? once again, she says she doesn't know how we can come to the conclusion, but like, definitely like the four years of destiny, like debating transphobes, is a decent <laughs> amount of evidence for our, for that conclusion. Went off headlines alone, right? I think destiny was a bit more equipped with. Well, I ran into that, and here's why I don't trust that as much. And so I mean, more, can't, no, no, go ahead. Well, I mean, John just can't defend against that when John's got a surface level understanding. I don't mean in a mean way. I just mean in yeah. a genuine way. When you're in a debate, you just can't have the surface level understanding of these headlines. Right. And uh, beyond that, I think the kind of thing that. Um, Destiny is known for is now he attacks leftists because once he started attacking, once he started to attack right wingers, he sort of accumulated this left wing audience, and then he got a bunch of people on that side who weren't thinking critically and like were like, and they were like communists and they weren't consistent with their beliefs and stuff like that, and so then he had a purge audience of that, and so that's why he's sort of an enemy of both oh the right God. and the left in a way, even though he's I mean, yeah. What's up? Okay, he's just muted. I mean, he's he's pretty left wing, but you know he's more liberal than a socialist. Yeah, so I don't have any dad right now. Oh yeah, I mean he's the only liberal. <laughs> yeah, sure. like, exactly. You know, I don't think it's I think it's unfavorable. He doesn't really respond to much. So yeah. he, he's it's, been critical a lot of stuff. Um, she later gone to banning Destiny as the major next war, point, claiming that someone who was originally a biological man and had transitioned into, and had transitioned into a biological female, he was like they shouldn't be in the Olympics, and this caught Kevin's attention somehow. Yeah. This isn't yeah, well, how this happened. Yeah, that's why I bring all this up because Kevin's originally got a massive push wave. I think the Twitter algorithm just loved her tweet because she was the one that reported Destiny for this clip, got him banned. It's on Twitch now. It's on Twitch. So yeah, so Kevin's again smaller Twitch streamer got this clip, reported it. Where it's a bit. I, when you say report, I reported nothing. I don't control Twitch. I had absolutely nothing to do with Destiny getting banned. That was entirely Twitch. So this is this is one of the things she says a lot, and she says it to this day. She's like, I had nothing to do with Destiny getting banned, and maybe that is true. I don't know that it's true, but the problem is that she constantly, at the time, was claiming like responsibility for it, and she was lying about it. And uh, at least in her own words, she 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 lied about it, and now she's like playing the victim, like, oh well, I didn't get him banned. It was only Twitch. But we literally have like screenshot after screenshot of her talking about the fact that um, she got him banned. And uh, so, yeah, if I can get into that, there is the original tweet where she's like, I got you banned, Stephen. Mm-hmm. But uh, in that tweet, um, she basically at the end says, uh, just for Destiny followers, I didn't actually get him banned. And then in future tweets are all like, I got him banned. I got him banned, guys. So it's so inconsistent. Right. Yeah. Actually, I can pull that up right now. Um, Destiny mains. Oh, you got it right here. There we go. All right, so there's uh, I mean, here's here's what she said at the time that he got banned, and uh, she says, St- "Hey, Stephen, I just took away your." She says, "Hey, Stephen, I just took away your primary source of income. Please leave me alone and stop bullying trans people for content. His followers are going to get mad, so I'm going to clarify now that I didn't report anything, and he did this to himself." And it's like, okay, sure, you clarify in the second tweet that, like, let's say it wasn't you, but like you say, I just took away your primary source of income. Stop bullying trans people for content. Like, you're explicitly trying to take credit for it. You can't play the victim now and be like, I had nothing to do with it. It's like, if you lie and someone believes your lie, especially given your history of, like, deplatforming people, like, how, how, how are you supposed to take an issue with us drawing that conclusion, you know? Um, and, the, the, and the thing is, like, I don't even know if I believe what she's saying now in retrospect that she didn't get him banned because she's constantly lying and switching things up. So I, I really just don't know. Um, yeah, I just don't know. Okay. Um. So yeah, that I mean that that kind of clears that up. We're gonna keep watching, but um, there is other stuff to go over from this, obviously. Um, even from this one little talking point. Yeah. Do you mean she clipped it and then reported it as a news person? No, or she no, no. no. This, this was clipped by someone else. She reported it with Destiny Channel and said, "This is transphobia." Or this is hate. I said you guys should have reported this, right? And here's just another one. 
Destiny has made 41% jokes towards me, accused me of being a pissed, accused me of being a child, and is now actively mocking me for being a childhood victim. I do not regret at all my role in getting him deplatformed from Twitch. And this, this presumably is not a joke. This presumably is a sincere statement. If she wants to say this one's a joke or it's trolling, okay. But this one is like a sincere statement. Um... He says he wants to appeal his ban decision. I don't think he understands. That I am friends with people on Twitch staff, and they are watching him as he does these things. He took the opportunity of getting banned to go mask off, but he is not going to be able to put it back on. Like, I have a sneaking suspicion she might use the trolling excuse again because she claims that, like, it was trolling. I mean, the thing is, even if, like, it's it's kind of like a lose-lose, for you know, for her either way because on one hand she says, okay, well, uh, if she's being sincere, then she did get him banned. Uh, and, and I don't like that. And if she's not being sincere and she didn't get him banned, like at the end of the day, she still lied publicly and then is like mad that we believe it when it's like, there's no joke. Like there's no joke to be made here. Like you just say you got his job taken away. There's no punchline or anything. Like you just lied and like, you're mad that people believe it. I really don't understand. No, Tom, this is trolling. This is epic trolling. And this is a thing she says, even in the video in, in her reaction to uh, our stream, she's like, oh, well, you were just trolling. Uh, you know, we do a little trolling and it's like, okay, well, you can She'll later on say, I hate when edgy people don't understand when I'm being edgy. If edginess is just lying and taking credit for shit that you didn't do, I, I don't know what edgy means anymore. I must, I guess I missed the redefinition. Yeah, I missed, I missed that boat. I didn't yeah, do yeah, literally yeah, anything. Inclusive, I mentioned there was definitely support of, of her report. Right. Um, but the reason this is important is that Kepler's immediately tweeted, Hey, Steven, I just took away your primary source of income. Stop attacking me and trans people. So... You know, basically what Kevils did was, from the beginning, it was a clever narrative of, I took down a transphobe who wasn't attacking Leah Thompson, was attacking the trans community, and I just defended it. Uh, and this is the way I mean, no. Because um, I tweet, like, immediately after that, by the way, I didn't actually do that. I'm just trying to <laughs> fall off. And it's really obvious. It's just, I've learned over time that people are just incredibly bad faith, and they want to make up the narratives that they think are good, you know? They want the narratives that will outrage people in their own community. So they're absolutely not above lying. They lie all the time. This entire thing, I don't even know... Because if they're being sincere right now, they're stupid. And if they're not being sincere, then they're doing what they can in order to intentionally incite outrage by their own audience. Which once I think again, like, there's no reason for me to stupid. incite outrage against her from my audience because she's already hated by my audience, like, before I say anything. Like, immediately, as soon as I mentioned Kevils, everyone was like, F*** that, bitch, we hate her. Because she's obsessed with deplatforming people. That's why people hate you. And you also say, like, um, oh, well, you're just lying. And it's like, well, no, you publicly told a lie... At least that's what you claim. You publicly told a lie, and we now recite the lie that you told. And the lie, like, once again, like, you say, okay, well, it's just so obvious that it wasn't me. You then go on, like, it wasn't even, like, one statement. You go on to say that you have friends with Twitch. I am friends with people on Twitch staff. They're watching him as he does these things. He took the opportunity of getting banned to go mask off. Like, you're literally saying you know people on the inside to get Destiny banned. Like, why would we not... Why would, we, why would we not at least, like, acknowledge that, you know what I mean? Um, like, if you want to take credit for something, you can't retroactively be like, well, why are you giving me credit for it, you know? Um, so, yeah, is there anything else you want to add on this point, Birdie, or should we... Or should we no, move? except that her trying to claim that we're not being, gen uh, we're being disingenuous is very unfair. When I compare us to a lot of other people, talking about Keffels, we are pretty nice, and we even say we're going to avoid some topics because it makes her look too bad. And she knows that when she watches this video and we bring up topics, she notices that and she still goes ahead with this like line that we're just too stupid or we're too disingenuous. I mean, if we wanted to to really go after her, we'd bring up the um, like we would have gone. I would have gone more into Catboy Ranch and DIY Hormones, right. which when I reference by name once, she goes, oh, I know exactly what they are. They're transphobes. Oh, I know exactly their motives. But we you didn't know, even talk about it in the video. Like, like we literally didn't go into it with the explicit purpose of like avoiding that just because it was um, it was it was unsubstantiated at the time we just didn't know everything about it right it was a stream highlight where I, I was giving a short 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 retelling of the story i'm not going to go into deep lore about keffels and her friends actions right um all right we're gonna keep watching is probably what's happening it's important because keffels like to say well i never attacked someone i was attacked first i, I I'd call that attack first so i'm quite honest was destiny I critical because like remember this like if you are making the argument that trans women cannot compete with other women in the Olympics, which by the way, that's not um, even what this thing was about. But if you're making that argument, you are making a pro segregation argument. You are saying that trans women should be segregated. That's what you are saying. There is no way around that. You are pro segregation of trans people. And this is such just like a non like argument. Like, 
Okay, yeah. If you're saying if you want to use the word segregation because it calls black it get, because it calls back to like black people in the 1960s, then obviously that's going to sound good on paper. But what we're actually talking about, and I actually have a clip here to reference about. Uh, I have a clip here to reference from I Destiny talking about it. Oh, you sent it in to the me case. As well. I'm um, on it. Don't worry, baby. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, like Destiny's talked about this, and the argument is not that trans people should be segregated in all parts of society. Do- it's not anything even close to that. The argument, in actuality is just that like there's you know physiological differences between men and women the trans athlete and, is like, going to do a lot if you to... transition when you're like 25 years old after puberty then you can't be competing with people of uh the same you know societal gender right if you want to say trans people are real people which i believe they are if you want to say trans like a trans woman is a real woman which i think is totally fine um then like if you want to say that that person should be able to compete against someone who's a cis woman then you're being delusional. Like, that's never going to be a fair competition. And we have, a like, a clip even from the beginning of this stream, which is so obvious in explaining that. And I don't even know why that argument was made here. Like, I assume just to, like, preach to her audience. We're like, oh, well, you're, you're advocating for segregation of trans people. The trans athlete is going to do a lot to, like, foster a lot of really bad will against, like, trans people in general. I think it's a really good turf argument for, well, look, these people just want to destroy women's spaces. Everybody else in the world can look and see that there is clearly a difference between physiologically men and women. You guys should know this on the left because we talk about rape culture all the time, and it's one of the big concerns that women has. Go research the biology, then talk about the biology afterwards. No, okay, wait, wait, hold on, no, 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 wait. Why, why, why don't, yeah, please explain this to me so I can tell you how f***ing stupid you are. Go ahead. Who gives a f*** if women can't compete at the top level? If it, <laughs> it eliminates... So there you can see. You can see kind of Destiny's argument around it. It's not about segregating trans people. It's not about excluding them. It's nothing like that. And um, it's kind of frustrating to, like, have to keep going back to, like, Destiny clips to defend him and be, like, you know, his fucking caretaker or whatever in the stream. But, like... You're just like you're just, you're just like misrepresenting everything and and uh, and really lying about what the actual argument is. Like that's such a that's such a cop out to say it's it's segregating trans people. Like no, it's not. Devils is claiming a left wing trans ally streamer is actually secretly a right wing anti trans streamer. We have to use these Destiny clips, and mm. she cannot like that, and that's fine. But in the day, if she wants to criticize Destiny and his motives, we have to defend Destiny and his motives. Simple right. as. Right. Or was he was he at least critical of her before that point? I don't think he knew her. Okay, really? Interesting. So, Again, like, Heffles wasn't really that big. Did, now, when you say big, you mean big on Twitter, because to my understanding, even to this day, she doesn't have, like, a following on Twitch, really, right? Oh, no, she is. I mean, I mean, we're doing comparatively, right? If we're doing comparatively with the top streamers, even now, I don't think she's as big. But, I mean, we were at that statistic. What is it? Like, the top one of streamers, that people get more than, like, five views? Like, okay. Heffles had, like, 100 viewers per stream. But, but, a, but a hundred, to scoff at. It's nothing to scoff at, but considering how big her Twitter following is, it is kind of, like... When you say it's relatively low, I mean, getting like 300 yeah, lives. Yeah, that, that's what I was going on to. The reason it's so surprising is that one tweet of Hey Steven did so well in the algorithm. I mean, people that never heard of Kevils before were liking, retweeting, following. And it's not wow, just that one tweet. She sort of astroturfed her own fame through Twitter. What? Well, again, I'm saying this is the first. This is- Ast- astroturfing your own fame because you know how to do marketing. That's crazy. Know how to do it, marketing. It's really weird how you have lie. to go into. H- 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 oh, okay. It's <laughs> it Turkey Tom. Hold well on, Tom. Um, what timestamp was I at? In like 12 minutes? Okay, well, this person has this many followers, therefore they're... Uh, okay, what? Well, again, I, I'm saying this is the first. This is... Ast- astroturfing your own fame because you know how to do marketing. That's crazy. So the reason we say that is because, like, like when she says marketing, it's not promoting, like, content. It's promoting lies about other people and, like, trying to get them banned in order to make yourself famous, which she did successfully, right? But that's why that's why yeah. I use that terminology is because like the reason I'm using it is because it's not a legitimate way to gain fame in my eyes, at least. It's like a, it's like a very hack way. Again, she's claiming this is all crazy fan fiction. No, no, no. The beginning of her career, as far as I and many other viewers are concerned, is that she took credit for getting a bunch of people banned. That's right. that is right. her origin. Right. She can't right. deny that. Right. But I mean, she's trying to like she's trying to deny it with this video, saying like you can't even you can't even talk about me without talking about destiny. It's like well, destiny like, is important I mean, to your whole story. Am I going to bring up two years of her playing Fallout New Vegas and saying she doesn't like new trans legislation? That 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 was not her big claim to fame. It got her a bunch of viewers, and it did well for her channel, but this is what boosted her, and this is what got her in the public conscious. Well, did it get her a bunch of viewers? Because then in this next clip, she like becomes like insecure about the fact that nobody watches her stupid shit. I mean, the Twitch is never it's been It's really weird popular. how you have to go into these analysis of, uh, okay, well, this person has this many followers, therefore their opinion is is more valid or something. It's... Like, it takes a lot to even average 500 on Twitch. 
the vast majority of people who stream will never do that. And I just I just need to pause this and acknowledge this. Like, we didn't say anything about her opinion being more or less valid because of her follower count. It's just when you're telling a rise and fall story of someone or telling telling a story about how popular someone is, you have to talk about how popular someone is, right? With talking about, like, it, with any video I would do about anyone, I would talk about her sub count, right? And now she's like... Point she, and now she's, like, coping about it. A point in this, this bit that she's pausing on is that the Twitch was not as big as the Twitter and the Twitter did not help boost up the Twitch. And she's misconstruing this argument as us saying her lower numbers compared to other people means she has less of a voice, which is not at all what we're saying. This is one of many like examples where she, I don't know if it's purposeful or she's just not listening because she's like half watching of chat. But she just completely misunderstands what we're saying. Right. And I think it's quite convenient. I mean, she says something that we didn't we didn't even say. It's not even a misunderstanding. It's like you made a point that we didn't make. Um, and it's just like I don't even know how I'm supposed to combat this because it's 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 totally not even something I said. But if you want me to play into it, I mean, you know, your reaction to my video about you had 600 live viewers and I have 1,200 live right now. So um, get owned. Make better content, okay? Make better streams. You're boring. Too much dead air. Get better at making videos L -Riz. and streams. L, L Riz, guys. Got, can I get L Keppels in chat? L Keppels in chat. L low view count in chat, guys. Owned. Owned, okay. I'm famous. You're not. In the words of Flamenco, I'm an internet celebrity. Okay. Guys. Um, all right. We should probably uh, we should probably resume this. We're, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm getting into stupid Fuck, here we go. <laughs> it's just such, it's such weird, like, measuring stuff. It has nothing to do with the argument that they're even trying to make but it's all just like it's all based on is his research like literally just okay i'm gonna once again the dick the dick the dick measuring was in this stream the dick measuring was not in what you reacted to okay bring this guy on and i'm just gonna take everything that he says at face value because if that's the case his entire channel um is suspect because then everything is based on incredibly yes, shoddy one research. stream highlight represents the entire of the main edited channel full of research yes careful and once again I am like the only one that researches tom's videos i am the sole <laughs> archive the thing is we're 13 minutes in and like i haven't found a single point that's been like super like 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 wrong from what we said she says it's wrong she says it's fan fiction but like i can't think of a single thing she said so far that's been like whoa like we're totally wrong on that like she got upset now because we said that she doesn't get watched by anyone doesn't have viewers and then she's like it's so hard to even get 500 people live and it's like yeah that's probably true to an extent but like that's not what i said you know until we get to the kiwi farm she's going to continuously just insult us and go that's wrong that's wrong when a we're right and b she gives no example why we're wrong right here we go the first contact because okay. after that it was the ratioing it was the, the constant bravado i mean i don't think i don't think Kevin was immediate originally planned on it. i think she sort of fell into it right okay so so you think that she kind of she fell into that and then she she sort of saw an opportunity to get big from that? oh yeah absolutely i don't think Kevin is a master manipulator that people want to say i think she's clever with her words but okay. she kind of fell into this position and then immediately afterwards it was ratioing i can't remember the full timeline but i mean you know um god you know lauren lauren southern right of course yes so the moment this destiny thing happened and everyone's following and liking and i mean it was even at the time just from this one destiny thing there were these randoms <laughs> on twitter going like keppels is the, the new icon of the trans community which is daft because never has been never will be so keppels is this I trans think... girl who she destroyed steven destiny yeah she yeah, took away his primary source of income which is i mean i remember him talking about it that's like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year like 300k a year yeah and twitch twitch lost. being twitch didn't pay him out that month when he got banned or anything right so she so she directly ca like caused a lot of opportunity loss right for him i did even indirectly she caused i mean like i literally did nothing um it's all I need to show for this is like this tweet. Like she can say she did nothing now, but and may maybe she Our did point... do nothing for all I know. But it's like she claimed she literally says she took away his primary source of income and she brags about it. So, so like, he makes what... up some number like three hundred k and says that we're claiming Destiny lost three hundred k a year because of what she did. And a we didn't. I don't think we gave out a number. If we did, we like kind of theorized. I think I and probably B, gave Destiny... a number, and I think the reason I gave that is because there was this time when he was talking about getting banned on Twitch and he was upset because it was like two hundred fifty to three hundred k he lost and income for the year, the year. And he was upset yeah, about it and that's right. why i said that but um but yeah she, I mean, she makes that like she makes that like well if if he did lose that money he would have taken me to court it's like hey he did try to sue you and then you just stopped talking about him so he stopped talking about you yeah and b yeah. it doesn't even matter the major point here is that you look like a complete psychopath banning this guy right it's impossible to prove that and they know that they absolutely know it steven knows it i know it if there is a way to prove that i caused him to lose three hundred thousand dollars a year and I got. I mean, <laughs> you can you can say this was a joke. This is like, but I'd imagine like if he did take you to court, this probably wouldn't look good to say. I don't when think I, he understands. I, I am friends with people on Twitch staff, and they're watching him as he does these things. And you say, "Hey, Steven, I just took away your primary source of income. Stop bullying trans people for content." I imagine that wouldn't look great in court. That would probably be admissible. 
No, that's trolling. That's trolling. Tom, it's trolling. Yeah, it's trolling. Got him banned from Twitch. Like, you you know that when he... He would have been talking about this. He would have been like, I'm going to sue Keffels for making me lose $300,000. But he never did, because that's not true. I mean, I mean, the thing is, she also says it's so outlandish that he would ever, like, think of suing her. But maybe she hasn't acknowledged it to her audience. But Destiny did, actually, um, as far as I know, send her a cease and desist. And when she ceased and desisted talking about him and spreading lies about him... Um, he decided to just drop it because he figured it wasn't worth the time. But I mean, he was like actively like he had a he has a lawyer on retainer. He was looking into suing her. So the fact that she's acting like this would be so outlandish. It's like well, he actually was planning on doing that for defamation. Um. So yeah. Un there's no way for you to verify that. And if it got into a legal battle, Twitch would have to get involved, and they would be like, no, that's we do not ban people in this manner. We ban them because they break the terms of service. And this is something that I want to talk about because she says, oh, we ban them because they break the terms of service. And she's acting as if Twitch is like the most consistent like website ever, as if they only ban people justifiably. They only ban people who break terms of service and they ban them like, you know, um, sort of evenly. I sent the clip you want, by the way. Oh, you did? Um, okay, yeah, I have it right here. Here we go. I'm going to keep those up. Here we go. Um, here's just a clip of, I mean, Pace this is just one example of Critical talking about Jadeon being banned when he, like, quote-unquote, hate-rated Pokimane. Live and then spreading her pull and at the camera. She, she goes live and then just puts her right at the camera and just fully goat sees her chamber of secrets and has the flaps all visible and everything. And just does that for, like, what, 15, 20 seconds, something like that, and then goes offline. Claimed it was a mistake thinking she was on a different platform. She only received a three-day ban. Hopefully so, someone who spread their f***ing hole on Twitch got a three-day ban. And Destiny is banned permanently for saying that uh, cis women shouldn't compete in the same league as trans women. Like, this is the website we're dealing with. This is not a site that's been consistent or fair with anything since the beginning of time. So I don't know why she would even say that. <laughs> is it Only because they play to her favor, I assume. Everyone can always remember every year there's always these stories of like people sleeping with Twitch staff or getting favor or meeting them at parties and they get advantage. There's so many clips, so many people talking about it. Like it's not a tool. You cannot make the argument Twitch is consistent. No, of course not. Especially when I mean you're literally claiming that you're that Twitch is corrupt by saying that you're friends with people on Twitch staff and they're watching him as he does these things, implying that like you're sending him you're sending them to uh, get him banned like yeah, Eccles makes lots of claims like this there's a later when we talk later i've got another picture where she claims she also has like connections to the mainstream media and then she's like i'm not a manipulator i i don't have any like control i don't know why they keep saying this like well you keep claiming you have this control so mm -hmm. i don't know it's a lot of loss to him because um he, he, or, or sorry even directly she caused a loss to him because he lost his payout that month which sucks yeah yeah, yeah. i mean it was it was it was a from Kefl's perspective, it, everything just fell into place. Decisive victory, decisive win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, it's just amazing how quickly it happened. I mean, this was like a day after the stream got banned, I want to say. Right. Okay, so that happened. Where do we go from here? Because Kefl's is, uh, she's sort of, like, no one talks about her right now, at least online. But it seemed like... Uh, she's trending right now on Twitter. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. When I'm well, she, well, even if she's trending, what? because she gets, she's getting, like, 1,000 people talking about her. She was, like, huge for a little while, and now things have died down. Wouldn't you say that's accurate? Uh, she, yeah, I mean, it, like like anything, like on a YouTube channel or, a twi or Twitter, when, when a Twitter or a YouTube channel is doing really well, and they get pushed a lot through the algorithm, and people are seeing it because they're interested in drama or news or streaming, you know, I think people saw them more on their feed. You know, I, I don't know about the popularity specifically. I think this popularity is waning, but it's not like she went from big to small. But yeah, I think she, I think she rode away. Like I said, immediately after Destiny, with all this big push, she went for Lauren Southern and got Lauren Southern. Well, not actually. That's. Do you want me to get into that as well? Yeah. So, so right after the Destiny thing, at this right point, Destiny, how many Twitter followers did she have? Do you know? Oh, thirty thousand. This, this is a while ago. Um, okay. So she had a few. Like she had over twenty. 000. It was over a thousand. Over, over twenty thousand. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. That. There you go. Okay. Uh, what did I do to Lauren Southern? Um, I ratioed her or something, and then she said ratios uh, will never make you a woman. She claimed she got Lauren Southern banned. Right, and she goes on. She goes on to say, "We do, that was just doing a little trolling." But it's like, well, once again, like I don't really see the troll in just like saying that you got someone banned, like just taking credit for it, especially when you advocate for deplatforming people anyway. It's like, oh, you advocate for deplatforming people, they get deplatformed. You say, oh, I got them deplatformed. Like, what what other conclusion are people supposed to draw from that? You know, you're calling me a, and that was my entire experience dealing with Lauren Southern. Can we count in the middle and say 10,000? Okay, so sure. So she had, she, had, she had some Twitter following. She got big from owning Steven. Where did she go from there? So like I said, immediately it was uh, ratioing Keemstar. Because Keemstar's like, who is this Keffel? She's just got one of the biggest streamers fans. Like ratio transphobe, ratio this. And then she picked a fan with Lauren Southern because Lauren Southern had Destiny on her stream. And if you know anything about Twitch rules, if you have a, if you have a banned streamer on your stream, you get banned as well. Because that's fan of okay. And for not Twitter people, ratioing is when... Wait, 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 this what? clip for no so sure. reason. So I, to this day, I don't know why she did this. Yeah. She had, she had some Twitter following. She got big from owning Steven. Where did she go from there? 
So like I said, immediately it was uh, Ratio and Keemstar, because Keemstar's like, who is this Keffles bitch? She's just got one of the biggest streamers bands, like Ratio, Transpho, Ratio this. And then she picked a fan with Lauren Southern, because Lauren Southern had Destiny on her stream. And if you know anything about Twitch rules, if you have a, if you have a band streamer on your stream, you get banned as well, because that's banned. Okay. And for not Twitter banned people, ratioing is when you get, you quote tweet someone, oh, yeah, ratioing when you retweet someone, someone likes, right? and you get more likes. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, 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 it's very much a terminally online tactic. Like it works with kids and it works with people. When they say it's really terminally online, by the way, her chat you starts know, the seething. They're like, wow, this Twitter that is claiming, claiming ratios are like ineffective. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, it such is big, such big. It, like people say it's ineffective but like in the end after all the ratios like kiwi farms is currently up destiny has his twitter back he's on youtube making money like she she failed the, the ratios didn't do anything other than make her famous right um, i guess even, I, I literally even, have no clue what they what they were meant to do i mean i i assume to get her her own fame i mean you know there was some talk about it like being important but um you know, being important for trans people and, and uh, being sort of an important social movement, like what she was doing. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like, everything that she did is now undone. KiwiFarms.net is still up on its original domain, nonetheless. Like, you can access it just the same as it was, you know, before she even came along. Um, Destiny is around on YouTube, so it's just like, what even is there, you know? Everything is undone. And it didn't even manage to make her internet famous because now she's... Uh, on YouTube coping about the fact that she doesn't have, or sorry, she was on Twitch coping about the fact that she doesn't have a lot of live viewers. And even beyond that, um, I actually want to get this reference real quick. Um, this is something I shared four months ago on my old Twitter. Um, oh, is this your old tweet? Because if you so, say you didn't give me it. To yeah, I couldn't find the tweet. I just want to get the screenshot up. Um, here we go, guys. So this is a, a post she made. Hey, at, hi at everyone. This is a big ask, but the YouTube team has been working hard to try and get the channel boosted in the algorithm. If you want to help, apparently the best way to do this is watch hours. All you have to do is open that Isabel, is open the video that Isabel just linked here, and put it on play and watch it all the way through. You can walk away from your computer or turn the audio down, it doesn't matter. Once we get the channel showing up in people's recommendations, it'll be smooth sailing. I believe in these strength of the wigglers when they set their sights on a goal. And, uh, this... <laughs> no one, like, no one watches her on youtube uh if you go to her youtube channel when was this is there a date um i guess not but it was quite a while ago this was months ago like Hi. i this this is when i still had a twitter like my my at zap tie twitter so it must have been uh i think i got spent in october or november i think october so it's been four or five months i think and uh i mean to this day her channel is not doing very well and even back then she had to beg people to watch her videos just a pro tip, Keffels, if you actually make good content, like people will just sit down and watch it. It's not the most impossible thing in the world. If you make entertaining content, people will watch it and YouTube will promote it. You don't need to encourage people to leave it on in the background so that you can get your YouTube channel popular. And this is for what context, I talk about with... Is it, no, you, you can go ahead. I was just say, for context, this is from uh, October, and the moment it was made fun of, Keffels deleted it. <laughs> yeah, and of course she did. And it's like... You say like astro, you say you, like you. When I say astroturf, you're like, oh, what do you mean astroturf? Just because I'm good at marketing, but I think the only thing you're good at is getting popular on Twitter from like bulk ratios. And when it comes to actually like getting an audience who enjoys you, you're just boring and bad at making content. Um, and that's why you have to beg people to watch your videos. I've never had to do this in my life. I've never had to beg people to watch a video. Like, I just post it, and if it's good, people watch it, and if it's not, people don't watch it. It's that simple. You don't need to beg people to, like, not even properly watch it to basically manipulate the algorithm and uh, leave your videos on in the background so that they can accrue watch time, which is fake watch time because those people aren't actually watching your videos. Um, so, yeah, there you go. We're going to keep watching. I can realize, yeah, I guess if you have a bigger push, you will get more likes. Hubba right, okay. So, uh, yeah, Lauren Southern got banned on Twitch because she had Disney on her stream. So, Keffels immediately tried to take credit. There's a tweet out there. Um... Oh, yeah. yeah, it's called We Do a Little Trolling. We do a little trolling. It's, it is really cool how people who are incredibly edgy cannot recognize when other people are being edgy. And I don't understand this point because <laughs> if she was being edgy, like saying Lauren Southern needs to herself or something extreme, I'd be like, okay, you're being edgy, but whatever. But being edgy is not taking credit for someone else getting banned. That's, that's not being edgy. That's lying and that's attention seeking. It's lying is attention seeking. And like she's like she openly makes a statement saying I got them banned, I got their income taken away, and when we say that she said that, and when we say that you know that's something she wants to take credit for, she's like, oh, but I didn't actually do that, huh? I was just pretending to be reported, and it's like, okay, dude, okay. 
Yeah, I got, you know, what a I got associated with getting both Destiny and Lauren Southern banned on Twitch, and now the final boss of Twitch is referenced to Null. He's trying to coordinate docs on me, because right after this Lauren Southern thing, Kevils took credit. I got you banned on Twitch as well. Lauren Southern goes, no, here's the email. Twitch has proven that I actually got banned for getting Destiny on my stream. And then, of course, the Kiwi Farm started created because this is two big, big, you know, I want to say streamers, I guess political icons, getting banned in under a week. And then Kevils immediately jumped on that as well. Wow, I'm being attacked by these Kiwi Farmers. Right, so at this point, um, She's she's gotten she's gotten Destiny banned and she she takes credit for that yes. which I think that was accurate she didn't that get Lauren banned but she but she no but she but did she take credit, credit for it, it. okay it and was it was uh, I can't say it because it's I think it would go against TOS but both sides um, Kevils fans and Lauren Southern fans were using quite extreme language a lot of people got banned there was this person who's like a, was so one of like, part of the law I didn't know Kevils story better than her and they got banned but uh, basically a bunch of her like mutuals were getting in trouble with um Soren, uh, Lauren Southern fans and both sides kept getting banned uh, so Kevils later will have a chat tell her. Yeah, one of your like friends got in trouble for this, and Kevils just sort of laughs, which is fair enough. I honestly but, uh, don't believe she didn't know. I think she just played dumb and was hoping no one in chat would acknowledge it. Well, either way, it then... looks daft because either I know more about her own law than she does, which means she can't tell me that I'm wrong. Yeah. Or yeah. alternatively, she does know and she's lying. True. Lauren's what? Much, you know, chance stuff back. It, it was a very Lauren is a right winger, right? So she and she, yeah, she's, she's a very conservative right winger. Traditional, traditional conservative. I want to say. Um, and she basically. <laughs> to keep it brief, Lauren was um, saying, well, I'm a mother with two kids. I'm completely secure. I don't care that my Twitch is gone and it wasn't you. Kevils fans like, you're eggless and shit like that. And of course, like, I bet you can imagine what the response was from Lauren's fans. Yeah, so they were, so, they, they were probably dead aiming her or whatever. Well, now, dead aiming now, now, Kiwi Farms. Kids, that kind of shit. Kiwi Farms is a website I've really oh, in my videos, but a lot of people, I think, probably still don't even like quite know what it is. Um, Kiwi Farms is a gossip forum. Would you say that's accurate? Oh, Demon oh, Mama. It's a gossip forum. Demon and... Mama called her eggless? Is that like a part of the Lauren Southern lore? I'm unfamiliar with this. This is all really old. I don't. Did she sew online? There's no way. Maybe she forgot it, but she definitely knew it at one time. I don't. Either way, it may, I don't either believe way, this act. I, either way, when I when when we're saying like we don't understand why she's saying we're wrong, this is the primary example because either we know more than her, or clearly there's some alternate universe, alternate storyline that everyone hasn't seen except for Cavils. Mm -hmm. The thing that makes it different from other from other websites is that it doesn't disallow doxing in the TOS. Um, now, doxing happens on every website, but Kiwi Farms is not a site that uh, prohibits it. So if you go to someone's thread, it's not uncommon to find their personal information um, as far as their No, actually, website. that's not true. Doxing is against the terms of service of uh, most social media websites. And Kiwi Farms is very unique in that when they have a thread on you, they put your docs on the front page of the thread. So this is where she just says that we're wrong and then repeats what we just said. I can rewind this a little bit just so we can see that. But I'm sending you the relevant resources you want, by the way. Oh, okay, awesome. So basically, the point I make here is I'm like, doxing happens on every website. But every website actually doesn't allow it, um, technically, in their TOS, but it does happen. And, I mean, just for some evidence of this, right, here's a tweet from Def Noodles, funnily enough. Uh, Def Noodles says, uh, Stan's taking it too far, Dream doxed after posting a picture of his kitchen on his second Twitter account. Dream has not published statements about the situation yet in his public accounts. Asking you shall receive 114 for the kitchen from Dream's photos on his second Twitter I think you can all remember this uh, when this uh, Dream got uh, doxxed. I mean, he was trending for like two days on Twitter. Yeah, yeah I mean, even like his, his, his face got fucking doxxed and people were posting it on Twitter and like those accounts didn't get suspended. So basically, Dream got doxxed and his stands found his house via Zillow since Dream himself posted a video or a photo of his kitchen. Well, not one day and already 2021 is going to be one of those weird years. So like the, the point I'm making here and it's clear, but I'll just I'll lay it out fucking explicitly is that uh People get docs on other websites, too, including Twitter. Twitter just doesn't allow it in their TOS, at least technically. And Kiwi Farms does, which I say. And we also have a <laughs> we have so, a Jalen video about this, which is kind of funny, uh, considering uh, Jalen's history with Keffels. So, Dream was just doxed. Now, if you guys don't know what doxing is, it's pretty much when somebody finds your private oh, information no, and leaks it for everybody else Whoa. to find and this is what happened to dream basically what happened is something okay so we already explained this but yeah and keffels goes point, on to point is that keffels either didn't listen and thought tom was saying doxing's allowed everywhere which he didn't say it's no. quite plain language or again this is a weird misinterpretation i don't want to attribute motives to her but i can't help but shape the feeling she's like intentionally misunderstanding what both of us say yeah with two kids, I'm completely secure. I don't care that my Twitch is gone and it wasn't you. Kevils fans like you're eggless and shit. And of course, like, I bet you can imagine what. I'm just gonna play this clip again. Fans. Yeah. So Part of the Lauren Southern lore. I'm unfamiliar with this. This is all really old. Find their personal information. Um. As far as no, personal actually, that's not true. Doxing is against the terms of service of uh, most social media websites. And once again, I, I just said that in the video. I just said that. And Kiwi Farms is very unique in that when they have a thread on you, they put your docs on the front page of the thread. And, and so I also said that. I, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, 
um, Kiwi Farms, I mean, you had Null on the stream earlier and he clarified. Um, Kiwi Farms does allow people to post doxing information. You can post someone's personal information. I don't like that, but they can do that. But they don't say go out and harass these people, stalk them. They, they, they literally just compile as much evidence as they can. I, I, I really can't think of an example where they've actually encouraged people. I mean, one of the rules is don't touch the poop. Don't go for the lol cows. Now, in fairness, in fa to be fair, when you talk about Kiwi Farms, that stuff is going to happen for, as a result of the forum, right? If you have a site that allows people's personal info to be posted, like the oh, harassment I'm will just happen. saying, I'm just saying, if we're going off TOS and what the sites say in their, like, in their fine print, right. it's, it's right. not like they're saying, yes, please go out and order a million pizzas. Right. Like that, right? Yeah, so if you want me to quickly now head back, right after Lauren Summon things, Kiwi Farms was created. Now, sure. I don't know how many of these claims are stunt chasing or not, but what they found was a bunch of stick. It was a Sky trans, uh, well, Sky was the name of this trans stuff. Uh, both before and after their operation, and people connected the faces, the ages, and the time. So people they, on Kiwi Farms, Kiwi Farms found out that supposedly Keffels was supposedly like Supposedly Keffels, during her surgery, had, had you know, did this little <laughs> stunt. It was on a site called T-Girl Canada, because if you don't know, Keffels is in Canada. The face, the timing, it okay. all kind of lines up, but I'm still not confident to this day to say if it's real. And Keffels just keeps dancing around it, probably because it's a bit embarrassing if it's real, and if it's not, it's just not worth mentioning. Okay. What? I d no, I've... I've admitted that I used to do I've admitted that I used to work as a dominatrix. These are things that I've done. And here's the thing with this. She says she admitted to it, but the reason why we brought that up is because Keffels has explicitly hid from claimed it for that like it was over revenge like porn. half a year. Yes, she did. For half she a did year hide she from hid it. from it. And, and when she did, when she first referenced it, she called it revenge porn. Revenge porn is when someone uploads your against your will. Keffels willingly uploaded this. Right. Opening up about the harassment campaign against me for the last three months after old me was leaked. She says old me was leaked. As if it was like some private thing. I can't keep pretending that harassment against me isn't insane. I can't pretend that harassment against me isn't insane. I'm dealing with revenge and doxing. That's not revenge. Revenge is when you send something to someone privately, okay, in a private exchange, and it then gets leaked by that person maliciously to harm you. This was you made and was available publicly. And you complained about it being leaked and talked about, unless there's some other nudes I like, I like. I, that I'm unaware of, but she never says that there are other nudes. And now on her stream, she's like, um, I was always off. I was always open about that. I never said I didn't do that. She now jokes about it. There's like a tweet where she's like, I'm sorry, mom, I can't give you grandchildren. Best I've got is like a chat full of kids calling me mummy. So she, yeah, I, I guess now she jokes about it and she's cool with it now. But more so our point was she hid from it. And we even say in this stream, we don't have 100% proof. And that's not true because there is proof that it is Kevils. But we were still being nice about it and saying we don't fully know. So on every angle of this, it's not like we're being unfavorable. And Kevils is really bending the rules when she's like, no, I am honest. I am open about it. Yeah. In my life. I've talked about it a lot openly. Like... Yeah, I addressed this even before Destiny. I addressed this even before Destiny. I can't keep pretending that harassment against me isn't fucking insane. I'm dealing with revenge doxing. Old me was leaked. Like, this is a totally... This is a totally different reaction. Maybe maybe she said, like, in a Discord channel yeah, so once I used to... Uh, but she never said it publicly. ...dying and paid for the surgery, and of course, Kiwi Farmers immediately use that against her as, like, kind of bullying tactic. I'm not saying right. Kiwi Farmers is right or wrong in this. I'm just trying to give as fair a... But it's, it's obviously shit, you know. Oh, I, I dying so. dad or whatever, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, Kiwi, Kiwi, so Kiwi does what they normally do. They dig into someone's yeah, past. Yeah, they just catalog everything from the Twitch history right. to this catboy thing. I mean, they, they, they quickly realized how big of a digital footprint... Yeah, that's really f***ed up, trying to speculate on whether or not I manipulated my f***ing dying father. I assume she's not implying that we did that here. No, um, she is. This is another misinterpretation. She's saying that we're blaming her for having a dying dad be you used think against she is? her. Let me watch the clip again. Uh, Kettle's father, who I think was dying and paid for the surgery, and of course Kiwi Farmers immediately used that against her as like kind of bullying tactic. I'm not saying right. Kiwi Farmers is right or wrong in this. I'm just trying to give as fair a. But it's, it's obviously uh, you know a oh, I, I dying so. dad or whatever. That's pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, Kiwi, Kiwi, so Kiwi does what they normally do. They dig into someone's. Yeah, past. they just catalog everything from the Twitch history right. to this catboy thing. I mean, they, they they quickly realized how big of a digital footprint. Yeah, that's really f***ed up. Trying to speculate on whether or not I manipulated my f***ing dying father. Maybe she is responding to what they said. Uh, is she responding? No, no, to no. Us? She's saying that we're speculating. Do you that think she's she trying is? to use her dying dad? Uh, that's what. That's how I'm reading it. And keep in mind, at, at this current time, Kevils is still in hot water because after years of virtue signaling about cancer and her father, which I do relate to, I'm not at all using that against her. She recently said uh, Metica has cancer, and that's a skill issue. So it's not even again. That's edgy, and I don't mind that. That's an edgy joke. I'm not upset by that. But I think that's why she's so like. Oh, wow, that's weird. That's weird. They're theorizing. Like, we're not claiming anything. We're just saying. Points right. like these are weird to make.
When my dad was diagnosed with terminal cancer, he decided to dip into his life savings to pay for gender reaffirming, reaffirming surgeries for me. He told me, when I die, I'll have no use for money. I love you, and if I could help set you up for a better life before I die, I'll be happy. So there's that tweet. And I then I think it's a even, genuine, like, sad story. I, I, all yeah. I was mentioning was that Kiwi Farmers were being unfair and weren't just using shit she'd done. They were using her dying father or dead father against her. Right. And it's like, here, okay, sympathy for her own dad. But, you know, and it's, it is a sweet story. It's like, you know, that's... that's. I feel bad for her. I don't think that's at all like a, a, oh, an L course. or like some sort of insult. But then when someone she doesn't like gets cancerous, mother <laughs> dedicated an entire stream to me where he coined the term shine to refer to hormone replacement therapy. I absolutely do not care that he got cancer. That's a skill issue on his part. And it's like, once again, like the total callousness, like... It's an edgy joke. I don't say. mind the edginess. I'm not. I don't mind like, the edginess wow, of it either. Edge. But it's just like a total hypocrisy. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean. Okay, if we're supposed to feel bad for her with this. That's totally fine. But then, like, when someone is mean to her on the internet, this is her response. Um, and even beyond that, I mean, once again, with other comments she's made, it just doesn't really make sense. Like, for example, with a forty-one percent joke, it's like, okay, well, you can't joke about her being trans. But she and, and you can't joke about her dad or whatever. You can't speculate on that. But when someone she doesn't like gets cancer, she can cheer on his death, basically, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's just it's just I mean, it's, I don't, I don't it's not it a too good much. Word. I just unless someone wants to correct me, the way I read that that comment is that she thinks we're trying to use the dead dad as a dig or like against her. And yeah. I, I don't I don't agree at all. No, I agree. Uh, I mean, obviously, yeah. Just really strange. Kevles has just under different names, and it's worth it's worth saying outright that Kiwi is known for transphobia, right? This is how teenagers. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they purposely got their way to, to have misgender people, right? Whatever your position on that is, like, obviously that's gonna piss off a trans person, right? Yeah, I think it's important to mention as well is you know with things like Kiwi Farms and Encyclopedia Dramatica, when you're trying to be alt media, you kind of have to go against the norm. I don't want to be too political. I'd say it's fair to say a lot of left wing talking points are supreme. So Kiwi Farms need to almost feel like they have to be transphobic and they have to misgender just to be wait. different energy. And I don't right. think that's bad or good. That's just how it is. And probably a big part of that also is just that like wait, you can't say that on mainstream platforms. People who did he just call Kiwi Farms an alt media website? It's alt media. It I absolutely is. is. I don't know what this is supposed to be like. It's it's an alternative site. It's not in the mainstream. It's a site that like. People who go, who it don't, doesn't who don't conform. It's yeah, underground yeah. somewhat. Like I, I, I don't know what an alt media site is. If Kiwi Farms isn't an alt media site, I mean, in, in essence, it's the alt media site. I mean, it's a, it's a site that allows. It's things the most that popular no right allows. now. I think that's fair to say. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I can't think of a site that's bigger. That's kind of in, in the vein of Kiwi Farms. You know. It. He called it an alt media website, and he, he said he doesn't want to say whether or not transphobia is bad or good. No, 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 and I don't no. think that's I don't what you pass were saying. Judgment. I don't want to pass judgment on the site as a whole. Look, at the end of the day, I don't think transphobia is a good thing. It's mean-spirited, and it's just using someone's sentiment against them. But my main overall point is, is that I'm neither a Kiwi Farms mega fan, and I'm not a you know Keffel's ultra defender either. Right. I'm just saying Kiwi Farms documented her fucked, like really weird past, and they also use her dead dad against her. And Keffel's makes really bad decisions and can be criticized. I wasn't trying to say transphobia is chill with me because it's Keffels. That's not that's not where I'm going with that. Yeah, yeah. This this is wild. Like he's trying to do the um I'm neutral on this, but he's being neutral about bigotry. And once again, we're not being neutral about bigotry. Like we literally have gone out of our way to be as accommodating as possible to her. I literally in the chat, like for chat before um before the stream before the stream started, I went and banned the two most popular um, like slurs for transgender people, I got rid of those. I you banned. Can go back and I check banned the, your... the 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 number forty one percent as well. Um, and even during 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 that conversation at the end, we also say that like we don't we're not cool with transphobia. And even here, like during this clip, like it's to it's to me at least, it's clear that you're not saying like I'm not going to say whether transphobia is a good or bad thing. Um, <laughs> sorry to mock your British accent. No, 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 go ahead. Um. But but e like even then you say that you're just like you know whether Kiwi Farms as a whole is a good or bad thing like I'm kind of one way or the other on it. It's I'm like not, I'm not ready to have the debate about whether Kiwi Farms should exist or not, and I'm not trying to give credence to either side. I'm just trying to be as fair as I can when I retell the story. Yeah, yeah. 
can say, people who want to say it will go to Kiwi, right? And they naturally yeah. Just I mean, look, when when you when you googled Kevils, your options were the YouTube, the Twitch, and the Kiwi Farms thread. Most other old sites, like I mentioned, Ed, are suppressed and hidden. So I can see why Kevils went against it or went after it, but because everyone gets a Kiwi Farms thread, it right. was kind of daft to respond to it, and it happened so quickly. I mean, Kevils have been in the news for like two weeks, and this thread already had so much on like six hundred pages at the time, even. Uh, no, two hundred or one hundred and eighty. One hundred and eighty. Two hundred. Right after she said, um, "I'm attacking the King of Transphobes." Okay, so being, being the Steven, page, right? Steven's the King of Transphobes. No, 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 no. Oh, oh okay. So, um, <laughs> so, so I mean, the, the timeline so far was the Destiny thing attacking Lauren Southern. Kiwi Farms thread's old page is made. About a week later, Kefels is like, "Wow, what a week! I'm attacking now the King of Transphobes, Null." And so Null puts Kefels' page on the front page and goes, "Lol, lol, I'm the King of Transphobes." Kek, 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 that kind of shit. Right. He was he was cool with that. He was cool with that sort of. I, I, I mean, he was just playing. I think he's having fun with it. I don't think he could have ever realized how big a support Kefels was going to get. Right. So, so at this point, Kefels, her primary enemy prior mm -hmm. to that was Kiwi Farms, and now her primary enemy became, or sorry, her primary enemy was Steven, and her primary enemy now was Kiwi Farms. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think she pivoted her attention. Definitely. You thought I waited months to talk about the Kiwi Farms thread? Um, yeah, no, I made, like, I did make, like, a tweet after the Lauren's other thing and be like, uh, looks like I'm getting attacked by the final boss right, of Transphobes, which I was me. talking about Null. He mentioned me on his podcast. Yeah, is this what you said as well? Basically, yeah, she's agreeing with me that the timeline is Destiny, Lauren Southern, and then mentioning the Kiwi Farms article and eventually later actually going to war with them. Right. So, so are you speeding up the video or is couple speeding up yours? Well, I sped up the video and maybe, I don't think she sped up mine. So I think she played, that, uh, a, she played your video in normal speed. But yeah. your, your video is barely an hour. Her response is like an hour and a half yeah. and we're taking away too long. So that's why speeding I, up I, is that's, just that's one why, of many tricks. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have it on 1.5. Um, I didn't know what Kiwi Farms even was really at that point. I just knew Live, that it was particularly okay. bad. And no, I didn't really... Do you, do you think that's honest? Do you think she didn't know what Kiwi Farms was? There's a bunch of little things from her supposedly of going on there to having an account. I'm not going to post that right now, but uh, if Kefels wants to combat me on this, there's plenty of screenshots out there which I can grab. Sure. I really talk about Kiwi Farms for months after that. But I have a very good feeling that Null really regrets this entire situation that he put himself in. And the thing is, um, I don't know that he does because, I mean, the site is still up. I mean, we, I, I guess we'd, we maybe we'd have to ask him ourselves to see, but... Um, from from everything he said, it I'm seems. Not <laughs> I know you're not going to. From, I mean, from everything he said, um, publicly about the situation, it seems like he, uh, you know, he just wanted to stand by his ideals, and he was willing to do that no matter what. Um, you know, whether his ideals are good or not, being like, I guess, transphobia, um, or like, you know, keeping a website up like Kiwi Farms, that's another thing. But I would say, as far as regret, it seems like he doesn't really care. Um, yeah. Oh, hold up, I gotta unmod someone apparently real quick. Let me uh let me deal with this. Yeah, uh, well done to all the moderators keeping the chat somewhat in check. <laughs> uh, yeah, I um I think I th again we said it in the video in the main video, but I'll say it again here. You're allowed to criticize Keffel's actions, critic you know Keffel's ideas, but relying on like insults about transphobia and like her identity is just useless. It only gives her more of an advantage. Oh, of course, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go through and unmod someone. Apparently, they're being a little uh a little bit spicy. Um content uh it's in just hate the youtube layout um okay here we go moderators um where the fuck is this guy there we go all right i unmodded him we're good now we can get back to uh back to our regularly scheduled keffel's reaction um let's go let me share my window all right, guys, we'll get back to this. Apologize apologize for the hold up, okay? Slightly scuffed stream today. Okay, so Kiwi Farms is now her number one enemy. And what, what, were, her, what were her gripes with the site? Obviously, there was a transphobia. Obviously, they made a threat about her. But what was it beyond that? Doxing. Um, I mean, it was transphobia. I, I think so. Her main gripe is doxing. Her main gripe with the site is that they dox people, according to her. Yes, they had her dox. But, uh, why? well, I, actually, I won't say that. It's not fair. I'm attributing. We'll get to it later. Okay. It was also just in general the attitude of the site, like like you mentioned, right? It's fair to say the site engages in bullying. Like again, I'm not. No, it was the doxing. One way or the other against the site. Okay, so her, her her, we I think we should address this now. She says her problem is the doxing. Uh, okay. Now someone like Keffels, obviously, being that she's so anti-doxing, would not have a history of doxing herself, right? That would be ridiculous. I yeah. Mean, that would hold just on. Be I'm just grabbing a clip. There's a clip where Keffels uh, admits to Destiny that she knows it's not Kiwi Farmers behind the actual swatting and doxing. Right. So we should def we should definitely see that if you have it on hand. Um, but Kevels herself is also uh, 
at least express intent to dox people and we should we should show that so yeah so there's there's two issues i have with this stance number one is that yes they had our dogs but there's another website she knows about that was doing the actual doxing like sending pizzas to our house and chasing her around the united kingdom the other problem is is that we have a lot of screenshots and proof that keffels has and tries to dox people Mm -hmm. so on both counts she loses all right so here's her admitting that uh kiwi farmers does not decide to dox her zero paste i was scared Website Zero users aren't stupid like Kiwi Farms users. They simply post the docs and are smart enough to know how to hack accounts, collect info from data breaches, and use social, social engineering to get the information they need. She knew about that website the entire time, but she never told you guys because she wanted to pin everything on Kiwi Farms because that's what her crusade was against, because that's where the fame and fortune and media attention was. It wasn't on this other website that is a bit more scary than Kiwi Farms. That's basically website zero retaliated against, that's, against that's me that's the when best I... piece of evidence i have where mm-hmm. yeah she knew about the site she knew that this other site was doxing her was more malicious and kiwi kiwi farms did post her her docs as far as her kiwi, her... kiwi did post a docs and every time the other website would do something to her they would laugh and they would congratulate them i i'm not i'm not at all saying they're like blameless i'm just saying they weren't behind it which is yeah. what careful is implying well they were doxing me that was my issue well you know that's not true right and as far as i know there's also instances of careful's at least expressing intent to dox people we have that on hand I yeah believe, but right? she later on is gonna say i don't dox people i think that's the best time oh, she says do. that in this okay yeah we'll bring yeah, it up yeah. statement but i think it's fair to say and Kefal's like, this is a hate site. Why is it still around? I don't like my page. I bet people don't as well. This mm-hmm. wasn't when she started using the death of trans people, by the way. This is predates that. It was mainly just a gripe with the site, apparently. Okay, so it was a gripe with the site, and she starts getting support on Twitter. At this point, had the drop makes, Kiwi Farms makes stream. stream. No, no, no. This came that came like two or three months afterwards. Okay. Um, so Noel does his. Is it called Mad at the Internet? Mad at the Internet. Mad at the Internet is his the founder of Kiwi Farms, or at least the host of Kiwi Farms, the guy who runs the site. Noel. This is his weekly stream where he talks about internet gossip and drama. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So Noel, Noel does a stream, hmm. and he he kind of goes over it again at the time the unsubstantiated claims. Again, I think they're pretty much substantiated now, like the sky stuff. Thing. Catboy Ranch, which gives short context, not fully proven, but supposedly Keffels ran a Twitter account where people who had unverified ages would go around showing off BDSM collars they Never bought that and could talk to anyone again with unsubstantiated age and Through role players was that came it? in. This was a Discord. Well, it was a Twitter oh account God. that promoted a Discord. So the Twitter okay. account would tweet out, you know, screen caps from the Discord and femboy memes, which I know you're the time of Tom. But we don't um, know. <laughs> funny. We don't know if that's really real, right? We don't know if she actually. We don't. We know that Keffels ran the Twitter account and we knew that Keffels was an admin on the. Server, but we don't know if there was some. But... So you said we do? Yeah, we do know that Cowboy Ranch had a bunch of minors running around, Kevils was in charge, and there was flirting with underage children. But I didn't say here if it was 100% true, because A, on hand, I didn't have the evidence, and B, it looks quite bad for Kevils. There's some screenshots of Kevils on the Catboy Ranch account flirting with a 16-year-old, but if she knew he was 16, is up in the air. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, that's the thing about it, and that's why we didn't make that accusation, I assume, at the time, because... We didn't want to pin it on her, but we will show the screenshots now because uh, I think it's important to have here. Here we have, uh, let's see here, Maya Moo saying, thank you, Rancher, reporting for duty 07. Less than two weeks till my 18th birthday. I'm going to go wild, get a credit card. And so alone, those two screenshots duty. have two years apart. Right. There we go. So there's a... There's Keep in a... mind, Cowboy Ranch operated in 2020. Right. Thank you, Rancher, reporting for duty 07. We're going to see this other screenshot. Um, so that's okay. the same moo being flirted with with Keffels in the Catboy account. Now I will give Keffels the benefit of the doubt that she didn't know this person was sixteen. Right, and obviously, I mean that's important to say. Bumping this, everyone Very just important. knows. What I don't a piece think of shit I, I, I'm going to say this is. right now, Sorry. and maybe this is like a dent to my credibility, but I don't think Keffels is. A I don't think she goes after children. I've seen people say that. I don't think it's fair to say she does that on purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, Joe Biden has been president for twenty minutes, and look what he's done to me. Watch out, you're next. And here we have uh, Keffels setting this, Keffels who ran the, the Catboy Ranch account yep. with this picture of JFK from Clone High saying, damn, yeah, it's fat, what's your pronouns? Do they say she, they? Um, someone says, that's so cool. Thank you. So that's just one of them. Um, here's this one. I'll be 18 two years from today. Happy 16th birthday. So this is the same These account. These are two people involved with the Catboy account. Yeah, yeah. So, um basically my overall point here is like yeah there were children running around but i'm not gonna fully blame keffels and say she knew but right. keffels is gonna have an issue with the cowboy ranch i might as well provide some form of evidence there's a few more screenshots i didn't show um just because i don't have full ver- i don't have um on good authority that they're real okay. i don't want to throw around fake claims but i think keffels has probably seen them i've seen them a bunch of times on both the kiwi films thread and other like threads so i think it's a fairly shared screenshot mm-hmm.
Rumi we don't, we don't, for example, the whole unsubstantiated age thing, while it is true, there's no proof at all that A, any grooming happened, B, that Keffels even knew, and C, that Keffels was even that big on the server. We don't really know if Keffels had the ability to check ages or get people banned like that. We just know that Keffels was in charge of the Twitter and had somewhat of an influence, but even then it's not fair to blame her or to, you know, point one way or the other. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so... At this point, Capels is sort of at war with Steven, I mean Destiny. Why don't you calling him Steven? I feel he's like, he's... Oh no, they have to bring that up. Even though they'll say, oh, it's completely unsubstantiated, they need to poison the well, because people who are already predisposed to thinking trans people are are going to run with that regardless if there's evidence. But it's like, this is so stupid. We literally were so, I mean, once again, anti-transphobic, I would say, in the video. We were nice. I, uh, you and I both said it's not substantiated, but I had to mention it because it was prominent, it is a criticism, and like we've just shown here, there is proof of it's it. We didn't have proof at the time because yeah. there's like an improvised stream, and I didn't want to be too mean. I just had to mention it. It's, it's not poisoning the well. We're really nice in this video. Yeah. And if we, I mean, if we thought she was being super inappropriate with minors, like, why wouldn't we bring that up as a point against her? But we, we just, we it don't. just we... said earlier, I don't think Kevles is a oh, I just think this is a major f up. Yeah, yeah. Friends or not. That's why they bring it up. See, my friend. Best friend. Yeah. yeah. So she's, she's, she's at war with them. Where, where does it go from there? When is the, she was popular, but there was a point when she was viral being tweeted by every journalist yeah, in the well, world. Yeah, well, I can get to that. I think the other thing I just quickly mentioned was there was a really bad period after this where Keppel's kind of lost a bit of the support she just gained. Uh, she did a bunch of attack streams on Destiny. They were all kind of improvised. And you might have seen these clips because everyone was retweeting them. Keppel's did this kind of sneaker, uh, not sneaker, the flamenco thing of like making an unsubstantiated claim and then immediately taking it back. And, and that claim was like, that Steven was stealthing. Yeah, so she claimed that Stephen had this timeline is so off. Of these girls, and you, uh, it's not when you pop a hole in the condom so that you get the girl pregnant. And anyway. once again, I don't think the timeline is off. But even if it was, why is there a problem with that? When like, <laughs> shouldn't so she be responding this, to the fact that we just said that she made a false allegation? Like she gets mad at us right before this, saying it's like, oh well, you know, you guys brought that up to poison the well and make me look like a pedophile because a lot of transphobes, you know, think that trans people are groomers. And then when we bring this up, just like complete silence on her end, of course. I hate to spoil it as well, but she's going to complain and say that I get stealthing wrong. Now, I did get stealthing wrong. Stealthing is when you secretly remove the condom, not put a hole in it. Mm -hmm. um, but A, that doesn't really change it. It's still trying to get a girl pregnant. And B, she doesn't respond to the fact that she lied about Destiny being a... Mm -hmm. She just goes, well, the definition is wrong. No, 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 you still lied. You still lied and made a really, really unfair malicious claim. Right. Right. Keffels was doing a stream. She's like, I just don't like. This. It's something along these lines. I'm paraphrasing. That's also. I mean, that's also not what stealthing is. But um, yeah, I'll, 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 let him go. I don't like Destiny. I don't like Steven. He's a bad guy. I mean, I've heard plenty of claims that he's stealthing. Oh no, she goes. I, you know, it's, it's rich for him to call me a groomer when, which he didn't. It's rich for him to call me a groomer when uh, he's stealthing, uh, stealthing girls. And then he meets. She Keffels immediately goes, okay, I didn't mean that. I, I just think I've heard it. So it's right. it immediately goes back on it, but it's too late kind of thing. So she got she got her audience because I thought her audience was kind of blind. Um, her audience Destiny. kind of turned on her, but mainly it was you know the people like Keemstar who were just in it for the drama who go oh, hold on a minute you can't make a claim like that. That's okay, all right. See, like, so she that didn't happens. even she try and go like no that's wrong. Did she lose support like for a prolonged period? Yeah, a little bit of support. This was this is when there's a big divide because now you have the the major Keffel fans who are like wow you're the pillar of the trans community you represent us and then there's the other side where it's like I'm transgender and I think Keffel is a bad influence she doesn't represent us and she keeps lying it doesn't look good for us there's a kind of divide there I think that's where it really became apparent during right. that era yeah I remember um generally. around this time she got into an argument with my friend New Poster Bailey oh I know New Poster oh, I remember yeah. this. they uh, I don't remember what not they like said personally. I just followed them yeah they're, they're pretty cool actually it's funny that I bring them up because I stayed at their place when I went to a C Destiny debate oh, yeah. um, but I don't know what do you mean oh yeah I I don't, I don't know okay very funny Anyhow. wow. I cannot imagine the type of person who would literally travel anywhere to see a Destiny debate. So I stayed their place, and then like a week later, once again, I don't even know what this like point means. Like, I don't know either. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They got in some huge beef with like Keffels, and I don't. Do you know what the deal is there? I don't actually know. What it, it, was, it was one. It was <laughs> one of many. I mean, I kid you not, right? So Keffels had this second account that was locked for like venting, right? And um, <laughs> she deleted it. She's like, I hate the harassment. Hate the harassment. And then like an hour later on her main account, she's trying to ratio Wendy's and trying to ratio new poster. And uh, do you know Rocky on Twitter? No. Oh, okay. Well, that's a kind of a adjacent to a, a new poster in that kind of realm of Twitter world. You know, trying to start fights with them. Like, Kevl just keeps starting these fights, keeps doing these things for attention. Mm -hmm. it, it was, I don't, I don't know fully about new poster. Maybe there's more to that than that. Uh, more to it the story than that. But I mean, it was just these constant ratios of you sort of one thing. Right. Yeah. Okay. So she's going after, she's having Twitter wars, but she loses a little support. What happens after that? Um, the second Twitter account. Kind of like that she doesn't even contest that. She just kind of like ignores it. I don't so know. Maybe she wasn't paying attention like, or <laughs> like. I, again, I don't know if she's like, because there's, there's these bits where it seems she's not listening. So I don't know if she doesn't listen and she misunderstands what we're saying or she's malicious later on when she like gives us claims we're not making. It's so yeah. weird. It's yeah. such a bizarre response. Right. It's banned before she can delete it. And then the main Twitter account oh. gets banned in like June. So we're in June now. June 2021. Main Twitter this account is just, this is just like a wild. This is what? wild. Uh, we'll never. I don't think he's even written anything down. <laughs> no, no, I have. She says, I have it, my she says it's me, wild. It's she says it's wild, but like she's barely contested anything in the last half hour. Like she hasn't brought up a single thing that we were totally wrong about. Like it hasn't. It's either been like, well, she lied about something, and we like 
like reiterated her own lie or it's she lied about something and we called her out for lying like i don't i, I just don't one see of the it. few points one of the few points where she like proves us wrong is like when we had to believe her and she's like no i lied there i don't know why they believe me it's like well th how the f can we trust you yeah really no um what was the screen cap account suspended could have suspended the rules that violated twitter rules um she never said i don't think so no gotcha all um, right <laughs> well, yeah, no, sense. I'm rereading this now because it's, oh, God, I hate, I hate my writing. But no, no, no. It was, it was mainly just a, a major suspension, probably because Kevils kept doing these attack tweets. It probably just got to the wrong person at the wrong time. Okay. So she got suspended. What, uh, what's the state of her then? Or are people like, okay, well, she's done. She's going to get irrelevant. I mean, without. Okay, I remember why I got suspended. It was because I, I think it's because I told, I said to um, someone who called me a. Um, I, I think I said, like, I was going to bomb in these. Real, like, but in a way that triggered uh, Twitter TOS's violence. Uh, I don't remember exactly what I said. It was a your mom joke, but like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got banned for saying I was going to destroy his mom's womb. Uh, no, I mean, she immediately makes an alt account. Uh, oh, okay. Her friend made it. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, I would never I would never accuse anyone of, of uh, innovating. Certainly not me. You, you wouldn't know that, Tom, right? I would have no, absolutely no, uh, no knowledge of that. Again, she can't banned. call you out for having an alt account. I mean, your friend having an account an because she did the same uh, thing after her ban. Of course. For two Ds. For two Ds. So she didn't make that point, so I'm not using that against her. Um, but okay, so she makes it all. Oh yeah, that's someone. So we're multiplying that. Yeah, she got she got mad at Rocky because Rocky told basically said Kevils get the fuck off the internet, take a chill pill. Yeah, that was it. Um, so yeah, so do you remember? Do you remember that you might have because uh, Nick was involved? This. Do you remember the July stream with uh, Destiny on the front with a bunch of slurs? Um, yeah, I, I remember the thumbnail. Yeah, yes. for a really like unfavorable a of, like, characterization. Yeah. There we go. I have the picture. I don't know if this goes against the rules anymore, so I don't know if I want to show it. But uh, I remember this. Chat, that's I might be able to bring it up unless if it's well, does it have them like in full the slurs? This is literally just the thumbnail. I don't know if I'm gonna blur it. Okay, oh, that's see. not great. That's the article. No, ignore that. Ignore that. Have no I seen Tom's N word um, messages? I have not. Would you like to send me them? There we go. Well, I'm here we go. Giving this you this image, um, I'll give you context. So, Kevils fires up a stream she'd been hyping up for about a week. Um, supposedly the only one with effort being put into it. He's going to be and, exposing um, Destiny, right? They're exposing Destiny, yeah. And uh, the thumbnail has the F slur for gay people. It has a few other, like, slightly transphobic phrases, I want to say. Um, it has the Kiwi Farms logo faded onto it, which is a bit daft because Destiny is not liked in Kiwi Farms, has like a really disliked account, and doesn't really associate with that community. Right. So, ain't, ain't a good look. I probably shouldn't um, show it on stream now that I see it, but I do remember no, this I thumbnail say, going around. There's a thumbnail for you, but yeah. So Kevils, halfway through, she's um, simultaneously streaming this on YouTube and tw uh, Twitch. Halfway through, her Twitch stream goes down. Um, and there was already kind of on this, this stream because the YouTube one had its comments disabled, whereas the Twitch one didn't. So no one on the YouTube stream could send her messages or super chats. But people that's not true. Mm -hmm. um, so people already kind of like, oh, this is true. So she says that's not true. What would, what would be your response? Basically, to that? there's a bunch of tweets when the streams first started saying, "Why can't I comment on the YouTube?" And then she claims it's because of like mass harassment they had to close the YouTube one. But she closed the YouTube comments from the beginning. So how could there have been harassment to see? Yeah. That stream got brigaded by DGG, so I had to disable comments. Not a good look. Right. Okay, and DGG, DGG, right, apparently Destiny himself was like brigading it. I just don't. Again, I, I'd love to see the proof of that because I can't even find any. Yeah, there's no evidence. And once again, I mean, with the prior hate raid, like the timestamps didn't even match up. Like, uh, his tweet was two hours after the stream when they banned. Like, he was like, "Oh," or, or, or her mod. What was her name again? They were like, "Oh, well." As soon as we decided to ban everyone who was subscribed to Destiny, uh, Sue and L, whatever his name is, yeah. Yeah, the hate raid stopped, and it's like, okay, well, probably like half your chat is subscribed to Destiny, so I imagine that's why. The Twitch one went down. So Kevl was kind of half panicking. I just stopped the YouTube one. And uh, Nick, for example, made fun of Kevils because uh, Kevils Diorio. was like, wow. Yeah, Diorio. Sorry, Nicholas Diorio was like, you know, well, Kevils tweeted out, wow, my stream got mass spammed. Wait, you were in another the, political, you know, uh, wait, wait, you were in another political stream the other day and someone in the chat randomly went off on you for standing over the 200k charity thing? Who, um, but she's about to claim uh, that we, she can't be transferred because of something. You're, you're here. All right. Where are you in? Get down. I had to take down the YouTube one. I'm being attacked because I'm trans. This is a clear sign of transphobia. <laughs> And then Nick That's specifically true, tweeted, quote, I'm not laughing at you for being do a victim of a hate speech. I'm laughing at you because you were dumb enough to put slurs in your thumbnail on Twitch and you were crying transphobia when people laugh at your smooth brain. Right. And that was probably, like, I think, one of the first ratios against Kefels. That's what he got. He, like a, he actually owned her. Kind of. It was just a good tweet. Just, just ratioed. But um, everybody ratioed her. I mean, that, that's yeah, I consider yeah, exactly. that an own. I mean, that's rare. Kefels Especially Kefels his way smaller. Yeah, well, Kefels was attacking <laughs> a Willie Mac show as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Willie Mac show was doing the whole, you know, if you, if you keep trying to attack people, if you keep trying to be holier than now, you can't really be upset when you get in trouble for, you know, a homophobic, uh, you know, banner or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it basically she was picking fights with commentary channels, trying to claim transphobia. It just wasn't a good look. Wait, 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 wait. It's not a good look to claim transphobia. What? Again, a really unfair it's mischaracterization. Basically, my point there, which I just made, and then I was summarizing, was that she thought it was transphobia that her stream got banned. But in actuality, it was for having slurs on her, like, thumbnail. Mm -hmm. So when I say look you know crying transphobia wasn't a good look what i mean was crying transphobia when it was for completely unrelated reasons she got banned right. but she misinterprets right. this i think on purpose personally that i'm trying to say claiming transphobia is why you got banned is not a good look mm -hmm. yeah i mean 
yeah, just another one of these. Not a good look to claim transphobia. This is wild. So, like, at what point is it um, a good look to claim transphobia? Or should you, do when you... someone's being transphobic to you and you're not being banned for your own retarded actions where you put a bunch of slurs in a fucking thumbnail. I'm not even brash enough to put slurs in a fucking YouTube thumbnail, okay? Because I know that would be bad. Degenerates. Or all creeps. <laughs> N-word. Yeah, why would I? That's so crazy. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was so... I mean, and she did it on Twitch, so it's so obvious. I mean... Um, at what point is it not uh, cringe, or at what point is it not like I, stupid to claim since, transphobia? Since Kefl's, yeah. When since someone's Kefl's, being transphobic. Kevin said earlier, like oh, you're trying to defend bigotry, and I'm just trying to silence bigotry. Yeah, well, then if you campaign and if you advocate for banning bigotry, you cannot be upset and blame it on being trans when you get banned for having a bigoted thumbnail. Right. You exactly. asked for this. Exactly. You just never say that anything is ever transphobic. And uh, yeah, that was a totally unfair characterization. That's not what we said at all. I think it's a bit malicious that I think she genuinely misinterpreted it there. I think the other ones you can claim she wasn't listening, but that's an unfair. I was pretty frank with my wording. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um, and then, yeah, this is this is when uh, after like July, this is when uh, hashtag drop Kiwi Farm started. I think Kefels realized going after commentary and going after Destiny wasn't going to work out. No. She decided to pick a new target. Do you think it was yes. cynical, or do you think she actually like really hated Kiwi Farms, or? Uh, I, I I I wouldn't want to comment. I will never really know what goes on in the mind of, of Kefels. Okay. Maybe both. Bit of both. I think one thing that's weird to me about watching videos like this is that I'm very transparent about why I do the things that I do. Like, I go live almost every day. I talk about these things. I'm very open to answering questions earnestly. But <laughs> the, still, people try to pretend that I am this incredibly cryptic person. But the problem with this is, like, you pretend to be cryptic. You act cryptic by constantly lying and then walking it back. You say, oh, I got Destiny banned. Oh, well, I didn't actually get destiny. So banned. transparent that you can't trust what I say because it's probably trolling. Yeah. Like, and yeah. then there's this other instance where in the YouTube comments section, there were she was like, uh, yeah, I know. Like someone was like calling her out for a lie. They're like, Well, why did why did you lie about this? And she was like, Oh, I was just trying to bait Destiny. And it's like and then and and then now here she's oh, like Do you want the four examples or should we leave it? I think it would be good to bring them out, yeah. I mean it would be good to bring them okay, out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give put out four major allegations and I'm gonna provide proof for all four of them, just so we're all clear that Keffels is not very transparent and is not very honest. Right. Keffels has accused Chud Logic, which is another political streamer, of being a with no proof. Again, it's the Destiny stealthing with no proof. Accused Flamenco of being a doxer, with her only proof being that he has a Kiwi Farms account. And accused another person I haven't really done too much research on called Sonsol and claimed they were transphobic and tried to get them banned off their platforms, again with no proof. Right. I'm now going to provide evidence for all four of those claims. But if Keffels is like this honest, transparent person, why does she keep flip-flopping, lying, and being really antagonistic? I, I, don't, I don't think it's fair. for her. I don't think she's allowed to say I'm very honest and I'm very fair and I'm very truthful. Yeah, yeah. And there's, I mean, there's there's instance after instance. We're going to give you four right now, okay, which is, uh, they say three times the charm. We're going to have four instances where Keffels explicitly lied, went out of her way to lie about someone, um, and it was so blatantly false. And this will just show that her intentions are not so clear. So we're going to start with uh, the obvious one that we, we uh, referenced earlier. Uh, Keffels accuses Destiny of and then immediately goes back on it. Uh, here we go. Oh yeah, meanwhile he stealths people, which is legitimately a form of <laughs> Insane. Insane. Give it a minute and she'll be like, well, I don't know, because someone asks her proof. Isn't that what... Wait, I don't know if he if he did it. Wait. <laughs> Yo, look at that. Look at that. It's <laughs> under a minute. In, in real yeah, time. I don't actually know if he did it, but he <laughs> argued <laughs> you that can't it make is an not accusation a form of... You don't know if he did it. I mean, I mean that's so, like... Yeah, it's, it's, it's daft in your words. Uh, here's another a whole minute, a literal minute of silence before. Well, I, I don't know. Like, you can't make that claim. This uh, this cat box file isn't loading right now, unfortunately. Um, oh, are you kidding? It works for me. It might just be. Um, hold up, I'll just try the other links first, and we'll go back to that one. The cat box one is Chud Logic, where. But now that I like, like no. Mm -hmm. 
where she's like constantly saying, oh, file, file. And then again, it's like, well, people have told me, and that's a lot of people with like good sources have told me. And that's her claim. This one is where she accuses Fulmenko of doxing, right? This one right here? Yes. Oh, and also that we're, we're you know, we can actually have a conversation now that like things have moved further on. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think like the same, like what I said, I made a video where I covered a bit of it. I know Dylan saw it on the stream and apparently accepted my apology. Um, I was just like really upset because like, yeah, Flamenco did take part in doxing my mom. And the thing about That's this is claim. it's a big claim. And I'm not someone who wants to defend Flamenco, obviously. We were both present for that conversation and neither of us wants to defend well, Flamenco on anything. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Flamenco, as far as I know, did not dox Keffels and her, her explanation of this is that he has a Kiwi Farms account and he put a message in the uh, in what like I put a message on the thread you yeah know, because the thread is just a collection of messages and yeah okay that's proof that he might be a bit unfair towards you but there's no proof that he was doxing your mother like what right well, I'm gonna keep playing this clip for another minute and then we'll move on to the next one like he was part of this group of people that did that and he's made like several videos where he just goes on insane rants about me so so like full disclosure I am friends with with flamenco um and i know he is like kind of a controversial figure um but um i from when i asked him about it and i asked him like did you take part in doxing uh keffels or or her mom he said that uh no like he wasn't part of that but i think it was probably the kiwi farms community that was part of it um, which he's a part of yeah but i would That's say separate. having an and he was active in my thread and once again it's like Okay, he was on your thread, but that doesn't mean he doxed you. And doxing you is different from, like, being in a place where your dox was. You know what I mean? It's not the same exact thing. Kevils, I've put out plenty of tweets on Twitter. Does that mean I endorse doxing? Of Dream, right. I mean, I mean, just for example. Yeah, I made a joke about Dream uh, before his face reveal. I don't think that meant I wanted to dox him right. or I was involved in doxing. All right, here we got the Chud Logic clip. Let's see this one. Oh, is right. it finally loaded? I, Catbox is always slow, so if you want to leave that in the background, I don't blame you. I'm trying to see if it will load. It's just uh, it's been a little. Slow. It's slow for me, but I don't know why you're having such an issue. If I if I'd known this was a problem, I would have got a different uh, clip or like I've loaded it myself. Yeah, maybe you should just try that real quick, just to do that. Um, oh, give so me a minute. It. Yeah, sorry. Well, while I'm doing that, you can get to the final image, which is yeah, yeah, yeah. lies. We're trying to get him banned. And so here we go. But, uh, um, uh, looks like I'm gonna have to switch my uh my input or whatever for a sec. Um, I think Catbox is down because now it's not looking for me either. Oh, is it? Damn. Right, here's my photos. I'll tell you what. Um, um, if people want to find this link, because I'm not bullshit. Destiny's document, which I guess we can put a link to. Uh, Destiny links to this very same clip. So if people want it for themselves. I'm pretty sure I can leave a link to that. Mm -hmm. Sorry about all these technical difficulties, guys. This was made in an afternoon. <laughs> no worries. Okay, here we go. Um. For leftoids hating cops and authority, y'all sure do love to f***ing snitch. Here we have... You being trans has nothing to do with your absolutely untenable behavior, both in real life when you embezzled funds from your political party and online, which gives a bad reputation to all trans people you claim to represent. And Couples here says, If you stand by your conviction, we will see what Twitch staff thinks of calling a partner trans streamer a subhuman piece of shit. That's a misinterpretation if I've ever seen one. Yeah, and this, this has nothing to do with her being trans. Like, he literally says, You being trans has nothing to do with your absolutely untenable behavior. Which is like the least transphobic thing you can say, right? He, she's trying to claim he's transphobic and trying to get him banned. And keep in mind, this is the same person who earlier in their response said, "I don't, I don't have power at Twitch." Like, this is crazy. Right. Um, cat um the cat box is not loading. I think the site's down, which sucks because this was a really good clip. Yeah, there might be a clip um, of it. Um, Keffels calls Chud Logic a. Let's see if we can find that. Um, yeah, we might not be able to find it right now, unfortunately. Um, if someone has that clip, you can, uh, you can maybe post a link in chat, but it's like we're not going to find it right now. Um, but yeah, it's basically a clip where she calls Chud Logic, uh, while unsubstantiated. Again, like the, uh, like the previous one with Destiny, she just goes, I've heard it from people. Like, that's her excuse. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there's your four instances, guys. Um, I guess we should move on with the reaction, then we should just keep watching. I'm going to keep giving that cat box a reload, though. When it works, I'll send it through. Sounds good. Okay. Um, Shouldn't have said. <laughs> Here we go. 
Okay. I, I think it's just a good look. It's a good look to go after a website that is purposely transphobic. It's a good look to go after someone that's been cataloging a lot of embarrassing shit. And it's and a good look to experience. go after a website that, you know, also doxes people. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't think of an example of doxing to my head, but I've heard of it. So, <laughs> on the surface, I mean, it looks like a pretty, like, noble cause then, right? I mean, going after a website oh, yeah. that doxes people and is hateful. I, mean, look, I, can, I, mean, who I can totally get that? why someone without the context would completely go on Kefal's side. I mean, it's just such an easy, easy side to join. Right. You know, we're going after a website that attacks people. Wait, what's the what's the context? Unfavorable. Well, you say on the like surface, but what would I mean? I mean, what, what could there be? That what's the context? As far as Kefal's, like, what would be the contention? Mean, hashtag stop Kiwi Farms. Exactly. Uh, mainly because like I could literally be Adolf Hitler, and Kiwi Farms would still be a bad website. The context does not matter. It doesn't. The context always matters, and it's like, and, and I think this is where she kind of reveals her intentions. It's like any action against Kiwi Farms is justified so long as it's against Kiwi Farms. Um, so long as it's in the name of going against Kiwi Farms, and it's like we've already pulled up like eight different times. No, no one, no up. one got, a, no one got a Kiwi Farms thread because they were too nice. Like yeah. everyone on there, yes, I think, I think the users are prejud prejudiced against like LGBT people, but they can't make an article on like being trans alone. That's not the only thing they can make a thread about. Right. Yeah. Change what the site is. This is a major hypocrite. Fully willing to dox, fully willing to attack people, <laughs> being even transphobic. I have um, I have never doxed anyone before. Naming and I she says she's never doxed anyone, and I believe we have a bunch of evidence of that uh, not being true. Um, yeah, you just give me a second to get it all together. Courtney sent me a clip. Uh, go to site, yeah. Return. Kefal's calls to logic. Here it is. But CTV, like, how about actually, yourself? I gotta correct Chud. He's not fucking Chud Logic on Twitter. This he's a rational Chad, right? Because he tries to be he tries to, he tries to be confusing, right? So a rational Chad's where you find him. Anyway, I am CTV original underscore CTV on Twitter. Uh, Twitch.tv oh forward slash creating veteran, and I facilitate infinity.dg. Uh, yeah, no, that was fake. All right. Or infinity acre wood, right? So the I never rolled with it, be like, because like. I don't know if it's actually true. I didn't actually look into it. I just have a lot of people around me, like, convinced he's a file. But knowing uh, right, okay, knowing okay. that I have been jacketed before, I don't feel comfortable, like, 100% saying, yes, he is, in fact, a file. Oh, so you if just you have say, no I proof and you just had it from word of mouth, why would you air it? Right. You like racism or Pretty sure that guy is, that? like, a file. Pretty sure that guy is, like, a file and then watches more of the clip and then at the end. Oh, and that's okay then. Excellent. Good to know. Good news. Like, imagine if we did this to her, the reaction that we would get if we were like, yeah, I mean, isn't she like a, isn't Kevils like a pedophile? And then if one minute later I was like, oh, well. Kevils killed a man. That's just like what a bunch of people are telling me. Yeah, I heard Kevils is a murderer, but that's just like what people are telling me. Like, I'm not confident saying that outright, but isn't she like a murderer someone, and a pedophile? I had someone in like confidence tell me in like 1998 she hit two CIA agents with her car, and I was just yeah. like, I was amazed. Yeah. I was amazed. Like, I don't know if that's true, but like, isn't, she, didn't she do that, guys? I think she did. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Good, 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 good. So good. Uh, what I've sent you now, um, you know, Kefels claims she doesn't dox people. This is, there's a picture that's kind of low quality, but there's also a video which kind of just scrolls down through DMs. Kefels tries to dox someone. Now she does fail, but uh, if Kefels claims she doesn't dox, this is an example of her trying to dox. Right. Here's someone who says, Kefels tries to threaten and blackmail me with fail dox. Uh, she hired a private investigator only to end up doxing some random Hispanic family from California. Throughout these messages, I gaslight the fuck out of her, and she believes what I tell her. Um, let's see here. User makes the claim that Keffels threatened them with family info and docs. He plays a along. He, 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 when, when Keffels comes with this wrong information, he kind of goes, yeah, so what? Like, trying to make her think she's on the right path. Right, right. Um, all right, here we've got the Odyssey video. Can't tell if your dad didn't get, didn't beaten you enough or too much. Thank you for being. Also, yeah, so user is being transphobic yeah. towards Kefels. We're not. We're not cool with that. We're more. We're more. Imp you know, we're putting importance on the fact she tried dogs. Right. Thank you for being a biggest fan. If you ever need someone to talk to, I'm always here for you, friend. Uh, and I guess she's saying that sarcastically, obviously. Winter says, yeah. "Ao finally gets to talk to the man himself. Can you debate my friend A1 Steak Sauce on the NBA? You could reply any year now. I know you're on all day. Congrats on hitting 800 pages, referencing Kiwi Farms." Um. We're going to keep playing this. We're going to see what else she says. Um... By the way, that picture of her crying comes from when uh, the, the first time she responded to the publications. Gotcha. Okay, you lost DM privileges by A-logging too hard. You need to learn to behave better. I'm disappointed. You went, you went you. past it, but there's a bit where she gives like a name and skin color. Oh, did I? Hold up. Where is that? Actually, maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. I have to rewatch this clip myself.
Yeah, I don't think it's yeah, here. Yeah, so Kepler sends a picture of some random Hispanic family. He says, your mom is cute. Uh, Winter says, are you serious? Are you crawling? Or are you trolling? Crack your IQ, your God complex, as you're making some dumb decisions. So here she is implying that she's like doxing him, right, with a picture of this Hispanic family, who she yeah, presumes is Winter. Presumes. She says, okay, Andrew, obviously thinking that that's uh, Winter's name. Yeah. She says, I have your face and name. I know what schools you went to. I know every member of your family. And let's just contrast this with uh, what she just said in this video. And what, the hashtag drop Kiwi Farms? Exactly. Uh, mainly because like, I could literally be Adolf Hitler and Kiwi Farms would still be a bad website. The con this is a major hypocrite. Fully what? willing to dox, fully willing to attack <laughs> people. Being even transphobic. I have, like, um, I have never doxed anyone before. I have never doxed anyone before, she says. I've also I have your face you and name. I just want to read this out. I have your face and name. Yeah, I know what schools you went to. I know every member of your family. Excited to see how they all react when your information gets sent to them. Glad you confirmed your identity. Thank you. You are laughing now just like Josh did. We see how that went. You have the choice. Your life is now on a diverging path. You can walk away or you can see what comes next. Is that a threat? No, it's a promise. Didn't you learn your lesson after getting sent to military school? Clearly, she thinks she's referencing uh, his, 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 past, his, yeah. his past right now. He, he says this is a fail dox later on. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like you're shitting your life away. You are powerless to, in the real world. And the only thing that makes you feel you're in control is a pseudonym you invented to harass people on an internet forum. Why not work on yourself, become a better person? Um, tell me about your life, Andrew. Um, yeah, so there's just a bunch of this. What I was going to say, Tom, I've just sent you an image link. I want you to look at the second image um, because I know Keffels has somewhat responded to this and saying it's not her. This is Bob posting, a friend of Keffels for a long time, like before the Kiwi Farms drama, they've been friends. This is Bob posting, confirming to Destiny the dogs is real, saying Keffels got some info wrong, but overall she was on the money. So if you want to question this, Keffels, like closest collaborator during most of this, confirms the dogs is real. Mm hmm and here we have, are you including anything about the alleged leaked conversation between Keffels and the Kiwi Farms user Winter? I have some info I could disclose about that. Destiny says, I have no idea yet, lol. I barely started in anything. I've been busy since I got back catching up on emails and background. What other info is there? I see, lol. All I'll say is that it was not a fail dox. Keffels got a couple things wrong, but it was basically 95% accurate info. His name wasn't blank. It was blank. And he wasn't blank. He lived in another town like 15 minutes from blank. Uh, I was kind of wondering if he was just playing it off in the hopes people would think it was fake. She didn't use Sanchez as a slur. His last name is literally blank. Sanchez, lol. He absolutely was. And the only things he pushed back on the conversation was the false info. That's just my nickname. Blank is my IP idiot, etc. Um, so, I mean, there's a, there's an example of someone who is Keffel's longtime friend saying that she docks this person. Keffel's saying that she docks this person. And then obviously in the, in the response to us, Keffel says she's never doxed anyone. But I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it's so evident here that she did try to, you know, she at least tried to dox them. Okay. We know that. His, oh, no, I pressed the wrong one. Give me a second, Tom. Okay. Um, and according to their close friend, uh, you know, according this to their is close friend, threatening to dox anyone with a Kiwi Farms account. Right. Here we go. If you have an active Kiwi Farms account, I will not only post your name publicly, but I will find out your employer and forward them your post history. I have no tolerance for hate, and users of the site should feel more scared to get as bold as they do. This is a hate group. Um, I mean, without I've even... I've also sent you her doxing uh, uh, Noel's mother. Now, gotcha. Kevl says this doesn't count as a dox because this information is public. And while that is technically true... There's two things to go on that. First of all, a lot of her info is public, so is she not doxxed? I don't think she'd say that. And second of all, she like projected this tiny thing to a massive fan base and right. tried to get right. uh, Noel's mom in more trouble. And as far as I know, Noel and his mom don't even talk. I think uh, they're not on good terms. I literally don't know. You'd have to ask him. That's some that's some lull I'm, I'm somewhat aware of. If you have an active Kiwi Farms account, I will not only post your name publicly, but I'll find your employer. This is a hate group. And once again, Kiwi Farms, you know, whatever you want to say about them, I would not say that Kiwi Farms as a whole is a hate group. I would say there are lots of hateful people there because they're banned from everywhere else, just like there's a lot of hateful people on Gab or Parlor. But I would not say that any of these sites are explicit hate groups. Kiwi Farms is a gossip site. Um, and even saying something like this, like, why would you even claim that you don't want to dox people in the response to us? I assume maybe your audience just doesn't know. And then even here, like, you have, like, this person's DMs, right, Winter's DMs, where you say you dox them and, like, like try to threaten them. You have these DMs where your close friend Bob posting talks about the fact that, you know, you successfully dox them. We have this post right here uh, where you, you say that you want to dox people. 
No, I'll, I'll open the no one, yeah. Fine. And then we have this one as well. Joshua Moon's mother was fired from her job in 2018 for having an account of her son's hate form, Kiwi Farms, and you post a picture of his mom. You post a picture of him with his mom. I mean, you post all this shit. You post a picture of um her account. I mean, you know, you can say this isn't a docs, but, like, I assure you if I posted your full name and, like, some private info some and, like, some previously private photos of you that you didn't want leaked that had been leaked for a while, if I posted those, you would be like, oh, you doxed me, right? You totally would say that, Keffles. Um, so, I mean, yeah. Keffles does dox people, and Keffles doesn't have an issue with using the tactics she complains about against them. And if she wants to go and say, well, I'm only doxing Kiwi Farms users, that's fine. But she can't claim that she doesn't dox people. No matter what, we've got her on that one, I feel. Right. Four naming and uh, using the problem of other trans people when they're not supporting her mm. um, i've never done that I either just think in general it's the fact that keffels is claiming her page has led to her being so do we have anything on that she says uh she i think you made a claim saying that you know she's okay with not using someone's proper pronouns pronouns with someone who doesn't support her did that happen uh, i didn't i didn't make that claim you didn't um no okay i just want to write it people when they're not supporting her mm. um, i've never done I that either think matter it doesn't change what the site is the tax but are you thinking of the Stardust and there's another person Hold that she was shouting gonna, at? I just want to rewind it for one second. Just, just check this out. This is a major hypocrite. Fully willing to dox, fully willing to attack people. Being even transphobic. I have um, I have never doxed anyone. You said being transphobic. Before. You're... Naming and uh, using the proper pronouns for other trans people. When you said dead naming and using improper pronouns for other oh. trans people. I don't know what I'm referring to there. I might have to go. Mm -hmm. I might have to uh, I've never done that because I don't have on the, it's the on my on hand. Proof yeah. of that. I feel like that is something I remember, but I mean, at the time, if I can't substantiate it, I, I do remember it being, I do remember it being a story, but I, I literally, when I was doing my research for this, I didn't find it. So I don't know what I'm referencing there. I might be wrong on that one. Yeah. Um, Pages like unless someone up. can prove me right, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. Dogs and attacks. But Keffel's kept tweeting out her location, kept tweeting out information about her. Oh, Hunter Avalon. Um, you know, these attacks supposedly weren't. You know what happened with Hunter Avalon? Uh, apparently it was Hunter Avalon, but I... I don't know. Uh, Hunter is a straight male, game. though, so I assume it's not that. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, this rhetoric, I hear this rhetoric a lot, and it's really eerily similar to, like, the kind of rhetoric where it's like, well, you know, why did you wear such a skimpy dress if you didn't want to get... It really seems like maybe that's what you actually wanted because you were doing nothing to make yourself less... It, that's, like, the exact kind of rhetoric that's getting used about this. It's like, not apparently at all. because... And this is a totally... thing Because, first of all, I mean, you know, being... Right? Let's say that the prerequisite for is wearing like a skimpy outfit people wear skimpy outfits every day and you could argue that that's like an essential part of like just functioning right you're like like you're not asking for it but with you in particular couples you fleed your country of origin which is canada to go to ireland to go to you know other places in europe and the, the claim for that was that you needed to flee because you were being attacked you're being swatted you're being doxxed you're being harassed and you need to leave so you go to ireland and when you're in ireland you decide to willingly post your exact location and where you are at Yes, I would say that is asking to be doxxed, and I think it also helped you. Um, you know, I don't think. I don't that, know I don't... why she tried to make a comparison anyway. You can't really compare well, it. Well, the reason why is because situation. it sounds good to say that we're like, you know, to, to say that we would support the same. Someone argument. I haven't mentioned, and I don't think either of us believe in the whole like she was asking for excuse. No, this is just trying no. to like associate us with so that in the mind it sounds like we're bad. I it's, don't know why she said this. It's like in the mind in the mind of this, I don't think a would be encouraged or stopped from. Um, you know, a woman from a woman, depending on what outfit she was wearing. But it's undeniable that if you don't want to be doxxed, if you don't want to be swatted, if you don't want to be f***ed with, then there's no good reason you should be posting your own location openly. That is to Ireland one after being doxxed in Canada. And not only did she go to Ireland and then post she was in Ireland, she went to the house of someone that had been doxxed previously. Right. And the whole point of going to Ireland was to escape the harassment and doxxing. And then in order to supposedly escape it, you decide to post your own location. I mean, what, what what can we even say apart from that? You know what I mean? This is her own location twice, by the way. She posted a picture of like a hotel room. People doxed her from that. And I guess she didn't learn her lesson and then posted another hotel room. I don't know what the thought process was there. Well, the thought process, you know, I can speculate a little bit, was probably that if she gets doxed, if she gets swatted. I, then, I won't uh... make a comment, but I, I think I know what you're talking about. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll make the comment straight up, like, why would you post that? If you don't, if, if I didn't want to be swatted, if I was being harassed, right, and I didn't want to be swatted, I wouldn't take a picture of anywhere. I wouldn't show anything, you know? Because I'm afraid of getting swatted, I can't say, oh, yeah, I went to see this play, or um, I am currently in Ireland, you know, the country with millions of people in it. She, she went from, from Canada, a massive United country, to Ireland, a smaller country. A smaller and country, Africa. and not even just said that she was Ireland, she posted where she was in Ireland. Like... It's just, it's, it's a complete non sequitur, dude. 
know another website that was probably a bit more. Right. There, there's a there's a specific website that's known for people's livelihoods. They're known for like getting people's SSNs and trying to ruin their life basically. Um, if you mention them, I think it's I think you're not supposed to mention them because you can't say the name. I don't want to say the name. I don't want to. We don't want I don't attention. want to get involved. Oh, yeah, they probably don't know who I am, but even then, no, it's not we worth. don't want their attention. But there, it's not it's not Kiwi Farms. It's a much it's a much more malicious website. One of the yeah. actual the sort of well, this is the website that was mentioned in the DMs between the one um, that Keffels does know about. Yeah, her and Destiny, and this is the one we were talking about was the one that was actually doxing her. Um, going out of their way to really f*** with her. But this is a website she doesn't want to talk about at all. And uh, when a journalist, Jesse Signal, brought it up to her, she was like, well, you can't talk about that website because they have my docs on it. And it's like, but your docs is always on, is also on Kiwi Farms and you're okay with everyone talking about that. Um, so that's just another point against her. It's just weird. I don't, I don't rules, get it. And the written rules of Kiwi Farms is don't touch the poo. And basically what that means is that you don't get involved with the people you document. Obviously, that's going to happen anyway on some scale because that's just the nature of stuff, right? Not everyone listens to the rule. People from Kiwi Farms harass people. You can't deny that. But this other website is like they, they, they like they don't adhere to that rule at all. No one adheres to it. The whole point of the website is to fuck people, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So so, so you, you said a lot of critical things about Keppels. Um, oh, oh, no. You said a lot. Let's start with Drop Kiwi Farms. So yes, she goes after Kiwi Farms. She gets attention on Twitter. She gets journalists retweeting her. Why, why do we get to that point? How does it get so big? Um, so Keffel's employed a friend called <coughs> Liz Fong Jones. Liz Fong Jones. Also, okay. Who I believe is also trans. Mm -hmm. um, she's pretty tech literate. She has a few connections. And really, what hashtag Drop Kiwi Farms was was hashtag you know boycott Cloudflare, get Cloudflare in troure. trouble. Raises not trouble because Cloudflare. I is, did not is, employ anyone for. This. Semantics That's again. Not true. You went to your friend Liz Fong Jones and asked their help. When I would, we say I would employ, employ, we don't mean she hired them. When we say employ, we mean like deploy, like use, like. Uh, yeah, no, I mean utilize. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. This is a generalization, but even then, it's like it's still the same. It's still true that Liz Fong Jones yeah. came to help. Yeah. Service I want to describe it as, and they host Kiwi Farms. It doesn't mean they're associated or support them. It just means no paid for the server to be you know ran on that. As far as I know, as I know, they do DDoS protection, and DDoS they protection is an, DDoS protection. an essential service yeah. for any website, right? If you whenever whenever sites go down, if you've noticed, there's like uh, we're using an archived version. That's Cloudflare. That's what Cloudflare does as well. They're pretty good at just trying to keep a site up as best as possible. Okay. So and the owner is actually pretty apolitical. He's very much like a freedom of speech. Uh, and I don't mean this in left wing or right wing way. He's just a very open guy. He wants to just see it as clear on the internet as possible. Okay. So this this drop Kiwi Farms thing didn't really have much of an impact. It was massive. It's trending. So many people were behind it. But at first, it didn't even respond to it. It took like a month for anything to happen, really. Right. So Cloudflare is brought up. That's a big name. Um, where do we go from here? How did the, how did how, I mean you said a lot of critical things about Keppels. Mm. At, at this point, she's getting a lot of support. When did the um let's say glaring inconsistencies start shining through in your eyes? Um, probably when Keppels tried to bring up that Kiwi Farms three trans people. I okay. think everyone's sure. had these arguments in some form or fashion. So, right. can you so yeah, so the idea here Tom? being that Kiwi Farms. Yeah, yeah. So I made a mistake here. Kiwi Farms did not three trans people, and no one claimed three trans people were like Kiwi Farms. Kiwi Farms got three people. One who was trans, one who was cisgender, and one who was non-binary. And during this entire segment, despite having used their deaths to campaign against Kiwi Farms, Keffels doesn't call me out. And after all the semantics and technicalities she called me out on, I don't know why she didn't bring this up unless she agrees or this helps her narrative. And it, this gets a bit more trickier later when I mention the other two beyond um, the, the one trans person. I don't know if Keffels doesn't have the details or if she just doesn't care enough, but after all the semantics... This detail, she doesn't, like, catch me out on at all. Mm -hmm. this is doc I was not the first person to make these arguments. These arguments have been made for years, literally years. It's not a glaring inconsistency. I don't think we said she was the first person to talk about this. No, I just said that that's what she used. She used three dead people. Yeah. Saying led to harassment, which led to three trans people killing, like, taking their own yes. lives, right? Which is I don't want to mention it because two of them, trying to describe them, would probably go against TOS. It's a lot about oppression, bullying, <laughs> Faking stuff, a lot of that. We can but talk about it a little bit. We just can't oh, talk. okay. They're they're obviously this is a kiwi farmer. They're doing the near didn't themselves thing. Just insane. Like the, the lengths that people go to defend a stalking website. Well, there was the major one was there was a, there was an actual uh, a trans girl and she had a side note. So what was her like, name? We will. Oh god, now I have to read the thread. Give me a second. Was this one Chloe Segal? Um, yes, I believe it was Chloe. Uh, Chloe had this side note, and Kevin said. Yeah, I mean, you were bullied horrendously, or horrendously on Kiwi Farms. You had one of the biggest threads, and you can yeah, transgender. And immediately, the Kiwi Farmers grabbed a side note because there's a, a public image, and they pointed out that in the <coughs> note, careful, uh, uh, Kiwi Farms is specifically mentioned, and they say it was not Kiwi Farms' fault at all. It's so, so were they thing. not mentioned in the note? Was that, was no, they saying? were mentioned in the note, but they were they were mentioned as being clean. Um, she she basically said no, it's not Kiwi Farms' fault. Like myself. So this is what the person who committed who themselves is saying. Yeah, They're personally really a thread on the site, but really bad one from my What are they going on? Like it was poorly done, or like why does she have no response to this? Like what she says, because what are they going on about? It, it's it's <laughs> accurate that 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 Kiwi Farms was not named and did not kill this person. So all all Kevils can say is what 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 what. Yeah. It was really no 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 bad. It was just really damning. It was really mean. What really in the fuck are they going on Kevils, about? They didn't do anything that, that badly. Okay, so they're not. We're going on about an accusation that you made about Kiwi Farms, which is that they successfully bullied multiple trans people into committing 
happened with this trans person. I believe this one is a uh, this one is Chloe Segal. Which Chloe Segal was, was a transgender person who had lived most of their life homeless and had a really sad life, and they set themselves on fire as like a protest after leaving the hospital. By the way, they on crutches from the hospital set themselves on fire in a political side <laughs> so that she could bring attention to homelessness. And while she did have a Kiwi Farms article, she didn't mention them and she didn't blame them. But Keffel's completely twisted this into she got bullied so badly on Kiwi Farms she killed herself and blamed them in the note. And that's why Keffel's here is like, what, what are they talking about? Because I think she knows that we're right here, or at least I'm right that it wasn't Kiwi Farms that <laughs> Chloe. Yeah, one of the chatters here says, let me pull up her thread, bro, you use KF. I, I just don't see how like using, like going on a website... Um, I used Kiwi Farms. I used Destiny's Team's evidence. I've used the document. I've I mean, used the thing Twitter. the thing about Kiwi Farms I is mean, like, like Kiwi Farms. Like, if you just take like one specific message that like one Kiwi Farms user says where they make a claim and use that for evidence, that's bad. Obviously, in the same way that using a tweet or using like one statement from Wikipedia is bad. But if you use Kiwi Farms as a guide to find references off the site, which have evidence for like actual claims, then that's another thing. You know what I mean? It's it's not like Kiwi Farms is a site where if you go on like. The only the only kind of website I can imagine that would like completely discredit you um, is if you go on a website that like hosts a bunch of child. In that case, it would be like, okay, well, you're clearly a terrible person, so why should we listen to you? But Kiwi Farms is like, well, there are there are bad things about it, um, but there are also like there's also a bunch of useful information on it. So like, why wouldn't we use that as a resource? You know, evil person. They just had a really mean spirited threat about them. No, um, I have to go find it. And they, it I believe they, they in a brutal way. I think they lit themselves on fire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It's not, not good. Exactly. And that's why I think it's the major point where this, mm -hmm. where A, like Kevl's got major support, but B, where this got really shifty, because that's a real big denial of facts. She, she got major support because she was saying this website's responsible for people For a death. And, I mean, and she, she accused Kiwi Farms fully of... <laughs> and, and any person in the right mind who hears that a website and its users cause someone to die would be like, well, we need to take down... The I don't know why she's not responding to this. I mean, Because have... there's no response. <laughs> and if people want more detail, Destiny's three and a half hour stream, he goes fully into Kevl's past, brings up partners who talked about her. Like, there is, there is so much proof that it's not kiwi farms and kiwi farms aren't the main reason why i don't i don't think you can argue this successfully mm -hmm. someone in chat says Kevles <clears throat> Kevles wants on she was in chat earlier i double checked it's her um yeah she can come on i mean we got to watch the video first but i'm willing to have her on after are you okay with that i don't mind yeah yeah we're gonna react to the video but um if she wants to come on after we react that's that's totally fair we just want to get through these points because I would hate for her to come on and then like derail the entire thing, which I mean. No, I pre I prepared for most of the points in this video. I yeah. think we should get them out first. I mean, whether or not she intends on derailing it, I'm not saying she necessarily will, but it's going to get derailed because it's going to turn into like a debate where we can't get through the video, and I want to get through the video. That's yeah. it, right? Oh, I, I, I could, yeah, I agree. I, I, if it really was that plain and simple, I would probably be on that side. But it doesn't I, I seem that simple, is what you're it's saying. It's not that simple. It's really disingenuous, and it's using dead people. It's using. <laughs> Kevils had the context. Kevils knew. That it wasn't really Kiwi Farms' fault. Yes, it, it was. It helped the narrative, and it helped. It helped Keffels. It helped Keffels hide this embarrassing. She event. says yes, it was. But once again, we we like we specifically referenced the note where okay. she Chloe says Chloe had yes. Chloe had a thread, but uh, it it wasn't even that bad. It wasn't even that long, and it and, wasn't and Chloe why. herself, as I believe, like 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 as you said, unless you lied about the side note. Like, no, no, no. I I I have it. I have it on the thread and everything. The, this note does not blame Kiwi Farms. Yeah. Yeah. Embarrassing past. Right. Okay. Embarrassing past. I don't have an embarrassing past. There's nothing embarrassing about doing. Well, okay. I would argue that to a lot of people, it's probably embarrassing to do like, you know, fart or whatever, but that's, that's, that's whatever, but it's probably embarrassing to like run an account where you, you know, are unknowingly even right. Like flirting with a 16 year old femboy or whatever. That's probably bad. Right. Yeah. That's probably embarrassing. Um, you know, yeah. That's fine. It was fine. I don't care. I absolutely do not give a single I did so what? Once again, you say, yeah, you did so what, but you called it revenge not even that long ago. And we already showed the citation for that, but yeah. I was always mad about the doxing. I was very clear about this. Well, why didn't you go after uh, the other website that doxed you then? Why didn't you go after them? It's like, I get on on a daily basis. I don't care. So, well, I guess where, where do we go from there? So we, we know this one, or let's say at least you're saying this one is not as she made it out to be. There were others as well, yeah? There were three. Um, yeah, there were two other. The other one is, you might have heard this story, though. The alias was Blue. They, they worked on emulation for old Nintendo consoles. Yes. Um, and they, 
there's a big claim with a lot of evidence that they faked their death. That they really live in Japan. And they were someone they, with, with a Kiwi Farms thread, just to reiterate. They had a Kiwi Farms thread because they, they worked on this emulator, which got them attention. So when they got all this fame, they kept saying dumb, uh, you know, dumb, dumb statements. And like I said, Kiwi Farms is, has a bit of transphobia. It, it, it was kind of clowning on her simply for being trans. Yeah, no. It's so weird because it's like people are saying prove, prove that they killed themselves, but it should be prove that they didn't kill themselves. It, there's already proof that they killed themselves. You know, is there proof though? I mean, I mean, I would imagine the reason why there's a bunch of doubt about it is because yeah, there's, there's an there's article no written proof. because the Bu or slash near lived in Japan. There is an article written, but uh, the American government has to release a document every time someone overseas dies, and Bu's name is not in there. Um, additionally, uh, Kevils originally with the Drug Kiwi Farms uh, campaign claimed that uh, it was this awful thread that made Bu and kill himself. Mm. But uh, Bu's thread was 13 pages long. And if you know anything about Kiwi Farms, that's a small page. And what's even funnier, well, not funnier, that's an awful word choice. What's even more like helpful for us is that Bu responded saying, this is a great wake up call. I agree with every point in this thread. I'm working on self-improvement. So it's again, I don't think Ke Kiwi Farms Bu. I Again, I can find more evidence if uh, Kevils really wants that Bu didn't kill himself. But more so, it wasn't Kiwi Farms that did it, even if it did happen. Mm. Well, there's um, there's testimony from friends. Uh, there was the person who saw like the urn. Like, there's absolutely no evidence that Nier faked their suicide. And even if they did, what you're essentially saying is that Kiwi Farms is so terrifying. People are willing to leave their entire life and identity and all of their friends behind in the past in order to escape them, and that's even fucking worse than killing. Okay, but. There's, there's so many people with threads that somehow have not had to kill themselves, right? There's so many people with Kiwi Farms threads. With their full docs, I mean, Destiny's someone with a Kiwi Farms thread. There's so many people with threads that have not felt the need to resort to ending their own lives because of this Bu website. Bu's thread wasn't that bad. The only sign that Bu didn't like it is right before their death or b before their supposed death. They sent Null a message saying, I will pay you my whole life savings of $120,000. Or I will work for you as a full-time engineer, um, because if you don't accept these two uh, options, I will blame you for my suicide. Like, basically saying, I will weaponize my suicide against you. Um, I don't know if Noel just didn't respond or if he was sleeping, <clears throat> but by the time he saw it, um, basically, Bu had already supposedly killed himself. Yeah. So Bu yeah. was already using their suicide as, like, a bargaining chip. All right, I, um, I'm going to put a, a hoodie on because I'm a little chilly, but I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just feeling a little, a little cold, guys. I uh, I have a space heater in this room, but I don't like to turn it on because it's kind of loud, so I'm suffering for the content right now. Um, all right, Bernie, are you nice and toasty? Are you ready to get back to it? <sighs> Did he fuck off? Yeah, no, I'm good. Um, oh, Smaggle here. just messaged me, and apparently Caffles is on stream claiming that we're hiding from the conversation, but we already just said we want to finish the video first. Yeah, we'll I'm, do it. I'm, uh, I'm totally willing to talk to her, like I said. I mean, we were willing to before. If you just give us, like, how long is this? Apparently, she can't wait till the stream is done. Well, she's going to have to wait till we finish the video. Pulling yourself. It's about having trans opinions. Okay. So it was it was a damning thread. This blue person supposedly killed themselves because it was in the news. That was an article. But there is an awful lot of proof and messages and he said and she said. And weird timeline that kind of points to it being a fake. Okay. Now, I don't want to state either way. I don't even think the forms does. The forms just kind of catalogs a lot of evidence. So we, there is, so there we, so we, we, we don't know that they died. Is that fair to say? We don't know. Okay. Oh, but they're, they're, are they, they're a trans individual, yes. They were trans. All these three people were trans okay. people who had Kiwi Farms articles that Keffels claimed they kept themselves because of Kiwi Farms. And Keffels was really promoting these the stories other one, and getting like, attention. Not really, just, just using their names. Well, it, we, I mean, again, if you promoted the stories, it'd be proven wrong. So it was more just using their names. Well, she was using their, okay, she was using their names and the idea that three trans people kept because of Kiwi Farms yeah, to promote sounds, the story. Which sounds brilliant if you're trying to push aside that we are right. fighting the, the killers. And she did get a lot of attention. I mean, she got like a ton of mainstream publications to report the this, story. This sent the hashtag flying, and this is when uh, there was a mass DDoS because, again, I, I don't think I'm wrong in claiming this because they admit to themselves. Uh, uh, this, these people have following? Oh, yeah, no, Turkey Tom has like 500,000 YouTube followers and he put out this video on his second channel. And it's just. It's goofy. It's really goofy. It's really. Goofy Gang? Can I get Goofy W in chat, guys? Goofy Gang. Goofy W in chat? 
Yo, guys. Goofy in chat? <laughs> Yo. Uh, hold up. Goofy. This reminds me of something I want to watch right now. And then we'll get back to the video. Is it the trial? Yes, dude. It's Goofy's trial. A classic. Will the suspect please take the stand? <laughs> oh, wait. I want to watch that. There's an animated one. Here we go. Will the suspect please take the stand? <laughs> Mr. Goofy, is it? <laughs> Mr. Goofy, you are here today being charged with mass homicide. <laughs> and your lawyer is here, present. Am I correct? Yes, I'm his lawyer, Joe Rosenberg. I'll be representing Goofy today in court. <laughs> now, from what I see here, there is strong evidence supporting the mass shooting. <laughs> it looks like here you were caught in broad daylight on CCTV <laughs> holding an AR-7. <laughs> yep. So you're admitting that the man in this footage is you, correct? <laughs> Yep. So you do admit that this very same footage right here from the very same CCTV of you massacring a public elementary school is you as well? Is that a yes? Can I get a yes, Mr. Goofy? I object. My client has done nothing wrong. He killed 27 children and crippled five. He's clinically insane, Your Honor. He's crazy. <laughs> Mr. Goofy, this is not a laugh. Okay, we don't need to watch the whole thing. You guys get the idea. Uh, no. we, we, got the, we got the gist. Goofy gang. All right, let's keep watching this. Uh... Really disingenuous. It's really, um. oh, I don't want to say either way, but when you can just say what you think. You're trying to present it as like a both sides thing because you know that your opinions on this are pretty objectionable. But it's I like said either I said either way because <laughs> I either I have to agree that Bu himself when there's evidence they didn't, or I have to say that uh, Bu like faked their death when there's not one hundred percent proof. There's just a lot of proof. Yeah, I mean the thing the thing in about either, this in is like situation, it's I'm not particularly invested in if this person you know themselves or not. I'm invested in the Keppel story. I'm investing in invested in like uncovering it. But um, you know my only real my only my my main contention with Keppel's in general is just that she likes to deplatform people, but. Apart from that, like, there's nothing, there's no opinion that I'm, like, hiding or something in this video. Like, I've been very upfront with it. Um, and if anything, I would probably get rewarded if I was more negative towards her and, and uh, you know, was more mean. Because as we see, there's, like, a large group of people that f***ing hate her and want me to just get on her, you know. Even unfairly, they, you know, they would enjoy that because of the amount of, like, you know, spite that she gets on the internet and the amount of spite that she's directed towards other people. Um, you know, whether or not those people's feelings are justified or not. I'll leave up to, to the audience, but, um, you know, like I, I, I would only probably benefit from being more negative towards her. And if anything, I'm doing yeah, her a favor by being as charitable as I have been. Um, you know, not really talking about the cat boy ranch stuff. We're not really talking about the DIY hormone stuff. Um, you know, that, that only stands to benefit her. Yeah. Yes. She admits she has a botnet. She admits she has a botnet that can DDoS and attack and harass these sites. So as Kiwi Farm is taking a battering, Cloudflare is having people outside their offices. So this has been going for like two what? months. They're, 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 they're having people outside their offices. No, they don't. That never happened. We never they protested do. in front of the Cloudflare offices. We never protested in front of the Cloudflare offices. Now, do we do we have a, a link for this? Did this happen? So, Tom, here's a tweet where Keffels organizes a protest outside a Kiwi Farms office. Statement from the Drop Kiwi Farms campaign and our intent to protest at the Cloudflare Connect conference in Sydney, Australia. Please share widely. And this is a letter literally encouraging people to go to their fucking physical offices and protest. In Australia, in Sydney, Australia, Cloudflare Connect conference. Like next up is Liz Fong Jones um, posting that they'll be there and helping hosting it. Right. All right. Let's see. Ugh. I'm leading a protest in front of Cloudflare Connect Summit on September 8th in Sydney in order to draw attention to the harms that Cloudflare perpetuates on marginalized communities and force eSafety Australia and Cloudflare to act. Please join me. And this is literally calling for people to be there in person. And then Null posted pictures of it. Now, to be fair to Keffels, there was like, I think, five people in total right. that went to this. But there was still an attempt, and you organized a protest outside a, 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 a Cloudflare yeah, building. I mean, here's the Cloudflare Sydney protest that Liz Wong Jones organized. Bonus pick of LFJ Virgin Walking. I assume they're referring to Liz Wong Jones. This is Null's post on whatever this is, Fediverse, I assume. Um, this is what they were afraid of. The technocrats have literally no balls. This entire system could collapse to a strong breeze. And, I mean, there were people there physically. I mean, in fairness, I thought there were more, definitely. But there were definitely people there. Keffels wasn't there I, in person. I never claimed I, that she I, was there in person. I f***ed up because I thought there were more people than there were at these protests. And I make it sound bigger than it was. But Keffels told me, or Keffels said right there, no, they didn't. Yeah, well, yes, they did. Right. She called for it. Liz, Liz Wong Jones called for it. There were people there, including Liz Wong Jones.
There's no botnet. This, this, this. She says there's no botnet. Do we know if there's a botnet or not? I assume that's not something yeah, you made up. Yeah, I have on to the go spot. find the images, but yes. Okay. There's a uh, people are saying boycott Cloudflare and drop TV farms. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, a, it's big. Like I, I can't describe it because I can't understand. So we don't have an awful. I don't have a lot of screenshots. But it, it was that. hundreds of thousands of people. It was the biggest thing yes. on Twitter at the time. Think of think of your big also think of your big YouTubers who just do like videos on the news of the now. Even they're making videos. Right. Like, okay. It, it's 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 reaching people that didn't know Kefels didn't know TV farms. But simultaneously, this narrative seems to be sort of you know like easy to pick apart. Yeah. It's very easy to pick apart if you do your research and if you bother to check Kiwi Farms, which is currently being DDoS, and people are telling you if you go on there, you'll become evil and right-wing and a Nazi and True. blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's, it's a bad for an average For on. an average viewer, it seems so cut and dry. Right, but in reality, I, I in reality it's just kind of... It's, 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 just... it's shaky, we don't know. We just don't know. Yeah, again, right. I don't want to claim too much because... It's crazy how... The the day, I don't know if... It's so crazy how they go out of their way to defend the site, but then here's what you need to know, the real reason why they're defending it. Commentary channels like Turkey Tom rely on Kiwi Farms for sourcing for their videos. There, there's a non-zero chance that Turkey Tom has made tens of thousands of dollars because of the existence of Kiwi Farms. Kiwi Farms is part of his bread and butter. That's why he defends it. And here's something I can I can respond to directly. Obviously, Birdie, you're not really included in that accusation. Yeah. So <laughs> I am someone like I'll, I, I've openly referenced Kiwi Farms when I use it for research. Um, but if you go to my videos and we can scroll through and see the videos that actually reference Kiwi Farms, um, this one doesn't. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. I think the 4chan femboy blackmail one might, but that's mostly related to 4chan, not Kiwi Farms. This one doesn't reference it. This one definitely does. This is one video that definitely does. This video has nothing to do with Kiwi Farms, 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 nothing to do with Kiwi Farms. So let's just count. Out of my last 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 videos, I can very charitably, and even going the extra mile, say that there are two videos that reference Kiwi Farms, okay? And if we go back here, this is not about Kiwi Farms. This is not about Kiwi Farms. This one is about Kiwi Farms. But even at that, it's like, okay, this one's not about Kiwi Farms. There's three videos in the last 16 that have anything to do with Kiwi Farms. Even when Kiwi Farms was down, I was posting regularly. I was totally able to function as a channel. I was totally able to make videos. I was totally able to do research. I don't rely on Kiwi Farms. They're a decent resource, undoubtedly, right? They're a decent resource. Um, especially when you're, you know, researching animal abusers, animal abusers and stuff like that. But it's not like every video has to do with Kiwi Farms. I mean, even out of these, you know, 12, or, um, how many, this, sorry, this is eight videos. This is the only video that has anything to do with Kiwi Farms. Um, so it's just like, I like, I don't need Kiwi Farms for video research. Um, and that's also not why I want to defend it. Cause if Kiwi Farms went down, another site would pop up to document drama and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't need Kiwi Farms to function, um, you know, you could you could say that one out of thirteen videos, or you know, well, I'll, I'll just say two out of thirteen videos relies on it, but it's like that's less than fucking ten percent of my income, so it, it it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I'll be I'll, I'll be just fine without Kiwi Farms. Believe it or not, I actually have a more principled position apart from money. My entire life is not run on uh on on money. Um, you know, I have I have a point to make. I have beliefs that uh, don't relate to my income. Um, obviously, you know, with anything you want to, with anything I do, I want to maximize the amount of income I can make. Um, so, you know, if I make a video and it references Kiwi Farms, I want to make money on it. But like, this is not, this like, like, like Kiwi Farms is not the end all be all of my research. They were down for months. Um, and it was like a pain to use their site and I got by just fine. Let's keep watching. All three of those people genuinely committed suicide. I don't know either way if two of them fake their deaths. Okay. You know, it's it's a really touchy area, and I mean, Key Farms do their best to prove as many things as possible. In the day, they just don't have proof for everything. So we went and over Chloe Segal. We went over Blue. There's someone else, right? There's someone else. Um, I don't know if I should mention it. It's also a bit dark and a bit bland comparatively. There's just lots of also lots of screenshots of long messages about depression. We can. Well, we don't have to read those. But we can talk about what happened. I don't really touch on it on this vlog, yeah, and Kevl doesn't really respond to it. But the person I'm referencing is uh, Judy Terryford, who was uh, I believe the straight the cis person in Terry this situation. Terry right? Yeah, 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 and uh, she had an awful life as well of drugs, like an awful family with like an uncle that masturbated in front of her and things of that nature. Oh, Jesus. She did drugs. She got on like a BDSM stuff before she was 18. Um, she lived a really sad life and at 19 killed herself. Um, yes, there was a Kiwi Farms thread. Yes, she didn't like it, but uh, she made fun of it. She was like, oh, this is <clears throat> such a terrible resource and there's so many mistakes here. Um, and when she did kill herself... I don't know if Kiwi Farms have played an, uh, an effect on that, but you cannot at all claim Kiwi Farms is the reason she killed herself. Mm. Her life was sad, it was depressing, and there were way bigger reasons in her life 
than a thread making fun of her. And that seems to be the case. I didn't touch it in this people. video, but that's what I'm referencing when I say there's a third person. I didn't want to touch it because I couldn't fully remember. And it's just so sad, man. Her life is really sad. I don't recommend anyone check it out unless they really want proof. It's a sad, sad story. Mm -hmm. If I'm the thread. I can't remember the top of my head. This is the one that had the least interest, I want, I guess you could say. Okay. Again, so at this point, <coughs> while I'm finding this, I'd mention that, yeah, so they had, uh, Cloudflare had people outside their offices with big cardboard uh, paper saying, come out, come out. Right. Um, so the uh, president, or president CEO, what am I saying, president CEO of uh, Cloudflare makes a big statement talking about freedom of expression, freedom of speech. Um, so do you make a mistake here? He doesn't um, it wasn't the company that uh, eventually dropped Kiwi Farms. The CEO himself stood by his freedom of speech rule, but said that uh, Kiwi Farms is the most like hateful, disgusting website he's ever seen. Um, so when we're joking about the company coming in, I mean, that might have happened, but uh, I was wrong. I wasn't right on that point. It was the CEO who um, who said this site was awful and good riddance, basically. Mm. So I'll give Kessel this one point. You, right? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a bravery statement because at the end he goes, we, we won't cower just when you know a group of people make a stink. And that makes Keppels and her supporters really, really mad, yeah? It, it's it's proof enough that Cloudflare are transphobic and they want trans people to die. Right. That was the narrative. And so that blows True. up. Um, they do. They, like, I they literally they just go on any thread on that fucking website uh, and they're talking about how they want trans people to die. This isn't this is this isn't even a question. More like a week later, yeah. Oh, okay, and it, it wasn't a statement from the CEO, it was Cloudflare, the organization. So God only knows what happened behind the scenes. We might never know. Yeah. Maybe you got maybe the, the board members were like, We gotta deal with this right now, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'd imagine. I, but also, I mean, in the day it's from a company's perspective, it's just dropping one website and then everyone gets off your back. It makes sense. From a business like you're, you're perspective. You're a company, you're, you're a business. Like, I'm sorry, but there's only so much value. I'd love there's only so much the you can stand up for. Speech to be protected, but it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Not in that situation. That makes sense. Okay. Um, all right. Well, so this is a, a J levels of storytelling. Look, man, I'm trying. This is like over a year now. A J? No, this is, you're doing good, I think. People are, people are either wrong. I think it's funny. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kevin's more sus than the character among us handing out DIY hormones. True. Holy sh. Bring up the clip. However, viewers immediately picked up on how odd the video was. It was Keffels is truly more sus than a character from Among Us. There we go. Just had to get that in there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Someone unscripted. Think you're... All right, there we go. Finally, they just admit it. So I knew as soon as the DIY context hormone for this comes up. and try and be fair. Yeah, I mean, this isn't for something. This isn't something we like dance away from. Like, this is something I even talked about uh, when I talked to Noel. I was like, "There's a lot of transphobia on your site." Um, it's not something that we want to defend. Like, I'm not, I'm not married to the, like, you know, everything that Kiwi Farms is. I'm just, like, pro-free like, speech. No, but, um, yeah, Keffels here is upset that I vaguely mentioned the H -I -H yeah, HRT directory. We didn't bring it up because it's so damning, and there's so much evidence of with that, with that source that it looks unfair to bring it up. It looks mm -hmm. like we're kicking her while she's down. So, I don't know why she's tempting us with this. Oh, there it is, there it is. The HRT directory is f***ed, Bob posting is f***ed, and if she doesn't like my statement there about it being f***ed, I'm happy to bring up all the evidence, but I doubt she'll want me to bring that up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, you know, when she comes on, if she wants to talk about it, we can talk about it. It's just like, okay, I get exactly where you're coming from, I know the type of person that you are. You're doing a great job. So where do we, yeah. uh... What where, where, where do we go from there then? So Cloudflare drops Kiwi, drops Kiwi Farms. Cloudflare, Cloudflare drops Kiwi Farms. And Kiwi says, I'm, I'm moving on. Uh, it's not down right now. Well, I mean, yeah, it, was, so, it was down but, there. But, but it was, yeah, it was, it's down then. Cloudflare has dropped it. Null is frantically scrabbling. And I think it got re uploaded to Tor really quickly for a short while. Mm -hmm. um, while that's happening, Kevl's claiming she's moving <laughs> on. But really, behind the scenes, her team, especially in Fong Jones, they're all the ones running these botnets and doxes. They're contacting other hosts. So like alternatives to Cloudflare. Mm -hmm. um, and they're trying to, you know, to say, hey, this Kiwi Farms, don't let them back on. Right. Um, you should have seen the video. And Wait. so, yeah, Noel's scrambling and Kevl's moves moves on in big, big brackets. Um, while Kevl's is doing this, by the way, Kevl was also tweeting out Noel's mother, which, yeah. again, we're talking about the hypocrisy. If you're wondering about hypocr doxing, probably shouldn't post. How's that hypocrisy when that's a photo that Noel himself posted to his own website and that photo was featured in a news article? Like, she's, a, she's a person who's known publicly. this earlier, but uh, yeah, it's you could say the same thing to her and also you, your intention was to dox. Of course, yeah. His mom, actually, she lost her job for calling a trans woman a bulldog. I'm not even joking. Like, she got fired over this. For saying that this trans woman looks like a bulldog. That's how she lost her job as a realtor. Post Noel's mother and where she works. I mean, she's, she's not supportive of Kiwi Farms in any way. She's just, like, his, 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 his yeah, business and mom. She's supportive, she's supportive of her son. I mean, there's... Kevl tweets out a photo. I, I, uh, mm -hmm. I, think, I think it's a good show. Um, it's just a picture of Noel with his mother next to him. Okay. Uh, and Kevl tweets out, what a cute family. Surely his mother will not lose her job because of his son's heinous actions and have to yeah. leave the internet. And what Kevl's implying is, hey, my fans, please go... No, that's not the implication, actually. So, the situation with um, Noel's mother calling a trans woman a bulldog, 
This happened because Null went on the Dick Masterson podcast and recited this story, which got forwarded to the board. Um, that it got it got forwarded to like the realtor board, and she lost her license and she, she could no longer be a realtor. That's what happened. That's what I was referencing. And it's like I guess this is one of the things where like we're disagreeing with her intentions. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. According to her, it's okay. Well, I was just saying what happened. But I mean, given her history of like saying, if you're a Kiwi Farms user with an account, then then I will find out who you are. I will get your docs. I will uh, get you, you know, I will get you fired from your jobs. I'll tell your family about it. It's like, given what she said there, it's like, well, we can speculate at least to her intentions here, probably not being totally innocent. She can claim otherwise, but you know, I just don't believe it. No, I agree. I don't think Todd. Harass nulls and nulls mother and get her back. Get, 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 get her kicked out of her employment. It's a big wink. It's a big wink and a nudge. Right. So again, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this alone now, guys. It's kind of crazy how these people who are defending the site know literally nothing about its history. Again, Actually, no, that's not crazy. That makes more sense to me. It's like if you want to hypocrisy in the I, I wouldn't say that we defended the site. We defend its right to exist. I don't think that we defend like the users of the site. And that's ultimately the issue with Kiwi Farms. It's like, you know, you want to take a principal position and be pro free speech, but at the same time, you, you know, you disagree with what people on the site do. But that's ultimately, you know, that's that's the cost of being pro free speech. You know, you have to accept that there's people you disagree with out there who are gonna say things you disagree with. Um yeah. And that they have to, you know, they just have to exist. I mean, couples can disagree with that on a fundamental level. I think she definitely does. But, you know, that's our position. Our position is not that we love everything Kiwi Farms does or that the users do. Um, and that's a problem. It's like trying to paint everyone on the site as one person is is, 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 is is wrong, in my opinion. In the same way that a lot of people will say, like, oh, 4chan did this. It's like, well, 4chan is not one person. 4chan is hundreds of thousands of people who have used that website, you know, millions of people who have used that website over time. Um, so yeah. Motive. Yeah, no, I agree. A great piece of evidence. Right. Okay. And that's hypocritical, obviously, because the whole thing against Kiwi Farms is that they dox people with their lives. They're evil. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay wait, wait. Posting a photo of someone is not doxing. That's never been doxing. I don't understand this really like loosey goosey definition of doxing. Okay. Well, you don't just post a photo, you post her name, her full legal name. Okay. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what else you can call that other than doxing. You can add more detail to it and make the docs more damning, but it was still a docs. Yeah. Doxing? Like, posting a photo of someone isn't... You need to post their address. <laughs> the guy's mom. <laughs> it's, it's just not a good luck. Okay, so that's obviously bad. What happens after that? I mean, people are critical of her, but obviously for people who are on her side, like, well, it's justified because it's, I mean, it's Kiwi yeah, Farms anyway. I, from, from, from careful side, I, I, people like to mention, like, well, Kiwi Farms isn't down, and there'll always be alternatives, and they'll always come back. And while that is true, it's important to mention that even now, Noel is const constantly uh, scrambling, making sure this is secure, this is okay, that I'm not being attacked, uh, okay. you know, the site's back up, oh, the site went down again, oh, uh, we're being attacked, you know, oh, there, there was an issue with Kiwi Farms where someone hacked in, or there was some variation of hacking, or maybe it was just script kidding, who knows, and they grabbed a bunch of the passwords, so Noel had to go, right, uh, change your emails, uh, change your passwords, there may be a spreadsheet, it wasn't a hack, but I'm still things. basically right. right. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it, it was, it's all kind of just lots of little attacks, and this goes on for like three or four months. Like, He's, this, it's, the, it's I remember trying to access the site for video research, and it was like, there like, we go. Access the site for video research. He just admitted what I said earlier. The reason that he defends Kiwi Farms is because he makes a living off of Kiwi Farms. But once again, that's not an admission. And once again, like I pointed out, I don't make a living off of Kiwi Farms. I make a living off of making videos YouTube before videos. using Kiwi Farms as a resource anyway. You weren't hiding it. I've never been hiding it. Um, and I, I, I can't deny that like sometimes I will use it for video research. Yeah, that's undeniable. But I don't make a living from Kiwi Farms. If Kiwi Farms went down to, like for the rest of time, I would continue to make money. I would make even more. I would, I, I would continue to, you know, increase my wealth. I would make more money. Like, I would be fine. I would be totally fine. Um, so, yeah. I, I don't depend on Kiwi Farms. I think maybe she's not familiar with my content. Maybe she is and she's just being disingenuous. I don't know. But I don't depend on, a, on Kiwi Farms for my income. I'd be fine. His motivation is entirely in self-service to him in his own career. He has a financial interest this in keeping the, the site going. Temple fan fiction I have ever seen. You have to download Tor, and then you have to do this. And once again, I mean, I already went over this, but just not true. I even, didn't even um, bother that. I just waited till it came back. I that's was like, fair. I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't deal with all that. And that's the truth. I mean, even if you downloaded Tor and did all that, it'd be up for 13 hours, and it would just go again. And the crazy thing is, even uh, even trying to access archives of the site was impossible because, well, not impossible, but the main the main archive site people use is Wayback Machine. Wayback Machine is banned Kiwi Farms, so you can't even see archive versions of the site for any purpose. And it's, it's yeah. I mean, Kiwi Farms I mean, you is... Mentioned, uh, you mentioned, um, oh, who's the female? Liz, uh, Taylor Jones. Um, Taylor mean, Lorenz is her name. Taylor Lorenz. Yeah, Lorenz so Taylor Lorenz is a left-wing streamer. Uh, Twitter, no, 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 Twitter, Twitter, Twitter journalist. Twitter journalist. And her, her um, uncle runs the Wayback Machine. And actually, when she was getting on Twitter, he removed her from the Wayback Machine so people couldn't see her old retweet. 
Renz, which is yes. just like, it's so dystopian, the idea that like, <laughs> just based on who you know, you can erase um, the past. Taylor Renz was retweeting <laughs> supporting this hashtag drop key. We found help bringing people like, the world. mainstream. <laughs> the age. I don't know. I mean, at least in my head, you have to be like, a, you have to have the outlook. You have to think about the world like you're a f***ing child in order not to understand that how the world actually works is who you know helps you get ahead. That's how the world works and it's how it's always worked. But there's also this guy. I mean, I guess. I don't think that's a good thing. I'm aware that that's how the world works, but I don't know that that's, uh, <laughs> that's a thing in your favor like to brag about. I think his name is Ben Benjamin something like C. Oh, this part. He was a big journalist who was doing all these pieces exposing people to what Kiwi Farms is in the most unfavorable light. Here's what they do. Here's how they attack people. And then it got exposed that Keffels was paying this guy or that no. he was being paid by him. Kind of. So I remember this and this went viral and it was the silliest. I got a, I got a sub. I got like a $5 sub from one of the chatters on KGG. And I had my email opened and I can see uh, because the subs on KGG are through PayPal, I accidentally uh said their dead name out loud which happened to be the same name as the journalist who wrote that piece on me from nbc um so they all started rolling with this conspiracy theory that i was bankrolling mainstream journalists when in actuality i was like panicking and um like apologizing because i said i'm sorry i outed you because it's like i just dead named one of my chatters i felt like a piece of didn't mean to all righty um so how do we feel about this is this do we fuck up here did the images come through? They did come through, yeah. Oh, I can hear you now. Sorry, I, I think you. Sorry, cut I think out it cut out. Yeah, yeah. So, um, basically, it's gonna be Keffel's word versus mine. Um, Keffel's claims this was a donation with someone who had the same name but dead named by accident, um, and then eventually it was conspiracy. Now, what I'm saying is it was an automatic payment. Mm -hmm. Um, and that you know, Keffel's has claimed numerous times to have like press connections, which I've sent you in the second image. Mm -hmm. Uh, ben Collins, along with Taylor Lorenz, both wrote favorable articles about Keffels. Um, then Keffels reads out this automatic payment from Ben Collins. Mm -hmm. And then when Ben's confronted about this, he immediately denies it. And then at a later point, Ben asks publicly how to delete Twitter DMs so that both parties can't see them. Mm -hmm. All right, the quartering says, why is NBC reporter Ben Collins sending automatic cash payments to someone he's also writing articles about? That seems almost like an ethics and journalism thing. Ben, do you have uh, any comment on this before I make a video on this? I'll need a reply by 10 a.m. Ben Collins says, The far right has spent the weekend concocting a very fun conspiracy theory that I gave money to a Twitch streamer I covered. What am I, 14 years old? I'm old as hell. I give money to food banks and friends on GoFundMe with weird old man diseases. Think about this, people. Uh, okay, there's that. And then... Uh, it's literally everyone's word against each other's. I need to make hashtag drop Kiwi Farms movement aware of this. As I think there's a possi possibility, a danger to reputations of good people who have posted far right websites and personalities for years. At Keffels is engaging in tactics, much like those of Kiwi Farmers. She is optics poison. And here we have, I know you weren't involved when 8chan was dropped, but us talking to each other is optics poison. I want to work with you. I want the site down by any means necessary. That said, the ace up my sleeve is my press connections, and I cannot afford a blunder of this magnitude. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, she can, she can claim that it's not that way. I mean, I mean, maybe she's telling the truth. Either way, the point is really just the, the point is really this, just, uh, that she has press connections, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be her word against mine. It, I think it was not so much payment. I tried to find the clip because I thought it'd be a great piece of evidence, but the only ones I can find are on really shady archive sites. So what I'm going to try and do is find one and screen record it and re-upload it if Keffels wants me to find the video of the donation. But uh, the recount I gave and the recount she gave already differs anyway, so I know there won't be disagreement. Mm -hmm. um, so Keffel's got back to me. Um, my reaction to what you already said. So Keffel's messaged me on Discord. She says, hello, can I pop on? I say, yeah, you're welcome to after we finish the vid. She says, most recently, this is half an hour later. She says, no, nah, I don't want to keep getting dodged. If the conversation was important, it would have happened. I said, I told you I'm willing to after I react to my reaction. Uh, sorry, after I react to my reaction is what you already said. Although I fucked up the message, I should say. I told you I'm willing organized to organized times to meet up later in the week anyway. I don't know why this is as if we're dodging. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm totally willing to have a conversation with her in like maybe, maybe half hour max if she could just wait that long just for us to finish this. I might not. It's already three in the morning here. Well, I'll, I'll talk to her a little bit. I mean, it's fine if you don't want to, but, um, you know. I'm willing to talk to her. It's just, fuck, I can't go on much longer, man. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to talk to her. A specific relationship. So, for what? Um, well, for the articles, so that Kevl's got more support for this hashtag. Uh, so, the she was, had these so there was a financial relationship going on to get, like, astroturf astro astro media attention. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, it was brilliant, really astounding. But yeah, it was it was mainstream media exposing. Trevor, thank you so much for the twenty gift subs, because that that makes me feel better for staying through this bullshit. I'm gonna be having Turkey Tom and this uh, British guy on stream at some point. Uh, Arif is gonna be joining me as another person on my side because it's gonna be a two B, two two of us and two of us sort of deal. Normally, it's basically to what Kiwi Farms was. So if you're watching this on YouTube, remember make an account at keffels.gg slash live. Ben Lober, that was it. Ben, ben, oh no, ben Collins. Was it Ben Collins? I want to say Ben Collins, but Ben Lober sounds right. Yeah. No, okay. Ben Collins. It was Ben Collins. Ben Collins, ben Collins, ben Collins. Right to me. Yeah. Ben Collins was being paid. <laughs> he, he really helps. Ben Collins is the same guy who, whenever there's a school shooter, he will be like, well, this is the fault of Encyclopedia Dramatica and Kiwi Farms who push these these psychos. Like, he's he's very good at getting the mainstream, uh, you know, viewers into this alternate internet world. Okay. And getting them to hate it, obviously. Yeah. So he's the one that donates to her and she kind of pays him. So very much a. They both, they both benefit. <laughs> right. Okay. And, and that's uh, kind of where we're at now. I mean, uh, there was the Destiny stream, if you saw that, where Destiny kind of said, I'm done. Here's my big expose. There's been all yeah, these, well, like, I mean, there's, there's a whole other lore with Destiny, because I believe Destiny... By the way, she's never responded to the manifesto at all. Um, Has she not? I didn't do too much research if she responded. She's never responded. She made one joke about it on Twitter, but she's never actually responded to it. It looks like I just okay. checked in on her stream, and she's done reacting to us now. Um, oh, really? I, I did yeah. see um, her complain that the chance for the transphobia, but she must have missed earlier when we both said we're not okay with that, and you've put in, like, measurements I haven't, to make I haven't sure seen, like, any reduced. transphobia. There was apparently some guy that I, I gave I've seen admin. a bit, but I've seen it all be deleted, so I don't know. Yeah, apparently there was someone I gave admin a while ago that was being transphobic, so I went. I already went through and I, de I demoted them, and I banned them from chat. As far as I can tell, like, there, I don't see, like, any transphobia in chat. I, I literally was explicit with uh, not, even, not only, you know, the staff of my Discord, but also... The moderators of my chat to be like, yo, yeah, get the rid of been trying really hard. I, I don't think it's fair to say that we're trying to house transphobia here. We're just trying to critique Keffel's actions and what no, Keffel says. I literally have no interest in being transphobic. I just want to debate her actual ideas. He's not. He's not just done. He's suing her or attempting to. He, he sent. Well, he sent her a very slow going. It'll be very slow going. Okay. Yeah. He sent Keffel's a cease and desist because of Keffel's lie about the stealth thing. Because Keffel was claiming that he was causing hate raids to her, which is not true. It's ironic um, because even if it was, it's both sides. I mean, both of them. Both of them attack each other. Both right. of them really don't like each other. Well, he cannot claim that they're just an innocent victim. Well, he sent a cease and desist saying, basically, if you don't make a public apology and retraction so that I can email this to journalists and uh, get this them to stop time, these lies um, about me, I'm going to have to Destiny's take no longer going to sue Keffels unless Keffels starts talking about him again. Um, right. but that's only because this happened recently. When this was recorded, um, it was supposedly still going to happen. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, she hasn't responded officially to the cease and desist yet, but that's what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. um, Kiwi yeah. Farms, as of now, is it is up. Can you thumbs up right now? You can check it on your end. I'm, I will eventually re make a response to the cease and desist. I have a lawyer that I've hired on retainer. I'm talking about it. Um, I just, I take legal stuff like this really seriously, and I don't like that it is being turned into content. So the majority of my responses to it are going to You don't like that it's being turned into content? You turn fucking, every, fucking everything into content. You turn your own identity as a trans person into content. You don't give a if fuck. She's trying don't to don't say morally grandstand about that, dude. <laughs> If she's trying to say that Destiny brings uh, brings it up and that's content, I can kind of see where she's coming from. Like, if she wants to keep it private between the two of them, I understand that at least. Yeah. To be off stream, because if this, you know, if it ends up going forward, if I end up having to go to court, it's going to be an incredibly boring, incredibly untransparent, and incredibly costly endeavor, and none of no one is going to come out of it happier in the end. If it went no, to court, you would get that. owned. You wouldn't be happier in the end. I think Destiny would be happier in the end because he would get you to issue retractions and you would get fucking destroyed for being a... <laughs> is it... Uh, I guess it would be... In slander is spoken and uh, written is libel. And I think you've committed both, so you probably would get fucking owned. Internet. I can check it from my college Wi-Fi, so that's probably a good indicator of how it's doing. And the most recent thing I saw from Keffels was her saying that she was glad Mr. Medicare was had cancer and was dying. True. Uh, yeah, but I mean, Keffels constantly says that for attention. I mean, there was. I mean, it, 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 for attention or not, it's probably not good. No, it's not nice. <laughs> but a dead man, man dying. I, I love how me responding to someone who's a piece of <laughs> doing stuff for attention. It's just misogyny, bro. Like. I can call someone who told his chat to spam 41. What does this have to do with misogyny at all? This has literally it's nothing not because, to do with misogyny. It's not because Keffels is a woman that I am critiquing her for making fun of someone's cancer. Like, where does the femininity come into that? No, where where does the misogyny come in? It has nothing to do with anything. Percent in relation to me, a piece of <laughs> dying from cancer is a skill issue. That's fine. Like, when he was covering, when Medica was covering the Cloudflare stuff, he put um, the "You will never be a woman" acronym on screen. Uh, in relation to me, again, it's like I don't care what happens to this guy. He's a piece of. I don't think anything Mr. Medicare is, has, I think he's heard worse. I, think I mean, he's, he's heard worse. It's just, I'm not, I'm not saying I feel bad for him. I'm saying it just it reflects poorly on no, his character. Yeah. If you ever want to make the argument that Keffels is morally consistent, it's not at all. Yeah, it's impossible. The only thing the only thing you can say is if you support her and her, I mean, I guess selfish motives, you can you can, you can can support that. But if you want to go after her, if you want to support her for consistency. On I love how I'm, I'm the selfish one, but he's defending the doxing site implicated in three and is. Once again, not implicated in three at all. And when we actually talked about the details of that, she ignored it. But now that she gets to have the gosh moment, she's like implicated in three suicides, 
which is just I gave a really basic rundown in this video and in this stream I've given more detail like yeah. Kevils if you want to make this point please respond to my arguments I know that there's disagreement I know that there's you know it's gonna be he said she said and that abuse is still up for debate but you've got to respond to me because otherwise I'm allowed to get away with saying yeah there was no admitted that he financially benefits from Kiwi Farms continued existence like this entire thing is I'm defending Kiwi Farms because they make me money uh, no no anyone who has any problem with this site and you know and that's not also not what i said i didn't say we didn't say anything even close to that we literally said there are a lot of problems with the site that like are fair to acknowledge right we don't like what some of the users do we're not okay with the dog thing but at the end of the day freedom of speech the website should still be allowed to be up and we've proven that since kiwi farms wasn't behind you know the swatting and wasn't behind the attacks it's not like we can claim there are like that there are malicious site as she's i mean there out. are I mean, there are a bunch of totally valid you know, problems to have with Kiwi Farms. Even some of the problems Kefels has with Kiwi Farms are like, I'd say justified. Like some of the basic problems she has. The problem is that the person who's saying them is a total hypocrite, right? Exactly. That, yeah. is, that would be the problem. Doxing? Not so bad. Because, you know, they don't dox me. So whatever. Also, I really love paying my rent every money with um, research materials that I get from this doxing site. Thing. You're, you're, you're going to have to look for someone else. You got one of your mods saying uh, Ben Collins got fired from NBC for being openly corrupt and taking bribes, lol. Yeah, there you go. Well, I guess that's what you get for being openly corrupt and taking bribes, right? <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, not to not to cheer on his, like, you know, the downfall of his career or whatever, but that is what happens when you do that, so. Yeah. Yeah. And that leaves us where we are now, which is... Kind of, yeah. I mean, if you want to get the three major players, it's Kiwi Farms, who, I mean, even right now, they're doing their, comp uh, their big vote on who's the biggest lol cow, something like that. You know, Keep Keppels and um, this... What's her name? I can't I keep forgetting names. This one goes. So yeah, this one, Jones. Both of them are on their, like, competition. Destiny is obviously suing. He had that big stream, which is like, if you want a perfect response, I careful, I'd probably point to that. It's so concise. Uh, he mentioned my article, and he says it's terrible, and the ED's a terrible source, so hi, Stephen, thanks. Did he say I that? It was really, it's really funny. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> Damn, Farmer and ED user. I don't know if it's a meme or a troll, but it's one of the worst sources I've ever used in my life. Never go on there. So good. I mean, that is, there are a lot of troll articles on the site now. It's terrible. I mean, like, the whole point of the site is to be unsubstantiated. I just thought it was funny. But if you want a great response to Kefels, that's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, he's, very, he, made, he made a three-hour long response stream to her, yeah, basically just, going over it all. There's more. Hey, you just jumped in. Actually, Hubby saw you and popped you up because she has the most in-depth yes. stuff about their drama. Uh -huh. You guys can check out. Um, does that about wrap up the Keffel story? Then I mean, where does that leave us now? now? She's, she's now, still around. Like you said, yeah, she's so trending. Now Keffel's has the Twitter well, because <coughs> people discuss it, not because of her actions. Yeah. So right now, Keffel's has the Twi uh, Twitter, where she's being a bit more calm compared to than she used to be. And her major thing is this YouTube. Um, if you remember during the hashtag Drop Kiwi Farms, she moved home because there was a gun pointed at her head. Supposedly, she was supposedly she was supposedly swatted. Swatted. Yeah. Supposedly. So she moved to Ireland, tweeted out she was in Ireland, and then blamed Kiwi Farms when she had people trying to follow her. Um, so now her big thing is to be clear. Here, I wasn't I wasn't trying to like say that the swatting was. Yeah, fake. No, that's that's poor word choice on my part. It's more so that she's in inconsistent part, with the story. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, w I would never deny the swatting happened. I mean, the police themselves. She was swatted, but the point I was trying to make again, both now and then, I was sleep deprived a bit. Not a good excuse, but that's just how it is. Um, yeah, th there was inconsistencies in how she told the story, but she was swatted. Yeah, yeah. So, speak, wait, uh, so you can't say what country you're in? Oh, or else it's your fault if you get doxxed? What in the fuck kind of logic is this? This is some goofball shit. So funny, I believe it was. Well, no, we could we even go into detail on the, um, on the whole, uh, fuck, on the whole swatting thing, because there were a lot of details there that seemed, like, totally yes. misconstrued and false. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the whole story thing was um, Keffel's really uh, poorly described what happened. She claimed she was dead named the entire time. No, I didn't. By the police. Yeah. Hell, came into her apartment, put a gun to basically her, her head. No, I didn't. Her head, pulled her aside. Yeah, she did. And I have all the proof here if you want to go. Said. Yeah, so that, let's definitely go through that one by one. Let's dissect her claims. I'm going to rewind this a little bit just so Chad can hear exactly what she said. Mm. On the whole, uh, fuck, on the whole swatting thing, because there were a lot of details there that seemed like totally yes. misconstrued and false. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the whole story thing was um, Keffel's really uh, poorly described what happened. She claimed she was dead named the entire time. No, I didn't. By the police. Yeah. Hell, came into her apartment, put a gun to basically her, her head. No, I didn't. Her head, pulled her aside. You did say that, and we're going to bring up the proof. Right, I'll start with the dead name first. Just give me a second, and I'll put the links, Tom, and then you can open them. Sounds good. Sounds good. We're going to go over the swatting. This should be the, probably the last. Let's see, it's the last 12 minutes of this. This should be the last. Segment. It's the last major allegation I want to get done. Mm -hmm. So here is her. Here is her claiming she was dead named the whole time. All right. Here we go with this link. During the arrest, the police officer referred to me by my dead name. I was booked in the station under my dead name. The police, when talking to my mother, referred to me as her son. The All right. So there we got that claiming she was dead named. Let's just rewind this one more second to hear what she said. Can't say what country you're in, oh, or else it's your fault if you get doxxed. What in the f kind of logic is this? Named the entire time. No, I didn't. By the police. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, the whole story thing was um, Kettles really uh, poorly described what happened. She claimed she was dead named the entire time. No, I didn't. By the police. Yeah. Hel came into her apartment. Put a okay. Dead named the entire time. No, I didn't. During the arrest, the police officer referred to me by my dead name. What is this so fucking like, police? Is this supposed to be like a fake PTSD face? She, this is so. I, hey, I don't hey, know what's going hey, on I don't here, know. dude. It could be genuine. I don't want to. Let's not. Maybe let, it is genuine. Just I don't. Uh, we I'm not her out in a lie. We caught her out in a lie. We don't have to like attribute fake emotion. My dead name. The police, when talking to my mother, referred to me as her son. Fucking on Valium or something. So I've got the police report. They say they didn't. And then there's a clip from like a later stream in September where Keffel's ex fiance says at no time was she dead named and she's nodding along. Mm -hmm. All right, here we've got the message. Statement from Police Chief Steve Williams. Further, to my statement yesterday, I would like to share an update in relation to this incident. As a result of further investigation, we do not believe that the threatening emails received by City Hall officials originated with Ms. Sorrenti. We believe there was a deliberate attempt by a third party to place suspicion on Ms. Sorrenti in relation to what are now believed to be false threats to harm people at City Hall. This is sometimes referred to as swatting. With this determination made, Ms. Sorrenti was released unconditionally from custody and all of her belongings have been returned to her. Um... You know which paragraph? Uh, the, the, okay, here we go. This brings, you to the this brings me to the allegations as to how Miss Sorrenti was addressed during her time in London police custody using an incorrect name, her dead name, and gender. While I cannot confirm any conversations which may have transpired during Miss Sorrenti's initial arrest, activity in our holding cells is monitored by audio and video equipment. At no time while she was in our holding cells did members of our police service address Miss Sorrenti by her dead name and gender. I personally reviewed the recordings and found our officers were polite, respectful, and professional. The reference to Miss Sorrenti's former name appears to stem from the existence of prior police reports. Um, okay, so she said that during the arrest, she was dead named, and they said no. And then here's a clip from like two months later, well, well, where well, in fairness, here he, here they said she may have been dead named in the uh, during the arrest, but not in the holding cell. So no, during the arrest would be the thing to contend now. They the actually video. had to go inside the apartment, like in our front foyer, almost right to. Our bedroom door and they yelled at clara while she was in bed so she got up they were saying clara sorrenti note that they did not use her dead name at this point either they okay so this is during the arrest apparently they didn't use her dead name during the arrest or in the holding cell but in this video she claims during the arrest the police officer referred to me by my dead name during the arrest the police officer referred to me by my dead name saying Clara Sorrenti, note that they did not use her dead name at this point either. They said Clara Sorrenti, we know you're in there. So where did they use her dead name? I'm, I'm confused as to where, where where she's claiming they use her dead name. And then further on in this clip, she claims none of this ever happened. I, I just don't understand. Um, yeah, what do you think, Birdie? No, I, I agree. Sorry, I'm just giving the evidence for the next for the next point to disprove. No worries. Gun, she basically had her head. No, I didn't. Her head, pulled her aside. And they, their reasoning was this note, which was... Uh, she says, no, I didn't say that they put a gun to my head. Let's rewatch that one more time for proper context. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the whole story thing was um, Keffel's really uh, poorly described what happened. She claimed she was dead named the entire time. No, I didn't. By the police. Yeah. Hel okay, we already went through that one. Came into her apartment, put a gun to basically her, her head. No, I didn't. Her she says she didn't claim they put a gun so, to her head. Tom, if you go back to the original video, uh, in fact, give me a second, I'll give you, I'll give you the a new link. Sure. If you scroll along in here, the quote I need you to find while I get this other link ready. August 5th, I, I think it's right at the beginning. Here we go. I was woken up by London police services pointing an assault rifle at my face. Here we go. On August 5th, I was woken up by London police services pointing an assault rifle in my face. So she says that openly right there. Let's see what she says here. Or else it's your fault if you got doxxed. What in the is that? Oh, I didn't. Go ahead. Pulled her aside. Really uh, poorly described what happened. She claimed she was dead named the entire time. No, I didn't. Police by the police. Yeah. Hel came into her apartment, put a gun to basically her, her head. No, I didn't. Her no, I didn't. <laughs> she says it right here. On Here's another clip where I she says, when I went into one. the hallway and when I saw that assault rifle, I screamed and thought I was going to die. That sounds to me like I turned the corner and found a gun to my head. I mean, maybe right, right here she says she was woken up with a gun to her face. On August 5th, I was woken up by London police services 
pointing an assault rifle in my face. Pointing an assault rifle in my face. Here we have this video. The email Sorrenti says had given out her real address and resulted in police with guns at her doorstep and her being arrested. When I went into the hallway and then saw that assault rifle, I screamed and I, I thought I was going to die. The e <laughs> okay. Um, so we've got already two instances where the story slightly changes. First, she's woken up to it. This third clip is weird. Second, she walks into the hall. She goes, Here's a third clip. She goes back on what she says in this third clip. So, she, so do you want me to say, explain? You can explain it, yeah. In this third clip, she's claiming that they didn't go into her apartment until they had the search warrant and she was arrested or in custody. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see this. So... One of the last things that I want to, one of the last things that I want to address before I get into the actual policy proposal, people were trying to say this was not swatting because they did not do a dynamic entry, meaning they didn't break down the door and rush in, which I never said they did. <laughs> they did not go into my apartment until after I was in custody and they had a search warrant signed. So, yeah, here we have what she said. I mean, that even more sounds like it's in the favor of the police, right? I think I think we've like successfully proved that she claimed that there was a gun to her head and that she was dead named the whole time. Yeah. Pull her aside. And they, their reasoning was this note, which was uh, dead naming. It was like uh, his so, her name is Clara. Here's Clara's old name. I won't say. Don't worry. I'm not. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I was just gonna say somebody was emailing supposedly. Yeah, so it was email saying I am. I am Clara, aka dead name. Um, I am schizophrenic. I have a gun. I'm trans. Very trans. Hell, I have a shirt attack. that says that. Yeah, so well. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna kill people with a gun. <laughs> that was basically the note. Right. Um, and uh, yeah. So if you believe the Keffel's argument, the police came in. Were really rude, and she's gonna sue them. If you believe the police argument. They basically had to come in, do their job. They didn't hold a gun to her head. They calmly got her and her fiance out of the room and they talked to her. And uh, now they're being- They literally arrested me. They, 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 they fucking- What the Okay. I don't think we discounted that she was arrested. I don't know what this we point is. We didn't disagree with that, no. No. Okay. Um, CBC, Keffel's gunpoint. August 9th, 2022. Ca the Canadian Broadcasting Company. Here she brings up an article. We're going to check this out. Hold on a sec. Trans Twitch star arrested at gunpoint. But that's literally the fucking CBC. Okay, we this is an article title. And the article title, by the way, is based on her own testimony. Okay? Trans streamer. Destiny argues this point, but um, basically someone from Kevl's team defected and proved that they were sending to, like, newspapers this document of what to say and what their view is and then some of these newspapers rolled with it mm -hmm. so it's keffel's words being printed and then keffel's pointing at it as evidence yeah trans switched star arrested at gunpoint fierce for life after someone sent police to her london ontario home and uh here the the reason they say this is because of her own quote where she says when i saw the police gun pointed at me i actually thought i was going to die i've never been that terrified in my life so the reason why they said this is because that's what she said happened. I'm not doubting that the police were there and that they had guns. I'm just saying, like, her specific recounting of, of order of events, order of operations, so to speak, doesn't really make sense. No. Being attacked by, like, 12-year-olds online because they are transphobic. Okay. Well. <laughs> and if you remember, we go from Lanko Stream, that's the big thing right now, is that we haven't seen a lawsuit. We don't know where that money went. And Keffels is trying to push up this YouTube channel, and she's paying for YouTube ads. So people are trying to claim with no evidence that Keffels paid for these ads using the donation money. And I don't have proof of that. Yeah, that's so fucking on. dumb. I make enough money on Twitch that I can spend like $100 a month on ads because I want to grow. And my once again, we just, I mean, I, I, maybe she's responding to other people instead of us. But I mean, just to make it maybe. clear, in the stream, we never say that she misappropriated the funds in order to use this it was for like the, two uh, days. Uh, this was two days after the Flamenco stream where Flamenco had tried to claim that because Keffels has been accused of stealing money from a communist party, which by mm. the way, that accusation is baseless, because of that accusation, this money from the, the swatting is also being misappropriated. And we all said, no, that's wrong. And there's no proof. And Tom and I were talking about that Keffels has done a bunch of like trans charities. So there's a, there's plenty of ex uh, like evidence in the past of her managing money successfully. Mm. So we defended her against that point, And that's what brought her up in the first place. Right. My YouTube presence. Why do people assume that I'm just like 
that I make absolutely no money and that I am subsisting off of a GoFundMe. This doesn't make any fucking sense. These people are insane. I, I thought about it a little bit, and even if she is paying for it with the donation money, it's not like it's all of the donation money. It's it's about. No. I don't think YouTube ads are that expensive. It's like hundred bucks, two hundred bucks a month to get a decent amount of YouTube ads. So. Um, yeah, and I think she has money anyway outside of that, probably. So. Oh yeah, I mean, Kevl Kevl's Kevl's doesn't do too badly. I, I, the streams have never been that popular, but I definitely think the, the Twitch brings in income, especially during the the homeless saga when she was moving around the United Kingdom and Ireland. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I don't think it was doing too badly. I don't think you make that much money off Twitter, but it definitely helped the brand. You don't it doesn't make help money now. Twitter, yeah. It doesn't help now. No, but it helped it helped push the YouTube and the Twitch. No, it did. Yeah. The YouTube has never done well. The YouTube has always been a kind of mess. So paying for adverts, I don't blame her. If she's trying to build a YouTube career, <laughs> I mean, good luck to her. But she's just not very entertaining. That's the major thing people have realized okay. is that beyond the drama, she gets. <laughs> this is where she just gets owned, and she's just like, <laughs> she just has nothing to say. Yeah, we're just like she's fucking robot. boring. Yeah, I'm a monotone robot, and even I can recognize boring Kefels. I'm sorry, but it's just over. It's kind of funny because like even when we're calling her boring, like her response is boring. Like she's just boring during the entirety of it. Awesome. Yeah, as far as I know, her she's not. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of charisma. She's not very good. I mean, Hi. her YouTube channel has forty thousand subscribers, but her videos are not popular. By Bro, means. your entire video is you faceless talking to a British guy while you're badly playing Minecraft. Like, come on, how in the f my video? If you can believe it, about you. Got, uh, how many views did it get? 50,000? 60,000 views. And that's 12 days ago. Let's see how Kevl's videos are doing. Uh, 8,000 views. That one's doing all right. 11,000, 17,000, 21,000. Uh, your video from 12 days ago has 46,000. So let's say I own you, bruh. I own you. And I, I'm actually talking about old drama here. You're talking about current drama. Um, that's uh, kind of so gay. That's kind of that's kind of a gay uh, kind of a gay strat. Look, it's gay, but I gotta bring it up, dude. I gotta bring it up. Okay, I yeah, gotta mog her. Gay. I gotta mog. You're gay. Dude, how in the f am I doing anything less than what this guy's doing? I'm just like. You're just boring. That's what I'm saying. You're just boring. You're a boring person. You're a boring personality. You don't have much to say. You just kind of suck at making content. Sitting here playing rap, reacting to a video, and talking to chat. This is what streamers do. It's what streamers do. You're just bad at it. That's and that's my point. And that's why no one watches. No. She's trying to do like these sort of um. I can actually share my screen right now. Oh yeah. I'll share my screen. Okay. And I'll do it on Discord as well. <coughs> she's trying to do these more like mainstream commentary type videos that someone like let's say critical would do, right? Yeah, I mean she's always been trying to. But, but yeah, uh, even even now she's really. really pushing it. I mean, why I regret the surgery? What do you mean not big. really? Come on, don't play dumb. You know you're trying to get mainstream. You know you're trying to blow up. Right. <laughs> no, very much. Be the hardest video I'll ever have to make. I know that people are going to get mad at me for this video, but honestly. I want to tell the minutes truth. To your, uh, I've sat on this for 10 years. <laughs> it's been 10 years since I've had the surgery. And I didn't want people to know. There's this expectation in the trans community that... There's this. There's, she does, and she's doing, she's done three videos. She doesn't want people to know, but her pinned tweet forever was a picture of her on the hospital bed with her, like, father over her, saying, wow, I've just got my bottom surgery, so... So she's been open about that from the start. She's been... Wait, why do I not want people to know that? That's... Yeah, that was my... Because you said... Explain. That you didn't want to talk about it. We don't... Do we even need to explain? She literally said she didn't want people to know, and then... No, no I just want to say that it's not now, but on her old Twitter, the bigger Twitter before it got banned, it was her pinned tweet. So that's, that's the, that's the proof. Someone says, wait, Birdie is... No, Birdie is not the right opinion. Well... Pinned for a long time. That was a very no, special I am, I am. Can I just say, if, if you want to be a trans icon, I think Kevles did some smart decisions. Openly saying, I've had surgery. Openly saying, you know, I, I'll, I do my best to be a woman. Like, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't think that's a bad decision if you're trying to be a trans icon. Mm -hmm. it's just the fact that she's a horrible person doesn't help. What? Let's see here. I'm... Three, three videos on Andrew Tate. Okay, this one's just like a meme clip, it looks like. Greta okay. Thunberg accidentally gets Andrew Tate arrested. Also, I don't even think that's the case. I think that's fake. It's not. But I mean, I, I mean, everyone made videos like that. I don't know. No, they are. I, I just find it, it's just like another notch for me of like, well, she she seems to I mean, be very comfortable. Day. You well, look at the other day. She is trying to be consistent. Well, she, I'm just saying she seems very comfortable like promoting the most convenient narrative even when it's totally false, right? Just the one that sounds Yeah, like honestly, that. after watching this video, I'm even like unsure if I want them on the stream because it's like, I don't know what I'm going to gain out of this. Well, that's the thing. What you want to gain is us making you look good, and we're not going to make you look good. We're going to make you look bad because you're a bad person who's a f***ing pathological liar. Like, you're not going to look oh, good. Hey, hey, hey. They've lied a lot. I don't know if they're pathological. I mean, if you if you lie in sequence all the time, that's kind of pathological, no? Nice, but I, I don't want to make a massive claim like that, but if you want to... I mean, if, if, if we're talking pathological for the point of, like, as a, like, a literal mental illness, I don't think they have the mental illness, but I think they just pathologically lie. I think they have those traits. You know Fair what I mean? enough. Okay. You can't you can't walk away. I mean, you got you you can't walk away from that one, right? That's pretty tame to say. I feel that's a bit big, isn't it? That's accusing Keffels of being unable to be truthful in any given context. Well, given that almost every context we've talked about, she was not truthful. I mean, but this is the stream where we're being critical of her. That's I think true. It's a different that's fair. Song. That's fair. Like, I'm like, thank you for giving my YouTube channel views and like. You know, talking about my YouTube channel on your bigger channel. You know, I appreciate the support. I However, guarantee no one from my channel is watching you. For 
what would I even gain out of this sort of situation? Like, they're just kind of boring. They're getting mad at me for lying, apparently, but this entire video has just been riddled with inconsistencies. They literally are talking about how I control the media. You yourself claim, claim to control DMs. the media. You yourself claim to control the media in DMs and publicly you claim to have inroads to, like, Twitch. I don't know what else to say. The UK wants trans people dead. I'm sure that's true. True. <laughs> it's, it's real. I, 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 met, I met Boris Johnson. I met Liz Truss. They both told me in confidence. Okay, so... The you know, I don't even want to, like, f***ing see. Actually, wait, Isabel, are you here? Isabel, are you ready to hear them roast your editing? For the day? Don't f*** with Dark Greta. This is so f***ing funny. The gift today is that Andrew Tate... She doesn't even have, like, a good, um, speaking voice. She sounds hey, really, like, hey, hey, hey. Be careful what you say. <laughs> what do you mean, be careful what you say? <laughs> this, is, this, is how, this is how people on Twitch got banned. This is how people... I'm not, I'm not, not like, this, I'm just like talking I, about, I, I'm dude. just saying, be careful how you word it. I'm, I'm being very careful. I have no... Listen. Some people in chat I've seen will be transphobic and dead neighbor and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm not. It's... I'm not cool with that. I know that whenever you discuss a trans person in a negative light, you're gonna see that a little bit. Oh, okay, so yeah, so people in his chat have been dead naming me. This is. <laughs> a... But I denounced that. I said that's a we bad just thing. Said don't do it. Like what this is, she... is not a. This is not a dig against us. It's not like I'm on stream and I'm like fucking dead neighbor right fucking now in chat, guys. Fucking yeah, upvote Reddit Chungus. It's not like I'm saying that. I'm I'm literally this just saying like. And that stream. Both the moderators were being really careful to delete transphobic messages, and we said don't do it. We said it like three times this stream. Yeah. This is not a deal against us. If Kiwi farmers or detractors of Kefels are being transphobic in chat, it's not representative of the Turkey Tom community or Tom or, Tom or myself or anything. Yeah. Of course. Out front, out loud. I'm not, I'm not cool with that. Don't dead name her, especially not in my name. It's not good. Not cool. Don't do that. It's like, not going to be one of the worst. And just, and just don't be transphobic in general. Attack, attack your ideas. So bad, if you're going to be so bad, you wouldn't have to constantly keep insulting and lying about them. Okay, but wait, if you're talking about attacking my ideas, why would you go over my YouTube channel and be like, look how boring and uncharismatic and not interesting uh, she is? We, we spent an hour and a half, or sorry, rather an hour attacking your ideas, and at the end we were just like, her YouTube channel is bad. And her YouTube, your YouTube channel is still a part of your ideas, right? That's something you did rather than something you are, right? Is your YouTube channel, like, the fact that you are a YouTuber, is that equivalent to you being trans? Anyway, yeah, I'm going to dedicate an hour to talking about her. She is so boring and uncharismatic and not interesting at all. That's why I am making a video about her that is this long. I think it's easy to criticize Keffel's actions about having to rely on This is just retarded. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. ...to be a buzzkill, but small energy is actually pretty gross as a dig. Size does not correlate to one's worth as a person. I always hated the whole big energy party because some of the worst men I've ever hooked up with had massive... Content. Yeah, this is just like... There's no music. The editing is like bland and boring. Like, Dude. Even the outro music is like boring. It's totally reflective of the rest of the video. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Hi, hi just bad content. Just watch. Just People watch. Saying Keffel's voice beats Smaggle's voice. Do you have a stance on that? Um, maybe. Smaggle, do you take offense <laughs> to that? No Roblox music. No more Roblox. Smaggle. Smaggle died. I, I did like that her editor like stole my thumbnail though for this. The trans <laughs> yeah, Italian true. Like this one. And I got into I think, like, I think the weirdest slap fight with Keemstar. This Star. was the conversation where I feel like was this actually this was the discussion with Nick. I don't even. It's not Turkey Tom's. It's Ghost Gum. If you want to be polished, this is the ironic thing. So Nick asks her, "Why did you start?" That's fake. That's literally fake. Okay, it is mine. I created the meta. I already proved it in a different stream, but I'll, I'll prove it again. Uh, okay. Um, did Ghost Gum steal from you? Clearly here, I created the meta of putting the the gross Wojak and Ghost Gum, then used a very, very similar Wojak, okay, to make this video. Now, what he did here is he put mods, losers, pedos. That's what he did. I changed it to losers, creeps, pedos. I also put the Wojak back on the left side where it should have been. I put the text on the right side. So he stole from each other. He stole from me, and I stole back justifiably. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's keep watching. This in the first place, and Kevl goes, why was attacked first? You know, when we look at this timeline, Kevl's attacked Destiny, got in trouble, attacks Kex. It was he's constantly Kevl's attacking. It's mm. really dishonest. And it's all this grin, like, both the fans and she knows she's lying. But what? she gets away with it because Kim's like, hold on, Nick, you're being a bit mean. Right. XYZ in chat oh, said, what on. would the baby between Smaggle and Kefal sound like? <laughs> Probably something very f up. I don't want to know. Oh, oh my god, that was... That was kind of painful. Something that was so painful, was. you didn't have very much to say about it. It was probably painful for you because you had to uh, you had to deal with being owned. Like I don't understand. I also don't understand the criticism that my content is boring or something, or like how it's more boring than what their video was, which is just two dudes in monotone voices doing a back and forth with poorly researched information while Minecraft is playing. Like, come on. I'd say it wasn't poorly researched. There were a few points off, but it wasn't that bad. And also, Minecraft is based, guys. Minecraft is based. More based than whatever this some, stupid like, game is. Some, like, minor inaccuracies, but exactly. none of my claims that were wrong. Exactly. How does he have 500,000? Well, this is his second channel with, like, 100,000. Oh. 
Yeah, it was really, really painful. I don't even <laughs> that one. Is that the end of the reaction, pretty much? Is that all she has to say? I think there's like one last thing she says, but if you don't want to respond, I don't blame you. Um, let me just... Play a dude with a monotone voice that makes you fight sleep in a class lecture. Yeah, I do miss Clown Town, too. I wish they would make more videos about me. No, I think that's it. That's it, all right. Um, well, I guess that's the end of the reaction, guys. That's the end of the Keffel's response to my, uh, me and Birdie's video about her. That's all she had to say, really. Um, I think we provided a lot of evidence for most of the major points she ever disagreed with or we made. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Um, there are a few things that we didn't uh, have the proper proper reference for, but I mean, if she if she wants to claim that we like totally that box is down, I need to get that Stardust clip. Yeah, if, if she wants to, really if wants to, to get me to on claim that, it's fake, I'll get them. then we'll, we'll we'll get them for the next stream. Um, in fairness, she messaged me. I'll message her now and I'll say, "Wanna do it now?" Um, cause she she said, I'm "Can not, I pop on?" I'm not on? hiding, but I really might not because it's three thirty. It's fine if you don't. I'll I'll just do it on my own. Um, she said, can I pop on? I said, yeah, you're welcome to after we finish the vid. She said, no, I don't want to keep getting dodged. If the conversation was important, it would have happened. I said, I told you I'm willing to after I react to what you already said. Uh, and now I just said, you want to do it now? Um, she says, keep getting dodged. We set up a date in beforehand. We, we, we said we Thursday. We set up a date, and this date, by the way, is later in this week anyway. Yeah. So we're not dodging. We just, uh, we wanted to react to this video because she posted content about us. Um... And we wanted to talk about it, right? We wanted to react to it. She specifically made some claims about us, about me, about my intentions, about Birdie's intentions, about our background, about, you know, uh, things that she had done that she claimed that we hadn't done. She made claims about Kiwi Farms, but we just wanted to react to them. I think we did a pretty good job of uh, reacting to them. If she has any I got any so much further evidence I could that was relevant. There's a lot of other things for other allegations that we didn't make, so I excluded them. Yeah, I mean, if she has further contentions, then I'm willing to, to talk about it with her.